Disconnected, man. Episode 38. I cannot believe y'all made it, it with man. us this far. Um, I do want to give y'all guys some bad news, man. Unfortunately, House Phone is going to miss this episode. I just got so the phone sorry, with him 30 guys. minutes ago. Um, as many of y'all already know, you know, he has a lot of things going right now in the personal life. We got to respect it. And, mm. uh, you know, we just wish him the best. So yeah, make sure bef before y'all continue watching this whole podcast, go ahead and comment a heart right now on his photo. Let's yeah. just let, let's just get that out the way, man. Yeah, Shout go out show to you love phone. to house phone, man. Real man. talk, he needs yeah. it, man. Yeah, man. And and currently right now, it's kind of like an unpredictable time. Cause I, I was with bro yesterday, and like you know, visually, you know, at least on the surface level, he looked fine. We were yeah. cracking jokes the whole time. We were, we were planning out this uh, this clothing collection we're doing for his mother, and uh, you know, today, which looks super fire, by the way. I'm super excited for for uh, for it to drop. I spent man. all night preparing it. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, luckily we are gonna be able to to. Link it to a good cause. You know, all profits are going to, uh, you know, set the funeral up and get all that thing uh, going. But I'm going I'm to I'm let House Phone tell it, though. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like, I, I'd rather have him present it. But, guys, just want to let y'all know that we are on his side praying for House Phone, man. Yeah, so, yeah. Prayers up to House Phone, man. Big hearts to House Phone in the chat, man. But episode 38, guys, here with yeah. the... F we are. Is, does that still count as cussing? Well, you no, already messed it up so. right in the beginning. Really? really? What, you didn't hear him? I don't remember. This, bro, like the second word he said. If we don't notice it, YouTube can't notice it either, right? That's it's like what, it's unnoticeable. No, Listen, bro, YouTube. My whole thing with this whole like, oh, it's it's you YouTube's can't say drunk, the first dude. five minutes. Like, <laughs> is there a guy with a clipboard like like with a timer? Okay, this ten minutes starts now. Well, then, well, honestly, depending on how big your channel is, there actually is a guy who sits there and watches like the first ten minutes and goes, "All right, this is fine." And then like you know, there's actually a fucking person who like watches that shit and reviews it. I honestly, that would mean, that would mean a lot if like YouTube thought we were like. Cool enough for them to like bring somebody like, all right, guys, yeah. watch the first ten minutes of Disconnected today. Oh my today. god, what, what the fuck would they would they say? Dude? I mean, they really won't have much to say because the first ten seconds are already like sabotage. They're just like they're just talking about each other's clothes. Yeah, all shiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah what's they, going on here? Too many f words. First three minutes, they're like, all right, out. They're like, why, <laughs> why do people watch this? Right, like, monetize, <laughs> monetize. <laughs> no, but exactly. I, I do want to speaking about why people watch Whoa. this. It messed my head up the other day when a supporter showed me. Apparently, H Street was on a uh, you know on stream uh, last week. Oh, and uh, it popped up on his recommended uh, episode thirty seven. Disconnected. I was yes. like, wow. what the hell? And it specifically says Wait, who? H three H three. I'm not sure who that is. Ethan and Ela, huge, it's probably, huge YouTubers. Oh yeah, I have no clue. That's it's right. a it's a weird thing because both Blazy and I have shared our fair criticism of H3 and Ethan, and we right. you know kind of talk shit. Basically. I'm not fucking with him, but also at the same Excuse time, me. I'm not effing with him. With all the shit we've talked and all the opinions we've shared. It's still kind of like, I'm like, oh, wow, that feels good. Like, that's sick that we're on his recommended. We wouldn't be on his recommended for no reason. Oh, yeah. No, there was a time in 2015 where I was spending a whole weekend just binge watching all the, yes, the, the yes. prank invasion videos he was doing. But Wait, hold like, on. Do you, honest question, though, do you actually not fuck with? I was thinking about it the other day, and I realized, like, I just don't enjoy his content anymore. You so know it's what? It's not that I don't fuck with him. I get judged a lot for using the wrong words. I'm, I don't really have the craziest vocabulary, and I don't know what bigot means. But I feel like I'm gonna call him that. What what kind of if you don't mind me you asking? You can't what, do that. What, what kind of what kind of content does he even make? He I mean it started uh, from podcast, like you know no. uh, like like 2015 20, 20 like 14 YouTube culture was just like that's when like pranks were at an all time high like Roman yeah. Atwood Vitaly and all like the pranks in the hood shit was going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was just the uh, the the he started like a counterculture, just making a fun of all these like these uh, uh these pranksters. Oh, that's exactly. him. And he, these pickup he, artists. I've never seen that dude. You for sure that's seen him cap, at one point. Bro. Hell no. There's I no mean, way. Bro. I think that the There's last so many YouTubers, bro. It's that's hard true. To get. But he's honestly like one of the most controversial and you know uh, bigger YouTubers. Yeah, I'm I think not, it started. You know. for, at least for me, it started like becoming less appealing by like 2020. I think like. It just got really slow and boring, and then I cannot, I can't stand his podcast. And like, you know, oh. I never really noticed his uh his twitches. You know what I mean? Until he brought it up, and like, I can't see it. I'm not sure if that's like. Oh, you can't mm. use that as a fault, though. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it does have a um, what's it called? That I forgot the name of it, but uh. It's like, okay, I feel like everyone's had this conversation the whole past year. Why we don't fuck with Ethan anymore? It's like a whole, you know, there's been YouTube videos that have millions of views with that with that type of title. He just became like the person that he was always kind of like going against where it's like, oh, you're the big YouTuber who's so out of touch with reality. Oh, and, and now he's become that thing. Yeah, he's become the, the rich millionaire YouTuber that's so out of touch with like everyday world 
You know what I'm saying? Wait, and actually, let me ask you this though: Is uh, I, someone brought up this good point about David Dobrik the other day, where they said that he wasn't really getting as much hate until he showed off his new mansion. Like once he got that new mansion with a nice pool and you said how much it cost and everything, that's when people the really same started, week he got canceled. Started, yeah, the same week they started Wait, fucking canceling why he, him. Why they cancel him though? I didn't know he got canceled. He like farted at like a public pool or something. No, shit. he broke his friend's face, almost killed him, and like a bunch, of, so much. What? And then he he, he like uh, it was like some weird like friends. arranged sex thing. Yeah, that there he was did. Like, ex- it's so much shit to get into, bro. It's like a long ass story. But I was gonna say, I'm that gonna let him tell it. Ethan at the same time. I feel like his hate came at the same time that his success came. Well, when you know? when, when you start like really building your audience to become like these uh, uh the these witch hunters, they and they, all, like they that, honestly are, bro. They honestly w- are. Once you become that, they will eventually turn on you, and they'll they'll microanalyze That's all your different true. uh decisions and moves. And I'm sure like during his like 2015, 2016 like wave and shit, yeah. he probably said a lot of you know questionable things that like wouldn't be seen in the same tint one of his one of his first podcasts with idubs if you remember the beginning oh yeah they're i have fucking no clue weirdos. They're none throwing, of these they're dudes throwing are. hard r's and shit yeah, like so it's like i don't know man it's it's, it's interesting story yeah but we should stop talking about you. He, basically it's cool that we were in his recommended do you think he's actually watching like every episode though no but i am curious who youtube is recommending these videos like are we on yeah. p diddy's recommended Whoa. Oh, I didn't even, I never thought about that. If we're on Ethan, like, Ethan doesn't really strike me as, like, the the t- the typical no jumper supporter. I don't you think, feel me? I don't so think like, he's watching. I think Ela's watching. Is it, it kind of yeah. like the uh, the audience members are on the fringe of, like, do I like this not or not? Like, maybe Bro, disconnected you'd be their surprised entry level. guys who watches this, this, watches Disconnected, because I've had, like, shit, we got D Savage, honorable, yeah. uh, you got Watcher. Yeah. Um, That's true. Facts. You got uh, producer Loda Great who watches this, Tevil Laurent. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like, really, like, big names. I, I'm like, Tevil like, Laurent watching this? Yes, man. Bro. Shout out to Tevil Laurent. Right, shout out to no Tevil Laurent, man. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, he does all the Blue Bucks clans, like, in, um, music oh, videos. really? Yeah. Wow. Non streamer. Oh, damn, that's why yeah. you promote it so much. He pays you? Or? No, no. Okay. No. See, he, no, Tevil Laurent gonna be you for right. sure. <laughs> like, around, at around. This I love Blue Bucks clan, all right? <laughs> okay. All right, I said it. I say, said it, Blazzy. Say it, don't spray it. Five <laughs> minutes before the podcast started. Yo, uh, Yuri, could you slap some Wait. Blue Blux clan? Or blue? Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of spraying it, Whoa. 100 episode at the end of the day yesterday. Oh, my God. T-Rail sprayed the whole bottle of champagne in his face, bro. Do you I, think that that was his, like, do you think he already understood, like, at that moment, like, I'm going to look crazy? No. You or do you think cra- that he was just like, fuck it, I'm going to swallow and gollow? No, I realized a couple things Whoa. when I saw that, actually. For, first of all, <laughs> he went. He got all. You know, all the champagne got all on his body. No, right? it's sprayed. He, yeah, he didn't even wash up or nothing. He went straight to a concert. All that after that, sticky as hell. <laughs> oh, the flan- that nigga flannel was probably sticking to it. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> shit was going nowhere. <laughs> I know the perfect drip. It like doesn't fold the wrinkles. Damn. Though. But honestly, you know what I was thinking is T. Rell is you know older than all of us. I think we've all had the experience before where you try to chug a champagne bottle, you yeah. realize there's pressure, there's carbonation. Yeah. It doesn't work. I, 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 feel like, I feel like he should, by that age, you should I know think that. by, by <laughs> the age of 19, like everyone knocks that out like sometime before they become an adult and you just learn right there. Like, okay, cool. You know, maybe shaking <laughs> exactly. bottles isn't best around your face. Exactly. Bro, that it, the screenshot they got of it look cool. Oh, I'm not crazy. ready for the screenshot. That sounds wild. Oh, bro. it looked crazy. You know, it's funny. Honestly, when I, I was listening to it at first and I, uh, I, I like my eyes were like pointed somewhere else, so I didn't see it. And then I saw the timestamps like sometimes I'm saying like, "Yo, this part's crazy." I clicked on it. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> bro, that shit did you, like, like everywhere." Like, <laughs> what, like l- looking into like a year from now, like whenever we do the hundredth episode or year and a half, whatever it's gonna be. Yeah, could we expect you to uh, to do the same thing to a Corona bottle? To you have the Corona bottle bro, come in the, my face? You no. got to do the tornado. The tornado, bro. You got to do that. Bro, you, have you seen that thing? That shit looks so gay, bro. bro Hell I don't, no. I don't know how no. people are a fan of that Make shit. it not gay. Bro. I don't how think, is it not gay to do that? Bro. We're on episode 38. You have so many episodes to listen, practice until the listen, 100th episode. I don't, I'm not really into any type of alcohol culture, but when I see motherfuckers do that, that shit, that's the coolest shit ever. Right. I try to do that shit with my gallon of water. It don't spin the same. I think got something to no, do with it, no, the carbonation does. or something. Like that. Uh, well, it's you can try it yourself because I'm not trying. That you got to get that, rid of your gag reflex. What you got? What, what you got against tornadoes? <laughs> I got. I have nothing against tornadoes. I'm not about to be going like this, bruh. With my for, head. for a man who puts his lips to a bottle all day, every day. Yeah, adding a little spin on a top bottle. Of it, that crazy. Come on, you reaching? We calling you out. You're for, we calling you out this episode. What's up with you drinking? 
What's up with you drinking? Putting your lips on I'm calling you out. products. I'm calling you out this episode. You look. You dress like a Warzone skin right now. All right. Well, you dress <laughs> like a uh, Tony Hawk they, Pro they, Skater they, uh, oh deleted God. scenes oh, wait, character. They can, they can play a rebirth with his fit right now. No, you're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're finna land. You look like you're finna land top prison. Oh my I'm God. with it. That sounds cool. Top it, G. It, I, I would never Dang. expect Blasi to wear such a plain hoodie. You know what? This hoodie took me a lot. To, I actually got it today in the mail, so I wanted, you know, From like H and M or something. Now nah, Rick Owens. Yeah. Wow, that's a Rick Owens hoodie. Yeah, you bro. Got, why do they? You be, got scammed, dude. How much nah. you pay for you, that hoodie? You spent two thousand dollars on that hoodie. I don't want to say how much I spent. You are a scammed. plain hoodie. Go to Gap, bro. High fashion is weird, thing, bro. bro. I'm sorry. Got the good hood. Is know? there anything unique got about this? Got the good hood. I can show you that a bunch ho- of hoodies. I that could cost- not wear that hoodie, bro. I could not. That's crazy. Rick <laughs> That's Owens Mexican, made that. Yeah, Rick Owens is Mexican. Okay, but like I don't know, bro. <laughs> I see what you're saying. It's a plain hoodie. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, I could have went to H and M, sure, but you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to do research and development on what it takes to kind of make these products, and bro. No, to get that plain means- designer. You know what he's doing? To you? Yeah. You remember? You, when you're you're different kind of rich, bro. bro. No, for no. real. That's yeah. why I tell him like you're, you're a, million a different kind of rich, bro. No. When you when no. you start getting designer so people don't even notice, that's some dude. Listen, you're, you you made it, listen, bro. You doing no, shit. No, no, no. I just I just I'm very pick and choosy what I spend my money on. Like in the weekdays, you don't see me lollygagging, kicking the can on the street. I'm literally just plugged in at my office. With I'm, the, I'm on Groundhog cars. Day every mode. Wait, on wearing blank Rick Owens. Come on, bro. That's crazy. That's Wait, Blasi, do you remember when Supreme dropped the the brick? Yeah. And they said they were like, we only dropped the brick to show that you know consumers are so dumb they'll buy anything. I think Rick Owens hitting you with the same shit. Right what now. the fuck? This Bro, is some kind of like it's so plain, dude. Like <laughs> we're pulling no- up twenty dollar hoodies, really. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck this Bro. hoodie, man. man. Y'all you be on throw- Etsy any other time. You could have, man. Oh, come God. on, you could have <laughs> ate him up. Yo, what if this really is from Etsy? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, I, I don't mean to hate, but it's like usually when you get a designer thing, there's something dis- distinct about it. It it just looks. There was weird. a long ass ribbon. That's what Rick Owens does with their pieces. But I ripped it off this morning. I'm like, this shit looks a little weird. Oh, it was sewn on. Yeah, it's like a long ass ribbon that like extends past the hoodie. But I mean, it's just a hoodie. But how much you pay for that? Keep it a stack. I'm not gonna talk Let about you tell that. Let the cart. Seven fifty. You fucking, yeah, you are different. You're different. I don't like the. You're different, bro. No, you're I'm different. Not. No, I'm not. You're Damn, different. Bro. Yeah, yeah, you're different. Bro, bro, I can't like, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a, a I had a successful drop. Thank you to everyone who who supported the Ash on Me Ashley release this Friday. And I don't I I wanted to buy like the craziest backpack. I'm talking about like the Was it gonna be blank? Nah. This was like the coldest shit like anywhere. But I don't I'm I i was not trying to do that. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy one thing. And I'm gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna take my team to play some soccer, and let's spend the me- the rest on pr- products. You know, oh, okay. bro. But how expensive could a soccer match be? By water bottles, water bottles, Gatorades. Yeah, I mean, a ball maybe. It, it, it's nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? But like, you you do want to put aside, you know, some just to like, you know, so buy you a couple put, t-shirts. So you had then. a soccer. So let me get this. Right. Yes. Oh, a soccer. You, you went in a Rick Owens and got a seven hundred dollar Manila folder, and then you played a. Eighty dollar game of soccer, bro. You're get the fuck wait, up the out of here. It's a private. It's a private little stadium. Wait, honestly, you just and no, the stadium that. did look cool. It was like it was like like a private. Wii, it, was, it like a Wii Sports. Shout out to goals at a uh, Southgate Park. You kind of just exposed yourself. You're like, oh, we had a s- successful drop. So hey, uh, coworkers and teammates, I'm gonna take you guys out for 150 dollars <laughs> and buy this 750 dollar s- jacket yeah, for myself. And sweat, you fucking bastards. <laughs> well, they should have dropped the uh, dance the puppets. Ashtray then. No, 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 those those are I'll my teammates around, and. You know, 90% of the office had nothing to do with Ashley, but I'm going to still support him and respect him. How many goals you score? How many goals? Of a couple. I ain't going to lie. Cap. Bruh, Can listen, 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 y'all. Y'all don't know this shit about me, but I used to play club soccer. I got homies that I'll what call that right mean? now and Trust they'll be me, like. we couldn't have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> I was too cold by eighth grade, but there's too many politics in my high school. You feel me? I didn't get a. I didn't get to make it fully. You know no what I'm saying? Way. Mr. Navarro was hating a Paramount. Wow. <laughs> you know, but uh, hey, just know if it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't for graphics, maybe I'll still be falling back and like trying to wiggle my way into the MLS. School soccer politics hey, pushed you into. Designing. I want to play. Literally, I, I want to play, bro. Well, it looked look actually kind of fun. It was very. It was a lot. It's the most like because. My idea of exercise is I'll go for a walk or I'll hop on the treadmill for like 20, 30 minutes. I haven't done like, you know, just like 
accelerating and then like bracing your body for like yeah. two hours and fucking like five years like what lie. did y'all play like five on five or something yeah we pay a good five on five nice. like it, it's it's like an outdoor saying but it's indoor but yeah, it's yeah. hella fun man and uh you know we're deciding to like implement it into our weekly schedule but um, next time y'all do that let me know i'm did, playing yeah. did the winners get fun. like a raise or something I won. Ha! Uh, you know what I'm saying? But like, and you got the jacket as the raise. You're like, I'm. I'm he's like, I jacket. got the jacket before. <laughs> no, but on, on the topic of uh, um of like soccer and shit like that, I do want to say. Well, this doesn't really have much to do about soccer, but I okay. do want to bring up uh, a very serious topic for the chat. Oh what shit, up? guys! I've decided to take September off. With no type of marijuana. Keep the devil's lettuce away from me, Yuri. Speaking of which, let me spark this one up. Um, let's go, Yuri. We yeah, up, go. We up but one. But I that's think, kind of the biggest let you tell it. I just dropped an ashtray. I know, right? And you're like, oh, I'm going to quit smoking. You might as well start selling fucking cigarettes. And you, not if you cigarettes. start vaping, I'm going to fuck you. No. no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking myself yeah, up. Yeah, I was about I to say, vaping. bro. If no, I see real. you with a vape, bro, I'm going to You be will high. never see me with a vape. I've I've been like down bad with like the homie in his whip and like fuck it, let me just hit that and like I Why? still can enjoy it. Like it's not. It's, it's lame, bro. I, I never got into it. You I, hit it because you you're trying to get <clears throat> high low key and it doesn't. I'm get trying to get you know trying to get a little Some cushion sort of with the pushing. Wait, Dude, honestly, that shit don't get you high. Just make you feel like a balloon, right? I don't know. I I I don't think I I don't remember the I last time I tried one. I don't think I want to feel like a balloon for real, right? That's what, I thought that was. It's the uncomfortable whole game. to touch you. You know, you, people are just you're fragile pointing. as fuck yeah. a little bit, ty- uh, you know, weirdly. But also I on your on your topic it. about uh, not smoking for a month, which mm-hmm. good luck on your journey. Um, I just completed a month of no drinking. Today's the 1st of September, and I spent all of August Let's not go, drinking Yuri. alcohol. So this is to everyone that Cheers. has called me an alcoholic Woo! and said I can't go a day without drinking. I've Goals. relapsed cheers, after a bro. month. I didn't cheers. drink before 11 today, so cheers. Let's go. Hey, we all making progress <laughs> right here. The homie's not... He's he's stopping morning drinking, and my homie did a whole month. I did uh, not say that. You, okay, we're not stopping morning <laughs> I'm drinking. Joking, I'm, joking. I'm stopping... I, I, I stopped morning drinking, like, when I was... You know what I'm saying? But, like, me personally, guys, it's just, like, an issue with my lungs, I feel like. I I, I choke on, like, a blunt or, like, a, a, a bong or a dab. It don't... Any type of like smoke, va- like weed vapor, I'm the worst now, bro. Like I think in the last two years, just hanging out with all these weed motherfuckers. Yeah, I just be smoking too many dabs, bro. That should be killing y'all, bro. Well, y'all gotta stop giving me dabs. No, it's the way Blazzy smokes. Niggas give me I coke. I'm not gonna do it, Blazzy. That's true. Okay, that's true. But when you're when you're at your homie's house and there's a big a button on the screen that says dollar dabs guys oh my God, <laughs> shut the fuck and Yuri up. puts a gun to your head like you're not, not fucking leaving no you <laughs> take your dabs it's no. a little hard Yo, like, honestly, speaking, I, I have noticed it's the way Blazzy smokes where like you, me and Toke we like we smoke to get faded and then we know like oh we're good we don't want to smoke for yeah, whatever yeah. time Blazzy's like a social smoker where like you can literally leave a session if you enter another room where they're in the middle of a session, they pass you the blunt, you're, you're just going to hit it just because you're like, I'm good. I'm the part of the session. Well, like, I kind of noticed that thing with you. Well, maybe this uh, phrase isn't for the immature audience members, but it's really about the oral fixation. Mm. Pause. You should- That's what, I, no, it, it sounds crazy. I'm just getting, <laughs> he- I'm just getting, Bro, he- what? The cigarette smokers. Oral fixation is a thing. Yeah, where it's like you just want to keep doing this. Yeah, that's you know what I, I mean. Pick up some flowers. And, and no one sees nothing crazy about this. Oh my! No, God. you see something <laughs> crazy in everything, bro. I think I you're projecting. You cannot go to. Okay, it was a reach. You was cannot a reach. go to a I single mean. county fair talking about. I know. I know yeah, bro. But I, you know, you know, it's crazy. Uh, I I had a breakfast glizzy the other day. It was the best thing I've had in my life. Because house phone. Let remember, you remember tell how, it. Remember how, remember how, remember we were talking about to house phone about. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, I had a breakfast glizzy from fucking Les Fidel's. Shout out Orca. But uh, a breakfast glizzy actually does sound kind of crazy. Bro, I've been with that him. shit. Was fire. I was bro. with really? him that day. He dumb. faced it. That shit was not cool. Yeah. Bro, you guys know Pink's Tacos, right? Uh, yeah, I've, I've never been there though. Hollywood staple or whatever. Is that a staple? Staple? this might sound dumb, but I've never been there. But are the tacos actually pink or have anything it's to not, do with no, the it's, pink? No, I mean uh, uh, Pink's hot dogs. Sorry, not Pink tacos. Uh, Pink's hot dogs. Yeah, Pink but tacos no, like vagina. No, Sorry, Pink yeah. tacos is on Sunset. That, that That's is a, actually a place. Though. Yeah, that is a place though, but it is a vagina as well. Pink. But anyways, Pink's hot dogs is like known to be the spot in Hollywood for hot dogs, right? Yeah. I I never went there because the it always has it always has a huge line. Huge line. And I'm like, fuck that shit, dude. One day. I, for some reason, went skating like at six, seven in the morning. I pass by Pink's Hot Dogs. I see it's open. I see there's no one in line. I'm like, let me grab a glizzy, right? I love chili dogs. I grab a, a chili dog like at 7, 8 in the morning. Bro, I swear to God, I can eat like a glizzy from like a county jail and I'll finish the whole thing and lick my fingertips afterwards because I love gl- like chili dogs no. that much. I could not even finish half of this thing. It was yeah. so gross. 
Ah, oh, damn. And I was, like, go... I was like, bro, this place is a hype, like, hyped up for, like, maybe Glizzy's in the morning is a bad idea, or this place is no. hyped up, bro. No, you need to enroll your ass to Glizzy Gladiator uh, Survivor <laughs> Boot Camp. What? You know what I'm saying? You got to go from the, the quarter inch Oscar <laughs> Mayer to the to the Bro. girthy county uh, Look, oh you're the there's this, there, there's this there's this place called uh like don't quote me on this i think it's called dirt dog la uh, yep on uh figueroa Bro. and adams yeah, Bro, it's is. in the yeah it's in the hood bruh you i was i was looking at their menu i'm like these niggas got the craziest glizzies <laughs> bro they have? I'm, bro i'm talking about glizzies dressed up in any type of way of fashion bro that like it was like supreme glizzies with like all these like onions and all this like it was like damn there ramen burrito. glizzies i think they got bro one they have yeah they have all this crazy shit like you wouldn't even think once they start throwing look you they have glizzy with like fruit loops listen on it y'all can shit. have fun bro, no, with hot dogs all y'all want nope. do your thing but as soon as y'all start throwing sugary like like syrup or fucking dude like chocolate or something like that that's that's when i'm, I'm clocking out like y- y'all could do your thing yeah i don't like sweets with my food bro like pineapple does not belong in pizza let's talk about it let's Honestly, bro, you have a really good point. Cause listen, I do not fuck with sweets at all on any type of thing that's yeah. supposed to be savory. Wait, wait, exactly. no, wait, hold on. I've never been a fan of teriyaki, barbecue, wait, none of that. Salted, salty, and sweet do go together. And like, if you take nah. ma- maple and bacon, maple I don't like bacon, a cookie, maple bacon, bro, maple bacon is nasty as fuck. Shut Canadians got it fuck fucked up. up. Oh my god, that shit god. is nasty. We're nigga. losing twenty five percent of our audience. Y'all niggas got it fucked up. That shit <laughs> nasty as fuck, bro. Yeah, I tried that shit one time. I was like, let me give it a go. <laughs> It's Dude, crazy how they're repping it that hard. Like, I'm nah, sorry, it's Canadian. Canadian right here. Yeah, like, y'all can keep that. No one's claiming that. Yeah, oh, God. Th- do you think, a- also, like, do you think, like, on a, on a crazier subject, do you think, like, if you go to Canada, like, you know how, like, out here, so if you go to Canada, probably, I've never been to Canada before. Actually, I have, but I've never been in a grocery store. But uh, you think, like, when you go to a grocery store, I'd be like, all right, it says American bacon, and then their bacon just says bacon, doesn't say Canadian bacon, right? You think that? I th- a- I think I think we for sure got like I mean, cause like you always see these weird ass videos, you know, whether they're in Japan or England, they'll have like a whole yeah. American section in like some of these grocery stores mm, mm. where it'll be like a Pop Tart and like a Snickers bar. Yeah. Dude, have you ever seen those pictures of like you know how, how you you've seen Americans with like you know random Japanese or Chinese words yeah. tattooed on random spots? You're like, okay, it looks cool. Have you ever seen a Japanese person with random? English words tattoo. It just is like water. That's or, cool. or like, a, or like life. And you're like, a, bro, it no. looks so corny. And I got that. You the seen other the, way around. You seen the Japanese niggas that think they're like, cho- well, not yeah. think, they, they are, some of them are. They really have a bro, subculture out there. They Cholos. are like, nigga, they have like 18th Street tatted and shit. Oh, they're in yeah. middle of Japan. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what the I was, hell I was is just, this? I was just watching a video about one of the dudes, uh, Peter Santanello. He's like a YouTube vlogger or whatever. He like did a whole Saw, video yeah. with some dude in LA and he and uh, he like lives that same lifestyle. And he, his explanation for it was like, dude, I just love the lifestyle. He's like, I moved out here to experience the lifestyle. I don't gangbang. I don't participate in any of the stuff. I love lowriders. I love tattoos. I yeah. love this whole image, but... He's not really a gangbang. It's 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 so weird. You know what Bro, those it's niggas look crazy. Not crazy. You know what? Look, what do you guys stupid, think about like, that? Like, I think I th- like they. I wouldn't even want to walk by them niggas. I'm like hell no. Nah, these niggas are crazy. I think that shit's cool. And like, you is, know, is that cultural appropriation? I, I think there needs to be a more broader conversation of like defining what is cultural appropriation because like I'm starting to see a trend yeah. where it's like you know. You know, and I'll 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 speak on back on behalf of Hispanics. Like a lot of Hispanics, we're, we're ve- we feel very close Watch to our food. Now. Watch yourself. Oh God, right? No, I mean this is some <laughs> truth. You know, and like you DC know, DC Comics just got canceled for. But do you like think? That. Do you think Hispanics are cool with that shit? That's no, my main thing. I mean, well, it's hard to define just like Hispanics as one group because you have a Latinx community, you have a community well, people who like don't the give a fuck com- about you all think that. The Cholo shit. community, the Cholos don't give a fuck. You know, because like what what's gonna make you like if you're a metalhead, right? Which has nothing to do with race. Right, and you see someone else kind of like embracing, you'd be like, "Oh, that's dope." You know, cholos are for sure looking at that like, "Damn!" Like, so y'all really, you know, fuck with us like that? Yo, you yeah. know, you know what's crazy about Latinx? I saw this a statistic that said like uh, they had uh, only polled like Hispanic people, right? Mm-hmm. And out of like nine, out of a uh, actually ninety five or ninety two percent of the people who they polled said they do not associate themselves with Latinx, and it's like made up by woke white people. I don't think I know anyone who, uh, as a Mexican guy who's 27, I don't think I know anyone who's Latinx. Yeah, At like, least like popping it, like, yo, right. Latinx. What, what does that even mean? mean? Latinx, well, well, because Spanish uh, pronouns, they have a lot of uh, masculine and feminine uh, suffixes. Oh, so like, yeah. for instance, like ropa, like a, that's kind of like feminine. Same thing in you Russian I mean? too. Yeah, They'll yeah. have like a male and female version of words. Exactly. So uh, Latino is like, oh, what you mean Latino? You mean only yeah. for men? You know? Mm. Mm. 
So it's like where it's like Latinos just like generalized. It's not necessarily like I'm not Latina. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like a general statement, but that's kind of like their biggest uh issue with that. But like you'd have to you you literally gotta reinvent the uh, dictionary, the whole vocabulary, because that's crazy. It's embedded into our uh language. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it definitely gets a little tricky. Um, but I don't think like the, the thing about like Japanese people, it's, it's like the same thing. You go to East LA, you're going to find an anime store and you're going to see some, some fucking dweeb who's Mexican, who's like fully infatuated exactly, with Japanese exactly. culture. And I think that should be embraced. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, agree. I, I don't, I don't get offended by that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, just don't wear a sombrero. You feel me? Like, I, really? You think that's too far? I yeah. Think but that, these niggas are getting actual gangs tatted like on their face and some, head and some shit. of them are. Yeah. Some yeah. Like bro, in, like 18th street and shit. bro. Like eight. Yes. <laughs> MS and all kind of crazy shit on their face and shit. And I'm like, bro, they're in like the middle of like, I feel in like they're in there in Japan. Yeah. They're in like oh, Osaka really? and shit. Yeah. Just like in the middle of Japan, just yeah. chilling. And that's where it's like, it's like, I'm kind of glad that the whole cultural appropriation arguments kind of faded away now. You, you don't see it as often anymore, but it's like, do, do Japanese people look at those people and be like, oh, you're culturally appropriating the Hispanics of Los Angeles. Like, I think, know, I don't think they have that. Argument I think cultural either. appropriation really just happens amongst like, it's really based around America because you go to other countries, it's all homogenized. You know, you go to Korea, 99% of the people are going to be Korean. Mm, you know what yeah, I mean? But whenever you go to these countries that Russia, have like, yeah. Uh, like a mixing bowl of just, you know, we got, you know, African-American, we got a Russian man, we got Hispanic man right here. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like America got hella different races. So it's obviously going to be a topic of discussion. But we go to Brazil. It's not really like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. You if know? you go to Russia, it's like only Russian people you meet. You know what I mean? Mm, it's like you don't yeah. really meet like it's like if you see someone who's out of town or you're like, oh, you must be a tourist or, oh, you work out here. That's really interesting. Then you're like, it's like actually an interesting point of conversation. But out here, it's like you just, it's expected. Everyone's, you know, from some point, uh, from, yeah. from somewhere else. Yeah, know? facts. You, you don't, yeah, you almost got to assume it down near that. Like, you know, I'm, I mean? I'm an immigrant myself. I wasn't born here. You know, I can't become president. Can you? I want to become president. Were you born in the United States of America? Yeah. You have the ability. I, yeah. No, I... I Listen, you want to become president? I want to become mayor, but that is never going to happen in my life. And I don't think it should. That's You, you know what I'm saying? To, but you, like That would be dope, though. Imagine. Like, a high idea of mine is like, bro, like, you, you <laughs> could low-key run it up on Instagram, you feel me? That's Maybe a, have the chat come out to the polls and, like, guys, <laughs> free chicken and Sprite oh my God. with all your orders and Coke and beef. Mayor is a stepping stone to president. <laughs> like, to become president, you have to become, like, a politician or mayor or governor at some point. I hey, like. you know what Bro, I'm saying? Like, I don't if you know. were mayor of Los Angeles, that would be the funniest Activist shit in the world. Activist is coming back. Yo, can we try to make that happen? Because I think... We I, bro, I think that would be actually funny. It really is like a popularity a popularity contest. At the end of the day, So yeah. you think if Andrew Tate came to California and he was like, vote for me, guys. Either bro, he would go crazy. I think you had to be like a California... No, because Arnold Schwarzenegger was born in like fucking... Uh, Germany. Austria or something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. But... Bro, speaking of Arnold, random topic, but that video of him with the cigar, do you know what I'm talking about? Not that at all. That shit's so badass where he's basically, sm it's, like, it's like him when he's like 20, 30 or something like super young. He's smoking a cigar and he's just like, you see me? He's like, I smoke a cigar wherever I want. He's like, you, you got to find a little cutty spot to smoke your cigars. I ain't no bitch. I smoke my cigars wherever the fuck I want. Like, it's just like a boss ass video of Arnold. But that was probably all, also around the when time is, when you were able to smoke at like Denny's yeah, and How shit recent like that. is that? Old. Oh, it's old. old. Okay. You can't pop it like that in the 90s. Yeah, like, you can say that in 2022. If you're smoking a cigar here, you're tripping. Like, yeah, everyone's going to kind of like look at you funny, if not think about you funny. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? If you're just in the cut smoking a fucking. Actually, you know what's interesting? It kind of said a lot about society at the time in that video because he said, he was like, my wife doesn't like me smoking cigars, but her dad put me on to smoking cigars. So my wife can't say shit because she can't talk shit to her dad. Yeah. And I was just like, that was the thing back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go against your parents. You know what I mean? Like, going against your parents is a fucking so normal nowadays. You're like, fuck you. I do whatever the fuck I want. But, like, back in the day, it's like, you know, don't be smoking cigars. It's just like, your dad, your pops told me to. It's fine. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. I don't think yeah. I've ever been specifically told to not smoke a cigar by my family members. Or probably just I've never in smoked general. a cigar ever. You know I never what? wanted to, like, Every cigar. time I've came across, like, some kind of, like, weird-ass little, like, cigar situation, I always hit it. They got to they give me the five-minute, uh, you know... Little introduction, okay, you puff it, bro. You don't really inhale it. And, like, yeah. I hit it once, and I'm like, this is stupid. Like, where's the where's the weed at? Yeah, so it's more like some, 
I think cigars is like more like some alley cat shit where you just like post it in the <laughs> it's alley. It's some old head shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, it's the opposite. Yeah, nigga like. just t- having a conversation, but really not trying to smoke like that. Mm-hmm. No, I feel you know like I mean? most people who are into cigars, they go to like lounges and like they hang, hang out in like boss ass rooms. Those are popular yeah. in Florida. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I went and to, in New uh, Orleans uh, as well. Wow. Yeah. I don't think it's like an alley thing. I think it's like it's some boss thing, but I feel like it's really. I, what is it for, really? It's like maybe uh, you don't smoke weed and what is that? What you is want to chill with the homies, I guess? I don't what know. What is that one movie called um, where it's like, it's like the old, it's like an old ass gangster movie, but it's like all niggas and they own like a casino and shit. I, I, I've i seen like 10 movies, bro. You're the, Any the of the niggas know here? About that. I, what, like Casino Royale or some shit, I'm assuming? What? Uh, nah. Ocean's Eleven? Ocean's Eleven. Nah, it's a like a bunch That's of a niggas, they own a casino. They shooting. It's like they got. Old they shit. shooting. Oh, okay. I know that one. Uh, They're shooting fuck, guns. I remember, okay, bro. I remember that. Black uh, niggas though. It's like <laughs> ah, fuck. What is that shit called? I think it's in New York too, bro. Bro, there's no way. You I ain't ringing no bell. Y'all niggas don't know shit. Nah. Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights. Still, I mean, I've heard of that shit. Bro, you feel me? I think know, it's Harlem Nights. You didn't know what Greece was. Excuse me. Like, like, like. The, from a pan? The play, bro. The play. Because I'm not watching a fucking play, bro. Why the, f- the only play black people watch is Medea's Family Reunion. Let's no, keep it a beat. Who's watching Grease? Let's keep it a fucking beat not, right now. I swear to God, bro. 90% of the chat knows what Grease is. Because they were forced to watch it. No one's over here like, dude, Grease, let's put it on. Yeah, Geary, like, you are a different you person. Watch, yeah, like you've seen West Side Story by four times or something. Y'all, y'all be uh, playing Grease like, <laughs> fuck it, I'm going I'm to clean the crib today. <laughs> I'm going to have Grease in the background. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's raining outside. It looks like a great grease day. Yeah. Like, God. no, bro, fuck out of here. I feel like you're older than me and you're making me feel old right now. No, but okay, but, I'm older than you, but I'm not white. That's the thing, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, that's the thing. It, it got to do some, it got to do some shit, bro, because I, don't, I never heard anyone, I've never even heard the word grease since fucking breakfast. <laughs> like, my, 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 like, my mom would have been like, if my dad brought home grease on a on a on a, on a fucking v, what was a VHS back then VHS. Mom, yeah. What the fuck is it? We ain't watching this shit. Yeah, bro. It's a good love story. But Man. honestly, after I talked about uh, grease the other day with Toke, like off stream, I realized I was like, grease doesn't have any black characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That shit, like, it's, it's all white people. Wasn't there, it right? shot at Hollywood High too? No, it shot at Venice High, his yeah. high school. Oh, mm, they filmed in front of his locker. No yeah, way. Let you tell it. <laughs> let you tell I it. I know you're a big Grease fan because you really just picked that fact out of your, your pocket. No, I just. I, like, as a matter of fact, Venice Beach. No, no, no. Yeah, shout, he, shout out to German in Venice. I was watching a German, German in Venice uh, video and, and he was making a video about Venice. Always I, blaming it I don't on know German. Why, that is strange, actually. But uh, he was saying um, they filmed it here. I, I want mean, German in Venice doing an extensive uh, video on Hollywood High. We got some. Uh, there's a lot of information. He can be like, how you doing, everybody? This school behind me is a complete bullshit. Oh, oh God! That's not a nigga. T- <laughs> like Beetlejuice came here. Even like this high school behind me, you know a what? lot of homeless be here. A lot. <laughs> he of doesn't homeless. have a Jamaican accent. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, he's German. I'm no. I tried to do my that was my best German <laughs> accent. <laughs> what's a German accent like this? You know what's crazy? I lived Bruh. in Switzerland in the German part for two fucking years, and I cannot do a German accent for I don't know why. Really? You yeah. gotta learn German, probably. I don't know. I know a little bit of German actually, but <laughs> it's known to be the hardest language to learn. Yeah, it, bro, that shit is different. I gave up on trying to learn that shit. That shit different. Pig Latin's the hardest thing I did try to learn. You're like, how do you say Corona and please uh, pass me one in German? Yeah, That's all I need to know. Yeah, how do I say Glizzy? <laughs> Isn't it just like Wiener? <laughs> Wiener. Like, they say sausage out there. They don't say like hot dog. But they be saying sausage like the word, huh? Like, yeah, they say sausage. like Because they, they also made the word burger, right? So if you, cho- I don't know. See, so now, now cho- we're getting too deep. If you choked in Germany, Ali would have been like, you choked on the sausage. Y- yeah. Damn. It's in Switzerland, by the way. You could okay. not go out <laughs> sad in Switzerland. You gotta stick to a burger and diet just, out there. No glizzies. <laughs> what happened to the homie? Ugh, bro, he's in Switzerland. He fucking ate us. Uh, he, he choked on a bro, sausage. They, you, know, you know what's crazy? They have these like traditional Swiss sausages that are so fire, bro. If you had one, you'd be like, nigga, this is crazy. I'm down. I'm down to Swiss it up. You know what I'm saying? Bring a uh, bring a platter next time. We should have world's oh, food. Maybe maybe we crazy, bring like huh? some Mexican food, some Russian food. And Yo, just eat Swiss the whole hot dogs. podcast, they'd be pissed. Hey, speaking of food, I saw... Okay, I don't I don't have too much detail on this topic, but I just saw uh, like on Instagram that DC Comics like released some sort of a comic line mm. to uh, promote... Not promote, but like kind of like celebrate Hispanic culture. Yeah. And the way they did it was they made superheroes holding <laughs> random Mexican dishes such as burritos, tacos, all this stuff. And people got upset. They were like, what? This this is how you're, uh, you know, celebrating yeah, that, our culture? I, that's kind of racist. I was about to say, that's kind of racist before you even said that. Yeah. 
What do you think about Man, that? Man, well, well, here's the thing. The, the, the quickest cultural identifier is food. Wait, before you say that. And before you, before you say that... <laughs> Burritos that ain't even made that, that was made in Texas. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, like, burritos, that, I heard burritos are not even technically. Yeah, Mexican. Riley taught me that. Shout out yeah. to Riley. She told me that's not even traditional. But she I think like, here's my thing. I, I think food should be left off limits, bro. You go to TJ, you go to Mexico, bro. There's sushi spots, there's pizza spots. You know what I'm saying? Like we could we should all just enjoy food. If they were going to celebrate Russian culture, I'm sure. They would have a portrait. jello platter. There would have been with sardines no, no, in I, it. No, I, no, Russians are not known for their food. They would have had like some sort of big fuzzy hat. They might have, if they, if they were gone too far, they might have had a bottle of vodka in their hand. Potatoes might have been around. You know what I mean? Like, or well, whatever. I like to think that there was probably a, 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 a whole artboard of all the different uh, iterations they made. And they had one with like a sombrero and a lowrider. And they were watching <laughs> Tyga's video. They're like, yo, we can't yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. That's too far. <laughs> Let's stick with yeah. the, the, the uh, takeout bag. But what would, be, what would be the appropriate way for them to celebrate I'm the I'm cool with that. Thing? I mean, like, throw a chihuahua maybe. You know what I'm saying? That's so. crazy. A chihuahua. Put a poncho on him. That's like Paris. Put a poncho on Spider-Man. I don't know. Like, maybe put like the Spider-Man like I would just say it. leave it alone how about that like yeah i don't know spider-man needs to be mexican yeah for just day. leave it alone bro because it's like like we're cool with them being white why don't you, know you just I mean? like make a little paragraph like hey yo happy you know this yeah. is for american Her- Did mexican y'all know heritage Doctor or Strange whatever was half mexican and yeah, that's it or something bro like you don't have to do dc universe was like yo we already made half our characters gay what can we do at this point? but you said who found out on instagram <laughs> who found out on instagram <laughs> Uh, I forgot who posted. I actually, that. I but it was, speaking of, it was a food I heard of you or your, uh, your you, favorite newscast. You ain't hard fool. You just reminded yeah. me of speaking of Instagram. Something happened to you on Instagram today me? that you posted. What did I post? Your whip. Oh my mm, god. No, no. But before you start that, oh my god, shit. Hold on to your plane ticket. You will need to take <laughs> off soon. But I am starting <laughs> a notes page, bruh. Of Yuri morning story posts of all the inaccurate. I'm, I'm ready to get into this right now. Politically adjacent topics that he throws out, bro. He said some stupid shit this morning. He's like, That's electric not- cards are so dumb because, dude, you gotta like. All right, I'm gonna let up. you guys argue. I go take a piss. I will. Up. I will defend this. I will. I will. If, if, you know, I don't want to waste Toke's time because I'm sure he's not interested in this. Maybe half our, you know, <laughs> some of the audience might not be interested either. But I'm ready to defend this. That electric cars. I don't. Here's the thing: is California and a bunch of companies are promoting it as if it's like the the do all save all this buy electric car you're saving the world no it's like th- there's other alternatives such as the things i messaged you like yeah. you need to focus on public transportation not focusing on every single person having their own individual car but you know we I mean? are really relying on some external variable right there which is like tax money you feel me where it's like it, in order to install solar panels doesn't necessarily t- it cost as much to run a whole bus company um yes but then also blaze you were saying like oh like uh you know, cars have solar panels. Okay, so the argument uh, uh, that Blasey's talking about here is like, I posted the things uh, talking about how uh, California had made this public announcement asking the people of California saying, please don't charge your electric cars because we're suffering from black outages. And then a week before they made this post, they said, um, by 2035, we're only selling electric cars. That's no official. More, no more yeah. gas cars, right? That's already official. How the fuck? Okay, that's already 13 years in the future, but how are you going to promote <clears throat> only electric cars when you're saying, please don't charge your electric cars? We can't even handle this shit. You know what I mean? It's like, that doesn't even make sense, but that's not even the only argument. You were saying, like, oh, these cars, uh, they charge solar panelly, so they don't even need to be charged, whatever. Some, not no, all. No, there's only like one or two cars, and they're definitely not a Tesla that actually generate enough electricity to run themselves. And they're like three-wheeled cars. Okay. There's no four-wheeled sedan or SUV that can charge itself uh-huh. through solar panel and run daily. There's, oh. there's no car that can do okay, that. Okay, cool, but check it out. You're t- <laughs> so if, 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 if we turn back time 13 years ago, mm-hmm. we didn't have the sophistication on you know a, a, a electric power that we do today. I'm, I'm just going to yeah. assume that in 13 years from now, Bro, you could just click that shit and it's already, you know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. worry about power. Well, my you know? argument was, And and okay. with the whole sorry. No, you're good. Uh, I it's my argument turbulence. with you was basically saying like I feel like we need to not focus on having electric cars as a solution, but more focusing on let's cl- let's actually clean up our public transportation and make it so people want well, to use it and that are was, not scared to use that it was gonna and be make my, better versions of it. That was know? gonna be my common uh ground with you, actually. It's like mm-hmm. what I could see them. In, in the 13 years from now, they're going to implement electric buses and public pr- they got They got to make sure people aren't doing heroin and people aren't getting robbed every night on that bus, though. That's you know only I mean? in L.A., bro. Everybody's mm-hmm. not scared to take the buses anywhere else. 
You think it's, so? It's like, I'm not scared to take yeah. the bus. You but think I people would, are scared to take the bus in Arizona? No. That's true. That's but true. the thing about, uh, like, I mean, even the bus drivers don't really have a tolerance for that shit. You feel me? The train's a little bit different because no one's really, like, running that shit. Yeah, running, yeah, like, yeah. running, running it. I've seen but, like, crazy shit on the train. But a bus driver, like, they'll pull over and be like, yo, like, it's time to go, bro. Yeah, or they'll just assign a police officer to the next, the then, next stop. I see yeah. it happen. But then also my homie Scumbags, shout out to, you know, Scumbags. Shout out Shorts. Scumbags. He was stabbed on a bus by a homeless man randomly. Oh my god! So and once again, in LA, yo, in LA, I be yes. hearing these freak uh, homeless stories of people just getting like randomly like mauled and shit like that. That's just crazy. Mauled? That was basically a mauling. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. His but story's you, fucked uh, up, dude. Bro, if you get stabbed by a home, oh my god, that's so stressful because stab period, bro. You going? You, that's traumatic. And right? you know what's even more fucked up is uh, some 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 sometimes I'll I'll tell this story to other people and they'll be like. I would have never let that happen. I would have knocked him out. I would have done this. I Bro, you know what I, he said? He said that he was literally minding his own business on the bus, looking one direction, and he feels like a nudge. He said that he thought someone was like asking him to move over. He said like he just feels like a nudge on his thigh. He turns around and he sees a knife in it. And he's like, oh, I've just been stabbed. You know what I mean? Like it was just kind of thing like where this dude just did it for no reason, randomly, sucker punch. I'm going to stab back. With what? what? With his see? knife. And take it out. You're going to take it out of you and stab back. Yeah, nigga, what do you think? You, okay, you're crazy. But yeah. no, but going on to like the homeless me, hey, bro. One time, one time when I was like 17, bro, this homeless dude, we were just skating down the boardwalk, right? This homeless dude comes out of nowhere, bro, just chasing us with a shovel, bro, to kill you. Guys? Yeah, I don't. He was like, Jesus. he's just chasing us, like he's smashing it on the ground, trying to hit us as like he's getting close, trying to hit us no and shit. Way. Bro, it was the craziest shit for no reason. We on skateboards and shit, trying to like go. Bro. This dude was the Fastest nigga in the <laughs> world, bro. He's probably off a, Just keeping uh, up with all of us, bro. Like literally, it was so crazy. He chased us for so many blocks, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck dude, was that?" I have a similar story where if it happened to me nowadays, I feel like this guy could have gotten way more trouble. But like back in the day when I was like thirteen, I was hanging out at this public park. Me and my homie were like, "Let's go to Seven Eleven, grab some drinks, whatever." We go to Seven Eleven. On our way back, we passed by a homeless man. We didn't even say a word to him. He just sees us and he just starts yelling at us, um, saying like. You see that park over there? I I went to I was in the military. I went to Vietnam. I paid for that park. You kids are un, are ungrateful. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. He's yelling at us for no reason. We're like fuck you, Grandpa. Like get out of here. <laughs> and, then, and, we're, and we're trying to get away from him. And he's, the same thing. He starts following us, dude. Yeah. And then we go to like this like there's like a jungle gym and we climb to the very top or whatever where he can't go. And he's at the bottom yelling at us still. Bro, and he, he fucking takes his pants down and moons us. And he's like, uh, fuck, fuck you, kids. No. And he's like 40. You bro. got hobo ass in your face. Yeah, we had yeah. dirty hobo ass in our face. Oh, not in our face. Oh, it was like wow. 10 feet you're away. You're getting but. like pink eye regardless. Yeah. Bro. If you're in the 10 foot vicinity. <laughs> Especially if you let out a little toot. Oh, yeah. my God. Speaking of toots, bro, I got a toot to the face the other day, actually, from what? the homie Chibu. For a donation? Not for a donation, you, unfortunately. You tooted in this nigga face? Bro. Come on. <laughs> We already talked about this on stream, so I feel comfortable, comfortable talking about it. Wait, happened? why would oh, you no, hop on for a second, bro? We, Yo, yeah, come yeah, here, yeah. come here. Yeah, we should bring couple Chibu minutes, on. couple minutes. Come, come on, here, bro. real quick. You got let's, let's explain hey, this. Because uh, uh, this sounds crazy. Also, I got a bone to pick. Apparently, there's some goat fuckers in this or donkey oh, fuckers. Donkey oh, fuckers. Oh, no, but let's talk about no, no, we're, no, 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 no. We're, all right. So explain why, why you farted in my face. Please. Why was your no 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 no? Explain why your face was next to his <laughs> butt ass. This one right here. Huh? Wait. Also on top of it, a little bit. One more piece of detail. It was forty seconds into meeting him. Yeah, that one. Right and you there. just already got your face <laughs> buried in cheeks, bro. My what? Face is not buried in cheeks. I, look at me. I have no pink eye here, man. I'm fine. Bro, I'm just saying that like it was just oh, unexpected. First of all, stop that there, then right there. Uh, so what I, happened? So this is what happened. So, wait, wait, first I introduce yourself to the... Uh, oh, yes, yeah. yes. Hey, I'm Chibu. Oh, nice talking, to to talking, talking to the mic. I'm Chibu. Nice to meet y'all. How y'all doing today? Yeah. Hi. Shout out to Chibu. Shout out to Chibu. Hey, man, I, I'm going to just explain the story straight up, man. So, this is the f first meetup. We meet in Yuri for the first time, okay? Like, uh, you feel me? And after that, I didn't know who Yuri was, but, like, it was important to both them niggas. So, I was like, I bet. You feel me? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a rowdy nigga type shit all the time. So, yeah. I, you know, I was going to stay composed, visit him. So, I was on TikTok. And, you know, TikTok is the land of the butts. Like, the yash, the bunda. Like, it was, it was so much ass on my TikTok. You feel me? For you, Paige. I was scrolling. The good lives. Like, I'm telling you, big butts. Like, you know, the, the dookie blasters was fat. Oh my you know what I'm saying? Like, so, so, I'm happy as shit. Like, you know? So, you know, like, I'm a man. You feel me? I'm 18. Like, come on. Like, the girl, the man. Nigga, how? I'm 
I'm be honest. I almost forgot. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? He, so her, the ass was fat. I'm looking at the meat club. Yo. Yo. Nation, let Strike me one. You see? So I got bricked, right? And that, we pulled up on this nigga's garage, bro. You know, I got bricked. So I ain't want niggas to see my, you, my dick and shit. So I had to fart on the nigga as a diversion. Right? Ah, but, shit. So it you was, were horny as fuck. You see Yuri, you gave me a little too. It was a good diversion. I it was a diversion so he don't see my dick and balls. I would have never fuck? expected he had a boner because I was running away from a fart. I feel like you that's know? the only time it's appropriate to do <laughs> that. What the fuck <laughs> you got going on, bro? Like, what the fuck is... What $5 is, fart in your face donations, Yuri? Nah, really? This is crazy. Are we diversion, getting there? bro. I had to protect my balls. Like, like, bro. Well, I, I appreciate the diversion because it would have been way more awkward if I had met him and I was like... Oh, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that would have been worse. Blame me though. You can't blame me though because like I go on my explore page on IG. You see, they got the Instagram models with the meat. But I'm not getting. So wait, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I'm going in. You never met this nigga. You walked into his house with hard dick. No, no, no. And you farted in this nigga's face because you didn't want him to see a. What the fuck? The car. And I got hard enough. You was in the car with hard dick with these niggas? What's this? <laughs> hey, yo. I had, yo, one, I had one yo. more amazing piece of information. I've heard enough. I think Tope's jealous. Yo. Oh. Riley's first appearance on yo. Disconnected. Hi. Good quote. Wow. Damn. Hey, yeah, I want to do speak on that because first of all, do not be inviting niggas to the crib without telling me. You cannot... This will do really not have African Americans at your house without telling me, bro. This will like, really wrong with you? He, like, he was in the chat, like, yo, yeah. who are these black guys with you? Like, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, I, I, what role? You didn't tell me we're exclusive. You know, Y'all are like, for bro, sure what? exclusive. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Bro, all right. So, let, and then let's get on this, though. Bro. So, dude, I click on the stream, boom. These niggas are talking about fucking donkeys. I, okay. This is where I could take part of the blame. Yuri, come on, bro. Yuri pulls up a Yuri pulls up a donkey fucking documentary on YouTube for everyone to see how people fuck donkeys. You are suspended from disconnected for like an episode. And niggas want to get mad at me because I asked, have you seen something? I didn't say. And then, wait, no, 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 wait, no, 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 these niggas talking about, oh, there has to be a reason why they're doing this. It might Fuck work. No. <laughs> what for <laughs> what, nigga? Work what? Who said, said that? this on fucking camera? Who Hell said no. that? Uh, you you want to hop on defend yeah. yourself? Yo, uh, defend no. yourself. I, I don't remember anyone this saying this. This nigga right here. Shout out to Ricky. Shout out to Ricky. What's going on? What's going uh, on? A couch oh, full of animal let me, let me fuckers is crazy. Real quick. Real quick. I'm not saying it's right to do. Or wrong. But I'm Yo. just saying, like, if, if it was bad, these niggas wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be famous to do. It. That's all I'm saying. Nah. Exposed for liking certain type of weird pornography. Yeah, but I'm not nah, giving nah, them nah. a reason. I'm oh not trying. There's a reason. It might be okay. Like, no. This no. nigga is saying, I this never said it was looking okay. to justify donkey fucking. This is donkey. That is wild. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm justifying donkey fucking. I'm just saying. You like, truly are. Toke, you need to watch this documentary because what you're doing right now is you're making fun of a culture that's been doing this for yeah, hundreds of years. Up. That don't and, mean it's right. And, and you're making fun of them, bro. That don't so, mean that's right. I, There's people that don't eat cows. You eat beef all the time. Bro, donkey. Take it like this. You Listen. Being black, you being black. Take it like this. All right. So there's a lot of things growing up being black. Yeah, there's a lot of things growing up being black. You know, just stuff that you do just because you've seen older black people do it. And then you do it around people who aren't black, and they just kind of like scratch their head a little bit, right? Nigga, I see it's OB culturally did. It's bullshit. different. Bullshit. I it's different. I see different. old niggas eating chitlins all the time. I ain't never had a chitlin in my motherfucking <laughs> life, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck out of here. So you're, influence, you're, you're, you're huh? influenced by the uh, by the donkey funky. 
Influence? I wouldn't say influence. <laughs> it sounds like you're influenced. No, bro. Wait, said there's a reason why. why you so came. Famous. You came with a PowerPoint presentation no, no, about no, no, bullet points. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Toke is re misrepresenting everything. Yeah. The chat was donating. The this is my chat. first time on stream with Ricky. The chat was donating, saying, "Ricky, ask Yuri about the orange situation." I had to explain the orange situation. <laughs> we were talking about fucking inanimate <laughs> objects. And then I was like, oh, have you guys heard about this donkey video? And it was just like, it, it, was, a it was a snowball effect. I'm the only one here who hasn't fucked an animal or a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm feeling left you, out. This nigga can't go next to petting zoos, produce. Oh, yeah. my the God. The P word is just out for this oh nigga. God. Like, God damn. Bro. Yeah. It's, it's okay. You're not, you know? you're not allowed around the kennels, the dog parks. <laughs> no, facts. Especially with a camcorder. I, 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 I ask if you, have you, somebody ever seen it. I just, and that's why you've been so passionate the last five minutes. Sorry. That's why you've been so passionate and loud the last five minutes because you have been looked at as the dog fucker yeah. and no, you're trying to yeah. find the new the, no, the new yeah. person that's, to that's point facts. at. Yeah, another facts. thing is, no, in the culture, no. the women wouldn't let you sleep with them unless you had did it already. Hell it's like you, to nah. become a what? man, you I'm have to celibate. Do I'm celibate. Yeah, okay, y'all exactly. watch the video. That's what where culture? I'm like, okay, we got to find some sort of bridge. I'll fuck my it's, hand. Is it where? Is it where? I don't know. Where the hell is that? Liberia? Bro, <laughs> I'm not doing that. This and is it's crazy. like, bro, like a donkey pussy. Are you serious, bro? That's yeah, wow. You, you, you finna get a pussy though. It could be don't donkeys kick things. you if you get behind them too? Wait, in that in that documentary, the girl they interviewed girls as well from that same village, and they were the girls were saying they get fucked guys, by donkeys. No, no, the girls said the guys who fuck donkeys fuck better. Literally, Hell word nah. for word. What do you say? <laughs> what do you have against facts, bro? <laughs> Yo, bro, <laughs> are you? She said it, not me. Dude. I don't want to be the first podcast to like enable donkey fucking. I'm not enabling it. I don't think it's right it. at all. It I don't think, a, disclaimer, I don't think it's right at all. That's what I'm saying. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. But we I'm also just saying it, it's just information we saw and we're like, Y'all oh. got on my ass and y'all niggas are really oh justifying okay. this. This is you know, crazy. This, this is a terrible no, way. I never tried to justify it once. Y'all niggas... You watched it. Yeah, you were. What would you I just do? said, have what you ever you seen What would I do? You couldn't have sex with the love of your life because you've not fucked the donkey. What you do? Then I'm celibate. The bro. love of your life? Yeah. I'm fucking. Me too, then. Yeah, me too. I'm literally turning cold and pale. Wait, and wait, I'm wait no, hold on. <laughs> to add to his question, what if the love of your life is in front of you? You, you have the biggest crush on her. You know you love her. You want to fuck her. All this shit. She's giving you the vibes. But fuck on, that. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But on top of that, all your friends and family have also fucked the donkey. Bro, oh, what kind yeah, of family yeah, are you, yeah. bro? What? Listen, Pressure, listen. Right? If I was born into it, that's different. That's what I'm saying. But like, as a twi like, hmm, let me, let me, let me go on Wikipedia. Let me, let, let me research this. I can't do that, bro. You could be fucking Mother Teresa. I don't give a fuck about your pussy. I'm not fucking you to get like, I'm not fucking a donkey in order to get to you. Okay, okay. That's that's, that's where I draw the line. That's, that's, Kevin. A, that's Kevin. Kevin. Okay. When when I'm on a date, Kevin. when I'm on a date and the girl asks me my boundaries, I'm throwing fucking donkey fucking in there because apparently that's like a deal breaker with women. Wow. <laughs> with some women. Come on. Some no, women. No blanket but, statements. Here. I'm sorry. I'm, wait. <laughs> don't wait me, you dog Liberi fucker. Liberia is in what? That's in Africa. It's in Africa, right? Yeah. Don't act so educated thought, oh, right shit. now. Yeah, they're probably black doing it. That's crazy. No. Yes. No, don't put yes. that on black. Yes. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? They, you they doing? are. I'm saying, like, you so like on the other side. Nah, you gotta, bro. I mean, some of your, your kindred doing it. Possibly. You might have. I've never in. been to Africa one time, bro. Never. So never don't say my kins. I don't know them niggas like that, bro. No. God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't do that. Hell no. Hell no. Nah. I mean, bro, no, you're, you just, you you half stepping though. You know, you you, you, you go half from canine step? to uh, you know what I'm saying, donkey, maybe canine? an extra. That is. I mean, he's a dog stepping. fucker. Why have we talked about that? Yet? What are you we've, talking about? We've I, unpacked I, that for two hours. He's like, yo, have y'all seen these like <laughs> these funny videos on like I don't know, they be fucking at like these girls fuck dogs. Y'all like that shit? We're like, what the? And fuck no, I are said, you have you, I just all I said was, have you seen it? That was it, and we moved on. And we no, mm -hmm. we know. We told you immediately, delete all your history, <laughs> throw away your computer. We we says, talked to, we talked to Josh. We're like, Josh, please delete that from the podcast. Says the donkey it, man. I'm not a donkey man. I'm the You're donkey. facilitating donkey fucking. No, I'm an information. Niggas finna here. film Jackass Six. On well, okay, God. so I can tell you about people doing heroin in the alley. Does that mean I do heroin in the alley? Maybe if you're watching them like that. No, I have. Okay, you know what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's All right, like, man. Let's get into the closing enabler. news, man. Man, first off, we oh, got to break down the drip Wait, also, check, just, uh, number one, let's get into the introduction. Shout out to Ricky for joining yeah. the podcast. Oh, yeah, Thank you so much for hopping on. Let them um, know what the deal is, who you are. Oh, yeah, my name is Ricky. I, uh, I make YouTube videos. 
it's like a vlog. Pretty much whatever I do in a week, I just sum it up into a video and post it. That's okay. how, how'd nice. you meet? How'd you meet this demented motherfucker? So uh, don't say Russ. Uh, no, no, not okay. Russ. So basically, I was just like scrolling through my Instagram discovery feed, and I saw this like funny video where uh, Ricky was going through some sort of like library or something like that, and he had a filmer behind him, and a, a worker of the library came up to him saying, "Hey, hey, hey, no filming," and he was like, "Oh, uh, she identifies as a camera." Oh, that was you. And yeah. then and I yeah. reposted yeah. that because I was like, I "Yo, I was that, like, yeah. that's fucking hilarious, right?" And then he replied to that like, "Yo, that's me," and I was like, "Yo, like what the fuck?" And then I followed him. He followed me back. And then um, I was thinking about starting this new podcast series on my channel, Harmonious Hour, every Wednesdays, mm. where like I interview different guests. And uh, I was just like, so you me, slid in his DMs. I was like, let me see if I'm he's down. Ass, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. Wow. Bro. He's fighting niggas. Bro, <laughs> you're gonna have to fight him. <laughs> fight for my love, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you come in at a crazy angle talking about a podcast. You really just want to meet. Yeah, other this nigga sliding in niggas DMs. Like, yeah, thinking you slick, donkey oh fucking, God. and that's oh a, that's your first meetup. Y'all try y'all on stream like. That's you honestly seen no, this donkey fuck. The, like, the bro, harmonious what? game chats to blame because they were just like Ricky asked Yuri about. Oh no, uh, Ricky asked Yuri about Birkenstocks. Oh, yeah, Ricky yeah. asked Yuri about oranges. Oh my god. Ricky asked Yuri about truck. Like all this. I was just like, bro, you guys are making the worst like first impression. Where I got to explain. Those are mine. It, it's yeah, almost like those are mine. It's almost like Yuri's like a sex offender when it comes to like streaming. <laughs> Don't like say you have that. to go around your neighborhood and be like, hey. I, I fucked the norm. Let, let me explain what Birkenstocks are. <laughs> Honestly, you know low I mean? key. Let me explain yeah. what Birkenstocks are. Like Speaking every, of which. Yeah, every time you go on a stream, you have to like kind of like the, the chat will the chat will tell it. Yeah. It, the chat Honestly, tell no, it. you're low key right because I, I have had people on the stream before where I was just like, hey, uh, before they, it even starts. Right. If people ask about oranges, ignore it. You know what I mean? I'm like yeah. oh, whatever it is. It's it's yeah. You just whatever. gotta tap in with their mods and just ban the word orange and like every uh, type of spelling of it. it. Does, you could spell orange so many different ways <laughs> along with that. They do that word. with your stream? They they start throwing the threes and well shit. I haven't banned the orange yet. You've never tried it again since then, be honest. If you ban I orange or fake. I'm telling you, bro, I so I hate to have to speak on this again, but like as soon as I, it was over, the process was over. I was overwhelmed with such a level and feeling of shame, guilt, um, like, why did I just do this? You know what I mean? Like, uh, mm -hmm. like it just, it just, I was just bad feelings. I was yeah. just like, I'm never doing this again. I can't believe I was this down bad. But I'm not going to feel bad because I know yeah. every single one of us here no. has been down sure. bad sure. enough sure. for no. 18 years. Nope. You know, nope. Bird, oh, nope. Uh, An orange, bro? Oh, yeah. Your mic did turn off. Oh, Mic's off. Yo, 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 yo. Maybe for oh, a good wait. reason. You're about to see some crazy shit. Well, I know. For real. But listen, no, never in my uh, 27 years on this earth have I ever fucked an inanimate object beyond my hand. You're 27? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 32. 32? Oh, Yuri. Oh How old are you, Yuri? Damn. Oh, 28. How old are you? I'm 22. Oh shit! Yeah. Hell yeah. If I'm lucky, I'll live to be, you know what I mean? Type shit. On oh, God. Hell That's yeah. what's up. Doing hey, we fed check where, in where, four where, years. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Indiana. I lived in Chicago for like a few years or whatever, but then we moved out there. Do you move to Indiana? Yeah. What is there to do out there? Shit, man. Look at corn. Look at trees grow. Stuff like that. Oh, look God. at trees grow. I drove yeah. through Indiana one time. Ass, bro. I wish I was joking. It's just gas stations and fucking yeah. corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Corn fields and shit. Yuri broke his mic, so technically different guys. Sorry. Sorry. I, I didn't do anything. I was just... Are you a Colts fan? You, I can no, still low-key no, hear you, though. Good, good, we good. could, like... What if I, like, fuck up my shit? Yeah, yeah. Yuri shit's Talk. like... Hello. Talking your mic? Yo, 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 yeah, no, it's out. Yeah, his is out. It's yeah. Like, I just heard like a pop and it stopped working. But back, yeah, you you cannot uh, accuse me and be like, I know you it's done it's something out. weird, Blazzy. It's out. The most I ever messed up on was like, I'm not gonna. I was at some. I, I was spending the night somewhere, and uh, oh, God. it was a long night. I needed some extra stimulant to go to sleep, right? Some natural stimulant. Okay. Yeah. So, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I saw lotion, <laughs> bro. What I picked up lotion, and ten minutes into me doing my thing, I realized it was glitter lotion, and I was getting burned. Yeah. Swear to God. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, can I just say that happened? Lotion's overrated. Lotion's you just overrated. Tried to kiss him? I did not try to. Kiss you were too like. Uh, <laughs> I just, I'm just calling it how I see it, man. Oh my god. Tell the jelly. Yo, yo, yo. I'm an umpire. Oh, I'm an umpire. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Um. Number oh, one, shout out Boston with the technical That's emojis. Yeah, shout out to Boston, y'all. Y'all throw plug chats, throw plug emojis into his comment section right now. Right Adam, busy. Adam threw Bossa and I into like a gladiator field to fight for the job, and Bossa 
unfortunately won. So if no jump, stayed. if no jump ever does host the fight night, y'all are definitely on the undercard. Oh, that's fucked up. Why, why would you say that? That would be that would be that would be, cool, be good. You, know? you would be in the sumo wrestling wrestling match. <laughs> I will. I'll probably like be fly, fighting like Flacco or something like that. Like, I'm down. <laughs> You're losing. I'm telling you, as a guy who played basketball against forever, uh, Flacco, he can push you like a motherfucker. No, what yeah. you gotta do with the with the boxing gloves, just fucking. Hit him in his nuts and he's fucking done. That's you know, not you know that's illegal in boxing. I'm getting yeah, kicked out. You, really, you don't really watch any sports, do you? No. Nah. I was gonna say that's completely illegal. To I watch the Food Network. That's not bad. I could tell, Geary, but <laughs> you are. Hey, nobody's no one, man. No, <laughs> yeah. Oh on, God. <laughs> my bad. Before my bad, I bad. fucking orange shame you, like oh, I had the last thirty minutes. Produce oh, shame. Okay. Well, but uh, speaking about uh, shaming. You want to speak on the fits or like? Yeah, let's get into it. Let, let, let's go left to right. All right, let's do it. Uh, well, yeah, what you, yeah. what you got for your fit on? Oh, my fit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm that rocking. shirt is funny though. Yeah, I like. I see the, the play uh, on it. All balls, no brains shirt available at shopricky.com. Is that a play on like the uh, all tits, no brains shirts that like women wear? Uh, no. No. Yeah, oh I'm not, shit. I'm not, I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me neither. Oh, I've seen those. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you've seen everything. Fucking clothing wise, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. These shirts, uh, shirt. These shorts probably from like Ross or some shit, some Birkenstock. There you go. Pretty, yeah. Quick shit. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> good, good stream fit, honestly. Yeah, good stream yeah. fit. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll start from bottom and go top. I got all red ones. Um, ice cream BBC shorts. Okay. Supreme jersey, starter Supreme cap, and my fucking. A hoodie I'm not starter, wearing. Starter, the starter, you know, the starter jacket too it's as well. You feel me? No, I know God. it is slightly. I'm struggling warm. right now. You no, can take that jacket so off. You it's know, it's hard. yeah. Fuck available. it. I'm gonna take this jacket off. All right. Well, I got uh, this <clears throat> um, Stonebrook tee on. I know this could slightly be offensive towards police officers, shout but Stonebrook. it's a cool T-shirt. I feel Stop like. It. Um, shout out to uh, scumbags for these. Uh, scumbags, you think bro. any police officers watch this? Like, out of the the 150 or so. K views that we get in a week. Like, do you, you think, think one of those is like a cop? deputy or something like yes, that? Yes, I think about them. I'm watching this shit. It's probably, like, it's probably like 20 of them. Yeah, not an officer, probably like a, a FBI agent, you know, for yeah. forming a case on, uh, on, on oranges, oranges and like fucking that. donkeys. The, yeah, Shout the, out to scumbags for the shorts. Um, a, a very good friend of mine. Um, these FTW socks. I, they're the only glittery socks I've ever those owned socks in my are cool. life. I don't want to talk about glitter. And no I was more. just like, fuck it, I'm gonna put these on. Does this give you bad uh, back memories? I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, some people wear FTP, other people wear FTW. I forgot what it stood for. And then also I have these um, uh, Femme, Femme uh, shoes. I, I forgot the name of these shoes, goddamn. Oh, it's Stefan Times Violent Femmes. They look like Janowski's. They, they do look like the Janowski's, They're right? Like Stefan Janowski's times uh, uh, Femme or something or whatever. Shout out to them. I told myself that I would not wear shorts during Disconnected anymore because of our new angle. But it's a, it was 101 degrees. What's wrong with the house? shorts? You think you're like, your shit's they, gonna fall? They can see testicles sometimes. I only brought the jacket point. because For of sure, like the sure, air sure. be busting in here sometimes. <laughs> it keeps them like watching though. I, I gotta tuck, I gotta put rubber bands around my shorts or something like that. To, Bro, like, come on, man. Cut away. I don't think Bro. I've ever worn shorts <laughs> on this show. I don't think I've ever seen you wear shorts. I don't shorts. think I've ever seen you wear shorts. I feel like you don't have leg yeah. hair or something. I uh, barely don't because I just wear pants all day. You are so white, bro. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Yo, I thought my farmer's Did you play soccer bad. in pants? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but I barely bro. play soccer at all. You feel me? So, like, Damn. I was definitely having some white-ass legs. Blazzy's you see my thighs. They look like your face, Yuri. Blazzy's multicultural. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely just a gradient. All right, what you got on? Uh, I got some good Subi Cokes. I fucking love these sandals, man. Listen, nothing beats comfort, and these hoes are definitely it right here, man. Uh, the homie said that these are uh, uh, these look like a bulletproof vest on the, some sandals. So. They actually yeah, now they, they actually, say that they do. I'm like, you need to throw security on there. Yeah, Sounds yeah, kind of yeah. hard. Um, but I got some half evil socks, man. I got a uh, nothing personal sample pants that I'm probably never gonna drop. FTP shirt. Zach surprised me. Apparently, he left this for me today, man. Shout out to the good wow, people at FTP. Uh, Rider and nothing personal bracelets. Um and Rick Owens jacket and Versace shades, man. Is that the rider? You with said you're never gonna drop diamond? those. The pants, nah. Uh, you know because you should, like I've been should. I've been burnt so many times with like uh pant manufacturers and it's kind of fucked uh, up. You should drop them with a battle pass, everybody. I should have <laughs> go up, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Wait, is is one of those teeth covered in diamonds? Yeah, this is rider or, or shit two right of here. them. Uh, I think one. I'll. Maybe two. That's pretty That's cool. That's just one. I fuck with it. Yeah, they're, they're actually Ryder's teeth. Shout out to Ryder Studios. If y'all want to grab this bracelet, teeth? yeah. You want to grab this bracelet of Ryder's actual teeth, bro, go ahead and shop up at Ryder Ryder, Ryder, if you're watching this, bro, you made the hardest fucking 
jacket that it turns into a bag or some oh, shit. Oh, yes. Bruh, yes. that's the hardest thing I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, yeah. at first I was thinking in my head like, you can't use it as a bag because it's already stuffed. But then I was thinking of all the times that I wanted to carry a jacket with me, yeah. but carrying a jacket is the most uncomfortable thing ever. Look but at me you, right now. If you can make it into a bag, it's like, it's so much more. Like this turned yeah, into a backpack, it's over. Fire thing. Yeah. I have to get one of those. No, man. I agree. After those I saw that, so what's what's the word for it, Blasi? When like clothes aren't just like, they don't just look good, but they have like a use to it. There's like a, um, you know what I'm talking about, right? Functionality? It's a better word than functionality, but like, I like when clothes have functionality to it. Where it's like there's actually like a certain use, a specific yeah. use, and like that functionality. Multi. That's one of them, you know. But I'm, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. We'll be back Shout out to Ryder Studios, man. Yeah. And we are on to the clothing news, man. Well, so sneaker news first. We're starting off with the sneaker news. Um, you know, these, shout out Mac, man. I think, yeah, shout out to Mac guys, and uh, you know, we 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 probably like downloaded the files a little wonky last week, man. But Mac still holding us down, and hey. shout out to Riley on the board. Hey as Riley, well. can we start with the? Uh, can we? Can we skip the first one since, you know, because we already seen those. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are specifically for household, yeah. but unfortunately, my boy got some shit to do. All right. First. So first we got the Golf Wing NASA Converse Chucks, man. The release info is, wait, let me see what it said. I'm sorry. It says this collab was specifically made to celebrate the first ever mission launch. But it doesn't say when it, it drops. So here, let's take a look at them real quick. The box is fire. Let's just start there. The box is fire. The box is cool, man. But like, I, I'm really interested in like, you know, buying the shoe. I'm not, I can't really wear the, I can't bring the box with me everywhere. Uh, is it just the box that they show? Wait, this, yeah, this, this there is, it is, these are here. Bro, uh, these are... I actually tagged Mac when I stay grounded posted these and I tagged Mac. So I was like, I wanted to review them. But like, not, when I thought I seen these, I thought they were kind of hard. These are kind of like, I don't know. They're kind of just, they're kind of off to me. I don't know. But with some like good Sierra pants, or like, with, you know, good like flared out bottom pants. Maybe. They're cool. I mean, my, my whole thing about Converse is they just always been like a little too skinny. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't, they're they're just a little too 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 uh, yeah. uh, slim for me. I'll be real. Yeah, with I'm you. not like a the sh- I'm shoe guy at all. Like I'm li- I'm dead ass wearing Burks. What could what could I wear with that to make something like that like even work? I don't know. You would have to like you would have to like, like wear some like the whole fit gotta be plain just for those those shoes to really pop, stand out. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to wear like some white pants. And it or almost like looked that. like you just spray painted your shoes on some like. Saying, I don't even want those shoes to, like pop out that much. Yeah, so man, what is it like drip or skip? It's definitely a skip. Um. But I do want to uh, tap in on the whole NASA thing. Apparently, that's like a, a it's like public domain. So like anyone is given like uh, I guess like acceptance to collab. Oh, with is them. that what? But Vans just did a collab with them like what a year ago. Yeah, so the Heron Preston but, yeah, back in the day. They had the sickest puffer too, man. Them shits went crazy. Yeah, you go to Target, you'll see like a NASA shirt, just like the logo and shit. You I know? mean, you go to Target, you'll see fucking every a logo Pink Floyd yeah. shirt too. <laughs> oh God. <That's> <laughs> And I ain't gonna lie, like in another universe, I like to think that uh, I would have just picked up a job just designing those shirts, like like just Pink the Floyd's? one or like Irma God or something like that, yeah. some stupid shit like that. Like I don't know. I felt that. Yeah, we can go to the next one. Yeah, for the next pair, listen, y'all, we got the RTFKTs. Ah, I, I forgot how to pronounce it. Someone told me one time, but uh, uh dope ass 3d designers to to say the least some shoe designers as well they're colliding with nike and takashi mirakami to make it air force one uh the release date is going live august 31st which was yesterday and will open they'll the shop will be open for a whole week guys uh users will who purchase the entities have another week after that to get them in real life and they are six hundred dollars wow roll the shoe let's, these better let's be see. crazy okay it is gonna be the hardest pass of my life. Six hundred dollars, y'all. Fucking. I'm buying the plainest jacket before I do that, bro. <laughs> yeah. For, all right, I can see these. Okay, wait. Is this an official? Are like, these NFTs? Is this an official shoes? Nike collab? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's I official can, Nike collab. I can see these for like two fifty, maybe, but six hundred is crazy. The Murakami ones I could see for six fifty. No, nah. The thing is with shoes that people always forget and miss is like shoes. These are hard, but six fifty. No, I like to think that they should be one color, I mean a couple colors. You don't need a graphic design on a pair of like sneakers like that. You feel me? Like they should just be a couple colors. Wait, are these actual shoes or are these NFTs? They're both. So because I saw I saw Fran Relations bought the Murakami NFT one. 
Yeah, I don't yeah. Shout out to Fran Alations. I mean, man. Shout this is a dope shoe, bro. Not gonna get. I mean, it's an airport. That right? pair is cold. Shoe. But like, I what, what was that first shit we were looking at? Where it was just like. Like those twelve is like an alien bear or something like that. Like you know what it is? It's like it's for the people who made so much money off their NFTs already. They're like, I need some kicks. You know what I mean? Like some like whatever. They don't that's care unfortunate. About the that's a shallow market for right Air there. Forces. Is crazy. That's bro. not a shallow market. I mean, you're, you're dealing with like shallow. You know, they're buying it for the wrong reasons. But bro, the, but the people who can. But that's so not like Nike to like go to that first clip right there with all the hundred dollars right off the back. You think so? Yeah. Did, when have they they don't even sell in? off white shoes for six hundred dollars right off the bat? Actually, that's true. Uh, you know, maybe they're trying to like um, preserve the value of the NFT by okay. making the shoes overpriced. Because oh, that's crazy. You know, I mean, bro. Like, listen, listen. I've NFT, never, wait, before you say that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go for NFTs it. is dead, bro. Like, give it up. It ain't going nowhere. It's, the shit's a scam, guys. I'm sorry <laughs> to break it to y'all. I bro. think at the very least, like something that even the NFT holders could agree on. The first wave's done. Whether there's going to be some crazy astronomical shit like how we saw with Bitcoin the last five years is going to happen. Maybe. But as of fucking September 1st, 2022, this shit's like at an all-time just like... It's a scam, It's the most it's not uninteresting a scam. thing. It's you know, fake it, money. I've been saying this from the start. It's at the point... Yeah, it's fake money. But it's at the point where it was at 2010, 2011, where right now... It is a good time to invest, but you really got to cross your fingers and hope like this shit's going to blow up one day and I'm not going to die before then. You know? Bruh, but if, not, if you everybody give someone, it, yeah, it's like everybody knew something about it. That's, that's the crazy, real, real. especially with the influencer shit as yeah. well. Like you had a whole range of just motherfuckers that have no reason to drop like Lana Rhodes and shit. She got like, she got a shit yeah. storm, you know what I mean? Behind her just because of the whole NFT thing. And oh. it's like, do we really Bro, need an NFT well, look at all these everybody? YouTuber Look at all these YouTubers getting exposed for fucking scamming NFTs and shit like that. Yeah, that's And it's true. just like, bro, I remember, bro, I got a cousin that literally is just like crypto this, crypto that. He would like literally fuck crypto if he could. Oh, my <laughs> literally, God. Literally, bro. And he was trying to tell me a long time ago when I was like, we were about to buy our house. He was like, bro, if you invest in this NFT, you can buy a way bigger house. You'll be up to oh like 16 God. million. Bro. I'm so glad I didn't listen to. That. I would have killed this nigga, bro. Oh, <laughs> I'm so God. glad I didn't listen to that nigga, it's bro. It's Bible thumping. That's oh what my it is, God. bro. Really? I went to. Uh, I had a pop up this weekend, right? And this fucking clever motherfucker was like, "I'm like, yeah, it's 120. You know, cash your card." He's like, "Um, you take Bitcoin," and I was like, "Excuse me, no." He's like, w "Why not?" I'm like, "Bro, just you have 120. Come on, bro." Like, I know. Bro, for real. This is when I knew I wouldn't want to invest in Bitcoin. I mean, not Bitcoin. I'm talking about NFTs. Yeah. Whenever he's like, you can ask any NFT nigga, like, "Oh, what's if you, you just go like, hey, what's an NFT?" They'll tell you the exact meaning, like, "Oh, it's a non fungible token or whatever." But they don't never explain what the fuck it actually is. That's how that you is make what money. it is. What but, is it? What it, yeah, I don't a non fungible know. token. Okay, what the fuck is that? It's basically art. It's like just how you can just how Picasso exactly what they just, all sound just, like. That just like no just how Picasso has like a picture of some stupid dude's face right. that anyone could draw, right. and they sell for ten million dollars. Same thing with an NFT. But well, with that being said, if we are taking this and judging it like art this is the worst art i ever seen in my life <laughs> let's keep it a hundred and it's not really a that's a fair argument it's not really a matter of subjection because you know whenever you're dealing with like van gogh or like some of these traditional artists these are motherfuckers who've lived and breathed this shit yeah nfts yeah. obviously haven't been around for more than two years you can argue that it's probably been since 2015 Bro, but like you gotta think some nigga just made that shit up literally. some nigga woke up was, like, was feeding for a chance. nfts are next and told you niggas and y'all all believe that shit Bro, did you guys yeah. see the thing about six nine that's what where, it is. Uh, Six nine was promoting. Oh, you didn't pick up a Gene uh, NFT? That's what he was having. You didn't. What? Come uh, on. What the, You're not a Gene holder. Gene. Wait, hold on. Do you guys think where uh, Six Nine was promoting his NFT? Where it was like him in different versions. Yeah, the Gene. Right. It, it was Gene. But anyways, he like basically like just dropped it, never promoted it again, and then later issued an apology where he was like, "Hey guys, sorry, it was a scam. I didn't know." And then <laughs> and then in that same video where he's like saying, "Sorry, it was a scam. I didn't know." He's like, "But." I have this new NFT that's not a scam. Mm. This, this is the real deal this time. And he that just, is he good just scammed his fans and is doing Apology Plus. This is the real one this time. It's plus like scamming them again. <laughs> like, there's two ways. You, if you're already like held guilty of a scamming, there's like two ways. You go the 6 9 route where you're like, but this one ain't a scam. Or you go the Ice with Science route and be like, uh, yeah, dude, I fucking scammed you. Bro, you can uh, ask, what do you want me to say? You can yes. ask Adam, bro. He bought an NFT for a fucking- Adam got CryptoPunks. Yeah, but he, he has yeah, one. Yeah. He bought yeah. an NFT- for whatever amount of money, and he even he'll tell you himself it's bullshit. 
<laughs> it will, bro. I'm trying to tell he you. He was bro. so he, excited over that shit said, a year and a half. He said it himself. All right, like Toke, honest question. So you look through your uh, email, or whatever you know, sandlovers.com or whatever it is, um, and then you see someone say, "Hey, I'll give you five thousand dollars to talk about my NFT on your one of your streams." You doing it? Hell yeah. We we had someone speak on hey, their NFT are. on stream. <laughs> I'm not sure you remember. Hypocrite. <laughs> we had somebody. Sell out. You, hey, what do you mean? Out. You, can't, you can't beat them. Join them. <laughs> so we're gonna see a spliff mode NFT coming soon. No, I with a bunch no, I'm of weak ass too. Corona bottles being dressed up. First and shit. of all, weak bitch. Fuck you. You <laughs> know it's gonna be like the shittiest clip art drawing of a Corona bottle. It's gonna be purple in there. It's gonna be green in there. It's bro. gonna be yellow. Bro, hey, hey yo, Chad. If I sell out. For an NFT, do not listen. Mind to your own just, business. Just know I'm getting the bag, and we're gonna be, we Dude, gonna be I, back I, the next I've, week. The I've gone week. like ten of those emails from different companies saying, "I'll give you two. It's always two thousand dollars. I'll give you two thousand dollars to talk about this NFT." And every time I'm like, "Nah, bro." Yeah, I don't like because hey, I'm like, dude, I keep don't, it a solid year. Yeah. yeah. How, how, does has it in, how does it go up? In five, value? But he like, told me that, five grand. You have to hope. You have they said five grand. You would have been like, "Yeah, I'm talking about that shit." It's really the same. Two grand, I would have told you say no too, but you said five. Five, the, I would have made a bigger deal about saying no. The same way like, the <laughs> NFTs are identified for their values, like the same way they identify like sneakers, right? It's like what the last one sold for. Oh, so they have like a whole market space where it's like, you know, cups NFT where like, oh, this last one sold for 500 bucks. So this one should be like 450 to 550. Like, you have NFT? Like art. Like art. I have zero NFT. I was given one uh, last year, but I have, I I had to download a whole app for it. I've not Bro, touched it I went since. to a party one time and then, Oh in, my. On entry, they were giving away NFTs. That's when I knew. I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. Giving away? They're giving away yeah. NFTs if you come to the party. It, They're like, we just I need your it. social I was uh, driver's like, license. NFT, I was like, seal the deal. NFT parties were wild. I went to one last year and fucking Jordan Belfort was there. No way. He just looked fucking. Was he off Coke or? Uh, he definitely. <laughs> He, That's what he's known he, for. He needed a pair of glasses. No, let's no just, way. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, dude, I was watching it, it. That was the first party that I ever went to where it was like really like some secret service, like security no guards, like some How old white dudes you, in suits. How'd you get your uh, waitering? I was invited. <laughs> <laughs> I was invited by like uh, one, one of the bigger artists of our generations, oh, uh, Entourage. They invited me to this party. Sauce Walker. It, it, I, that would be hard. <laughs> TSF, what up? Nah, but... Uh, they invite me to this Hollywood Hills like sketchy NFT party. We got to show your ID and everything. And wow. uh, I was out in 15 minutes. Like, yeah. I don't really go to parties, let alone some like geeky. If they got, a, if they got a scam ID, I'm out. Bro, it was just like <laughs> nerds and prostitutes. They're like, hey, welcome on in. Here's these thirty-five dollar water bottles. If you want a burger, you know, six hundred fifty dollars. Literally, and it comes also, with an NFT. Yeah, they all come with NFTs though, by the way. And uh, bro, that's <laughs> just crazy. Hey, but speaking of like secret parties though, I've be, I've been to like like a few years ago. No, actually, more than a few years ago, like a little before me and Ali started dating, I went to like this one crazy ass party. I had a homie. He's in jail though right now. He used to like have all these like different connections to all these like Hollywood rich ass like billionaire niggas, mm -hmm. right? So I went to this one crazy party where it was just like in this hole in the wall spot, right? You walk in, it's just like this like neon light or whatever. You can't really see, and then you just go behind this like bookshelf or some shit. You go and it's this crazy party. All these celebrities. And I'm talking about it's just mounds of coke everywhere, no, bro. For real? Yeah, bro. It I'm was out. Crazy. I feel like it's signing in I that. Was like, some coke in the... that air, you finna get like, bro. But I'm talking about overdose. you got you got like you know your main A-list celebrities in there, bro. Actors and all type of shit. Just like instead of bottle service, I mean they have you know alcohol. They got well. coke service. They got coke service. Like, I'm talking about mounds of coke, fucking everywhere. It was crazy. That's disgusting. Honestly, I was like, bro, this is wild. That's bro. I'm like, damn, this is really Hollywood. This is wild, bro. I don't know. Let you tell it, card. What celebrity? What fucking? Oh movie? yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, you see it. Yes. I said my jacket price. You gotta say you got one celebrity. celebrity. One celebrity. Biggest yeah. one. Most popular one. Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. Man, Allegedly. Damn. In your eyes, who Bro, are you Adam to see? Sandler. Whoa, do it. Oh, he caught oh, Adam yes. Sandler doing coke is crazy. Okay, the fact that you said that, I feel more free to say this story. <laughs> There's no way anyone can get in trouble for this, right? I don't know. It's no, like, this is a, this is a fake podcast. We just say it's like a rap song. We're just freestyling bars. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For, but it's like, is it snitching if you're snitching on like the mayor? What did you see uh, Eric Garcetti do? It wasn't Eric Garcetti. I don't know who it was, but when I was like 16, 17, I was going to all these different house parties, right? And I was invited. Viragosa. I, dude, I don't know who it was, man. But I, I basically, I, I was invited to this one house party. I, uh, I, I joined my friend's car or whatever it is. We started driving to Hollywood Hills. I'm like, where the fuck are we going? Like, this is, this is my first time actually going inside an actual house that is in Hollywood Hills. So I'm like, 
amazed. You know I mean? like, I've only been in apartments my whole life. I'm like, what the fuck is this? We show up to this house that's like three stories tall. Each floor is like, it's like a glass house, but three stories tall. I'm like, bro, this is amazing. We go in there, walk around. There's all these people my age and we're all partying, drinking. And same thing. I see Coke all over the house. And I'm just yeah. like tripping out i've never seen, it was like a movie bro i was like i've never seen were you tripping like out because you were doing it or you just no no out? i i was not i did not actually do coke that night but i was Coke-head. tripping out because i was like i was like literally i was like i've only seen situations like this and like in movies i've never actually stood in person and been like wow there's 40 people in this million dollar mansion all doing coke because like, i'm not gonna lie i was on? doing a coke with them niggas oh, oh no, 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 no i wasn't no, no, no. Coke, but wait, yeah i was doing get coke your with ass out of here wait hold on to, to get to the main part of my story He's dog fucking cokehead oh my god to get to get <laughs> it like six to, years ago five years ago oh. same more than yeah. probably 10 years ago but anyways yeah, to, to right, the main part of the story month. i was at the balcony smoking a blunt with uh, you know one of the people i met there one of these dudes i was just like yo dude like whose house is this this place is crazy right i'm like how the fuck are we partying in here and he's like actually this is the mayor's daughter like she's throwing this party this is the mayor's house i was wow. like i was like so Bro. so the mayor of los angeles between the years of 2011 to 2015 no no no, no. Don't, somewhere don't, around don't, there don't, everybody don't. Hey, let's keep it a stack everybody in la had their coke days no bro. never you're a liar you're a fucking you're, liar. Why are you ain't you're a liar, right bro. Bro. You're a liar. I'm sorry. I cannot get high I don't coke. do coke anymore, but literally you're a liar. Nah. Literally. I've done it at, least, you tell at least 10 times, but it was all trying. I've done it in high school. I tried that shit in high school. Like That's it, your coke? I, mean, in like, I didn't do it in high school. 10th, 11th crazy. grade. Paramount different. Paramount, Paramount different. <laughs> everyone be selling that shit out there. That's why. What is it do to you? Thank like, what you, is bro. it different than like? You know what? I tried it recently, like a year or two ago. Oh my god, Mister! I never done it before. I just <laughs> see did... you recent with it, bro. <laughs> that's a year or two that's ago. That shit in his recent calls. It's coke. <laughs> like, Fuck it that. Does, it does nothing. It does. It does. It gets me anxious. I don't yeah, know. It does get you anxious. It it I don't nothing. like it. And it keeps yeah, you it up all night. You know what I noticed? Okay, I've honest, honest, fucking swear to God, I've only done it like you're rigging less, defensive. Less no. than ten, no, because people like to over exaggerate everything I say. You know, oranges, you fuck all fruit, all this shit. Anyways, <laughs> fucking, I've only tried like ten times in my life. Every time was just like experimental. Like last time didn't work. Let me see if it works. I've this only time. tried but, it. But, tried. Wait, but, but, but let me say this: every time, every single time. The dude who's providing providing it always says, all the rest of the coke in Los Angeles is super cut up. This is super uncut, fresh, straight from Columbia or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, and you're like, says that. okay. And then every time you do it and you're like, I don't feel anything. Why did I just spend $50 When you it? say work, what do you mean? Like if it'll work? I'm- it's supposed to give you energy. So you've never done like any like uh, uppers probably, right? Like ecstasy, no. molly or anything like nah, that. It's nah. supposed to give you energy from what I've heard. I've Bro, never- you know what's funny? It's just speaking of this, like one time, because uh, you just uh, brought up Columbia. One time, some nigga oh, was shit. like, somebody, one time it was like, somebody was like, oh, this is straight from uh, Columbia, no cut, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, and somebody, not me, it was just, I was just in this like random like conversation. We were like getting some shit at a party or whatever. And one of somebody I was with was like, where, what, what, what state is Columbia next to? That nigga was like, Hawaii. I was like, nigga, what? Hell <laughs> no. Get his ass out of here. <laughs> hey, nigga, what are you talking you about? You can't expect For, the cokehead to know geography. But like, even... Yeah, come on, bro. If it's from there, how you don't know where it's at on the map? Yeah, if you popping it like, yo, this is from like straight from my fucking cuñado in Colombia, like you got to know exactly where it bro, is geographically. Okay. Did you guys see Vel and uh, his girl get caught on that one YouTube channel where they Excuse basically try to make people like look dumb? They, were, they would ask simple questions. We would all look like idiots. He's on uh, uh, he's on Jolli- uh, Jollibee or like one of these YouTube yeah. channels. It was it was a, it was like it was like eight. Uh, they had like I'm eight million sure. subscribers or something yeah. like that. But they asked him like, how do you spell environment and like stuff like that? It's like, bro, yeah. we would fail those questions Can you give me too, a bro. Excuse the average person, the average person, is a damn idiot. E m v i r o m e n t. Do You're not wrong. play me. You're wrong. Environment. Do it again. E n v i r o m e n t. You're wrong. You got me fucked up. You're wrong. Can we do a spell check? You're wrong. E N V. You say it as many times as you want. You're wrong. I R O M E N T. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's for sure. My that's the only answer there is. You said five shout out DJ Birdwater in the building. Yeah, shout out DJ Birdwater. And spell it with me. V I R O. Am I tripping out here? Yes, you are actually. You should actually go back to smoking. Hey, remember that one shit where nigga was like. What is Y E S spelled? And like, yes. He's like, what is E Y E S? But they're like, E S. I got, I, I got, I was idiot. gone like that. Oh, I was gone like that. really Hollywood. Wow. You were wrong. You were wrong. The pettiest little N. In it's the not middle. petty. It's thing. stupidity. What high school did you go to? Okay. Paramount. Oh my god. Okay. Paramount. It's so bad. Spell pterodactyl. I'm not a fucking uh, archaeologist, homie. It's like, Start what, to the P. What right? do you want from me? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Yeah. bro. 
I, I, I would never so forget it. this. I was in a spelling bee when I was in second grade, right? I lost Stole Corona. I, I lost because I couldn't spell fucking chocolate. I was like, fuck. Excuse me? Yes, bro. That I is spell, not like an I environment great every, word, bro. Name a country next to France. Italy? Uh, Bono. That's where I live. Oh, a country. You said a country. Italy? Yeah, Italy. What are you talking about? Switzerland. No, that's name, more name on three, the Scandinavian. Name three, three cities in France. Three cities. Bono, Hasgor, Biedits. All right, this is not fair because he lived in France. Name three cities in Australia. <laughs> Uh, Sydney, wait, 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 Melbourne. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Uh, on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Sydney, Victoria, and uh, Brisbane. Listen, but token. I have to have an IQ Brisbane. off, bro. This is not fair, and, bro. And you, you can't, you can't. A person it. who drinks Corona, at I four traveled five the, in the world, bro. Is not like I traveled the world though. Listen, you can't be intelligent and also drink Corona. For the record, the what are you talking? For about? the record, <laughs> y'all are some dumbass idiots. <laughs> And I feel like I have the highest IQ in the No Jumper uh, universe. No, I we feel like you. That video. I feel like you got the most expensive store uh, skin in the store, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? You have the War most zone pants. No, you for Hell sure. No, no. <laughs> you, you set the you set the No Jumper Guinness Book of World Records for most overpaid for random normal clothing. What the fuck? You know, like not. ever. Well, you're you get the award for most uh, fucking spliffs. <laughs> so low. I'll take it. You hey, we fucking... we do need to have an IQ up because like I'm like, no, yeah. I'm I'm cold, bro. I'm, I'm cold. I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably ten times smarter hey, than you. No, wait, actually, no. let's make let's make a poll. Who has the highest IQ and disconnected? Let's make a poll, guys. Let's. I'm well, a win. It, bro. Gotcha. What you, yeah, bro. Literally. No, I'm a win. You you guys don't even know shit about the ocean. I know yo. everything about the ocean. Name so all seven li- oceans. You live there. Name all seven oceans. First of all, it's six. Whoa. Seven. If you're a real scientist. <laughs> Wait, name the, the the eight wonders of the world. That's not oranges, <laughs> dogs, donkeys. <laughs> oh my, Chiba farts or Chibu farts? Sorry, uh, I keep saying Chiba because I think seven, Chiba, I think seven Chiba continents, Chiba. right? Seven continents. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I okay. stopped. Come on, I'll, I'll see if y'all are picking up what I'm putting I'll, down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, in. you know, I had to throw one in there, but no, I bro. Uh, they were saying me to universities by sixth grade. I was just bullshit. Oh, I don't kid. know if it's six oceans. I was just fucking bullshit. That was fine. <laughs> I know they probably grilling me. In All right, right look, it's Pacific. It's Atlantic. It's Indian. It's uh um yeah. Mediterranean. It's only, it, really? That's a sea. That's sea. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, uh, the Dead Sea. No, bro. Oh, that's Oman. Sea. Fuck. Fuck. Um, uh, the Russian Ocean. Nigga, what? They have their own ocean. There's three seas, guys. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and you Indian know the Ocean. Ru- Atlantic Ocean. That nigga said the Russian... Oh, you was dead ass, huh? Russian Ocean. They have their own ocean. Every country has their Hell own Hell nah. Ocean. So the United States Ocean... Where do you swim every day? What? Where do you swim every day? In the Pacific, the Pacific. Ocean. What's and black and white and red all over? Newspaper. Oh wow! What? The, what, you, what? Oh uh, my god! Can you do another? I, I, I didn't mean to be that guy. Oh <laughs> no! This is not I, I fair. That guy. Hey, you that guy. Have, Could you do it again? Don't Sorry, put dude. him in the poll. Keep it coming. Look, 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 look at this. He's like, how's yeah, we have a video? scholar here and shit. For real. Yeah. Wait, actually, yeah, you he, just got out of school like two weeks ago. <laughs> no, he went to school and dropped out apparently. But yeah. he just graduated from high school like two weeks ago. He oh my god! No, that's his homie Chibu over there. Yeah, that's that nigga. Well, how old are you? Eighteen. And you got your? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's legal. Number one, that should be number five. That's crazy. Number, number one, my ass, my my face was the next. Y'all year. all live in Indiana. All right, all right whatever. I uh, just met him. You live in New Jersey. Damn, bro. Do you know Yassi? Yo, you're out of pocket. <laughs> you're. Out he of said po- he saw a uh, skinny from the nine at a at a fair. So you, would, I would expect them to see the skin. same one where like he socked the kid out. Probably. Damn. You just be at the fair like that? Skinny? That's just taking people's tickets and shit like that? Okay. <laughs> and honestly, that, next, that, next. Does that prove <laughs> that Skinny's in these streets? You know? In well, the- he's in these fairs. <laughs> That's funny. That was actually funny. He's All in right. these lines. Uh, you want to get through? Let's get through. The, the uh, Riley made a poll earlier and like damn near 70% of the chat said they would not cop the, this uh, release of shoes from... That co- Nike collab. I'm very curious. Did, did we ended up really making that poll on like who's smarter, who won? Well, we might only be a I minute. Know, or two I already know this. I lost. I don't even care. We're two minutes Hell into this. Nah, yeah. Oh, let's go! Shout out to everyone <laughs> thinking I'm smart. Let's thank you guys. Fuck yeah, yeah, y'all got something coming for y'all. Y'all do not know the reality of it, man. Success. I already knew. Guys. I already knew it wasn't gonna be me. Seven hundred dollar jacket does not mean intelligence. They put me at a university by sixth grade, man. Uh, keep it a hundred with you because, UC Irvine. because they're the only one that could provide a special ed class in your area probably, or <laughs> nah like hell <laughs> nah I had to take a bus at 6am to get there at 9am like, 
They was fucking That's me heavy. Crazy. The, it was a small bus or a short, uh, big bus? That bitch was long. <laughs> that shit was a uh, pause, pause. Oh. Yo. Um, but back to these uh, these exclusive shoes, man. I'm going to keep it real. Marikami, generational artist, something I'll never be. Amazing. But these shoes are fucking ass, man. Like, yeah. I don't, think, I, I don't that, think they're bad, but they're bad for 600 I just think that, you know, when it comes to shoes, I just want to see one or two colors. I don't think that needs to be the uh, the, the the subject of attention. I'm not spending times. $600. This, this is like a, a drop for NFT holders. Yeah. Uh, honestly, this honestly is catering to the right audience. This is for mm-hmm. NFT motherfuckers who just want to be wacky. Yeah. yeah. Anything? No. Well, like, I mean, like, <laughs> like clothing wise, if, if it's like $600 for a single piece of, of clothing, unless it's like a Gucci backpack Pete? or something. Peace, I'm at peace. <laughs> Unless it's like a Gucci backpack or something, but like, yeah, other than that, nah. Bro. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it, bro. Man. I'd be like, Hell I feel like a nah, backpack bro. is like way more. Bro, worth just because I used to be so broke, bro, there's no way. I'd be like, bro, what? Hell That's what I'm nah, saying. Bro, bro, so many times in my life, Hell well, especially, nah. especially after having like, a job like a like a normal you know like nine to five for like an extended period of time you really realize like damn me spending a hundred dollars right now is me spending a day at the office you know what bro. i mean because it's like 80 to 100 dollars like i'd rather go wage. on a trip bro and you're like bro that. like me spending this hundred dollars is me spending a day at the office is this worth a day at the office no no or yes not at least not like for are those me, are those shoes worth a week at the office? Yeah, for me, yeah, exactly. For me, clothing is definitely not worth it because I rather like nigga. I'm like nigga. All right, I'll see you guys. You know, I'm gonna go on vacation for a little bit. You know, nigga, yeah. have a great time. And I think the memories are more worth than the clothes. Hell yeah, thing. for 100%. sure. What do you mean the memories? Like just the memories you being on vacation, you traveling somewhere oh, else to do something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J- j- just based on substance, that's some shit that like really inspires you too. You feel me, like. It'll put an extra pep in your step by the time you're back home. Like, you know what? Damn, yeah. bro, this was amazing. You see new things, you get new ideas. No fact. Yeah. I agree with that shit, man. Bro, and like that ass, because I never like, bro, I got a homie, bro. Literally, like, this dude wears nothing but like, he, you, you know, he wears like r- the most random regular shit you can ever just, you know, the dirtiest bands, you know, regular shirts, pants, whatever. It doesn't matter. He don't he doesn't care. But this fool travels the world and goes everywhere and just That's has a hard. great time. No, I he wouldn't even. He doesn't. You know, you won't. He don't. I didn't. You know, that inspires me. He, you know, that inspires. Yeah, me. bro. I just came across this. Uh, I forgot his name. I wish I could remember. But I'm sure you guys have probably seen his uh, videos on like Instagram and TikTok because his shit like has been going viral recently. Yeah. But it's this like skateboarder guy from Los Angeles, and he like lives in his van. And for a long time, he was just living in his van, filming content out here. But he chose to like just leave his van and just spend whatever money he was choosing to survive to just travel. And now he's doing videos in like Colombia, uh, uh, Mexico, like all these different places. And his videos are so fire, but you can tell he's like balling on a budget, but it's just like, I could, wait, what's his name? Is his name Justin? I don't remember. I can't, even if you told me, I couldn't remember exactly right now, but, uh, um, you could tell the experiences are like way more worth it. You're like, bro, like, you could either work all day just to have your apartment to sleep in, or you could work all day to like be like, oh, let me go uh, yeah. do whatever. But also, I don't know about living in a van, but like, yeah, but you can you, you get tied down as a person. He's probably yeah. a single guy doing everything. You know, it's like it's like it's harder to do when you have like you know pets and all, all these other. I things, have too know? many trust issues to live in a van. With what people stealing your uh, just like I would be leather. paranoid just like sleeping on on like a road. Yeah, you'd park and just in your thinking crib that someone's somewhere. gonna like start like picking at my window and start to see if they could go in or. You know, especially when you're away from your van, that's probably the only thing in your head. Like, fuck, my all sh- my shits in there. Yeah, yeah. this should get ramshacked anytime. No, that's you know? the main thing. Is like, you're, like, where are you gonna keep your passport and fucking all this random yeah. shit? But you know in, I mean? in like a perfect world, like it would be hella cool to have like an RV for like a month or two. You know what I mean? Just yeah. fucking travel the country and just just be chill and make your yeah. internet money as you're doing yeah, it. You me, know, me and uh, me and Ali when we first started dating, like we we bought a van and shit. But we were we were that's living- hella cute, by yeah. the way. Yeah, we we were. I'm trying to do some like cute ass activity. We were like living. That, in, like. We were living in Venice, but we like so we like to go camping and shit a lot. And now me, obviously, I love surfing and you know being by the beach. So camping and and being by the ocean go hand in hand, especially if you drive. No, up it doesn't. What no, are I we talking like, about? I if you like drive up does. north, yes, it does. You sleep like on does. the sand. Yeah, yeah. Huh, I fuck? mean, I mean, like there, if you drive up north, Bro. if you drive up north, there is like no. When you go to the beach, there is no city behind it. It's Bro. just like all forest. I've and seen shit, so hills. many surfer no. vlogs where they're like, "Oh, I love waking up by the beach." Bro, that's Malibu, like what it is. The, the closest camping spot from here, I believe, is Malibu National Park. That's all just wet woods. They don't know it's not. Bro, the closest camping spot is Leo Korea. What are you talking about? Little Korea. Leo Korea. This fool's making. Of cities now. It's Leo Carrillo. He said it's Little a, Korea. That's no, not no rapper. Leo Carrillo. 
there's it's a state beach, bro, at right at the end of Malibu. That's the closest camping spot. Bro just told me it's moon rising. But That's also crazy. people aren't camping this legally. Crazy. People are finding a spot bro, talking about being going Leo. to sleep and crossing their fingers that they're gonna wake up without a ticket. Yeah. That's what's happening. Let you tell it ten talks. You don't even know shit about camping. Oh wow! <laughs> Let you tell him, Mr. Leather, air, air conditioned, twenty four seven, never bro, fucking it, it, drop the sweat in my life. I'd be camping outside. Is, camping no, is you, fun, bro. There's no way you're outside right now with that fit on. It's a hundred degrees outside. In the crib, you I'd cannot. Be outside. Sur- you could not survive ah, a camping ah, trip. Ah. I could not see you on a camping. I'm dropping it. a sleeping bag like in about a month from now, and I will be using that bitch. Let's on the it. side of the street. <laughs> I know. Oh, wait, I, I saw some. <laughs> no, let's go camping. <laughs> you want to go camping? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, I got a fire spot. Wait, wait, wait. No, no glamping. Yeah, camping. no glamping. We're camping. Why is that? We're on the so beach with because tents you're, and you're shit. a millionaire. You're gonna be I'm like, not a fucking hours, millionaire. You're gonna be 24 like, hours in the woods by yourself. Oh, why? nah, why we're not doing it? naked and afraid. Bl- Hell naked nah. And afraid. nah, we're gonna with be on the, the beach. Yeah, we're Live gonna be in a beach rushing. chilling, but we're gonna. It's not gonna be glamping where you got a TV and shit. Dude, we're going to a place why? with no service. Are y'all pointing at me? Ble- because I know Blaz is gonna hit us. No with way. Like, I know you, Mister no, Complainer. Me? I don't have to shower, Mister. I need to shower and brush my teeth eighty times a day. Blaz is gonna hit us with. I do not Bro, do that. Bro, there's no, there's no diamond chain rack in this tent. Where do Shut I keep my diamond chain? Uh, like, <laughs> I'm pulling yeah. up in short shorts and a fucking good attitude. <laughs> okay. All right. I believe the good attitude. Bro, I've never and seen some you. acid. I've never seen you in shorts. Some you acid? Never seen? Yeah. This you nigga, ain't thinking This nigga ain't gonna never set up the tent, bro. That nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga just, that nigga, he gonna try to start walking back home. He's like, gonna be like, bro, you could design on plants, bro. Do you bro. Know I, yeah, you can't bring your laptop. Nobody wanna see that shit. <laughs> like, dead ass, bro. Like, you see Blazzy typing camping. on a fucking tree. We're He's camping. <laughs> Fuck you. The only <laughs> thing we gonna have is like the fucking Wi Fi extender for the stream, and that's it. Hey, or oh, so we're, we should do disconnected like that. See how Adam feels about it. Wait, in the woods? Yeah. Wait, actually. The sound. Off my hotspot? Bro, someone beat me to it. I said, uh, Riley and I have done like mobile because we do 10 talks sometimes like in the Bay Area and shit like that. And we've brought our podcast equipment with us and I will use my laptop. As long as I have a stable Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection, I can do a podcast damn near everywhere, right? And I've brought up to Riley before like, what if we did it in like the woods where we had Wi-Fi? I th- some dude already did it, bro. Some dude found a, like a, a spot next to a river where they had Wi-Fi and did a whole podcast next to it. And I was like, motherfucker. Wow. God damn it. He, I keep telling, he can still do it, though. True. I keep telling Yuri to do a camping IRL stream. I yeah, mean, but you are 10 talks. How yeah, many, like how 10 many, talks, really 10 talks. How many oh, campsites bro, have actually, Wi-Fi, though? Actually, though, like, I mean, it, you know, all right. So, you know, like. I got a neighbor that you could probably do it in his backyard. He his backyard goes like to the woods. He has a you river know? in his backyard. No, no, but okay. he all right. So like his backyard goes like out to like the open view of like to you know. Fuck all that. That's too shit. rich, bro. You but, finna die. This is a trap. Oh, go to my but neighbor's I'm saying, backyard. I'm just saying though, like that. If you wanted to film with like the open background and shit and like a you know like a environment oh. like that. With Wi-Fi, you can you can use heat. Oh, no. like, that would be scamming. People are gonna be like, "Oh, it looks so nature. Uh, you know, it looks like you're in the middle of the woods." I'm uh, like, yeah, "I'm actually yeah, yeah, in Hollywood yeah. Hills right now." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, oh, thanks for the dogs. With like, beautiful Wi-Fi, you know, crystal grass clear grass water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh God, you're gonna have fucking Tokes homie in the house just jerking off watching you stream from a distance. Yo, bro. what is your like? We see people. Process. Th- we see people throwing I'm, sand on the floor. You at the homie's backyard is sus, bro. Like. I, that's to, what I'm saying. To film a podcast because he has an open no, backyard to like nature. Sucks. Hey, I've, come, come to my friend's backyard. Bro, if I call any homie like, hey, uh, come over my backyard tonight, they'd be like, bro, like, what's up with you? Unless you said barbecue right, well, afterwards, you. I'd be sussed out. But if, if if I invited you like, hey, Yuri, hey, what's up, bro? Like, you want to come to my backyard? You'd be like, huh? All right, my bad. I won't ever give you a suggestion anymore that you were trying to do something. I would, oh. I, I would, fuck you, Yuri. I would probably, fuck you too, but I'd I would be, probably immediately bro, ask. Bro, I'm trying <laughs> to save him from like some kind of weird like, no, wait, no, I, ritual you got I immediately on. got so sad because like if you're not saying like come to my backyard for a barbecue, we got a pool party. Those are the only two reasons. Why else would you go to a backyard? Yeah. We can't smoke in your house? I'm not going there. You just yeah. said you want to do a podcast in the woods. That's all I said, bro. You, you, finna do <laughs> me like, said. you finna do me like that Crucible book. This nigga's crazy, bro. Where, well, they, where they shoot the uh, the Lenny guy? Old Yeller? I don't know. Old they, Yeller's a dog. Like, this nigga has a $3 million crib sitting on a ridge, bro. He's not trying to bang you. He was gonna. Mm, those are those the types of guys yeah. trying to bang you. A whole they got nothing better to do. He's a whole fucking family, bro. You gotta have to go Why are you that. defending him so My overtly. fucking neighbor, fuck you guys. How much time do you spend with this guy? In his backyard. Yeah, because we're right. trying to get away, get in the way of your plans of fucking <laughs> ruining Yuri's uh, mental. 
Just because you guys don't know your neighbors, because you got what, what, three hundred of them, motherfuckers. Okay. They're oh, really yeah. actually wait, nice. On, wait, you actually talk to your neighbors and you're cool with your neighbors? Fuck, they, all my neighbors kind of like they don't talk to me. They, they all, <laughs> dude. I used to live in Long Beach, man. Like by, uh, I don't, go, I don't live there anymore. By literally across the street from El Dorado Park. Literally just a whole white neighborhood. No one would talk to me. I would say hi. Really? Really? Not talking to me. Now I stay in, uh, you know, redacted town, and uh, motherfuckers still just don't even like. I say hey, and motherfuckers I don't talk. Bro, I went to Toke's house finally, and I I realized I was like, he's like damn near best friends with all his neighbors. I was like, I don't even know a single I, neighbor's name. I'm bro, not trying to be, meet my neighbors, bro. We be bro. chilling, bro. We be chilling, and we get like in the hey, backyard. We be from the barbecue. Boom, let's drink some beers. What up, nigga? That's crazy. Nah. Your your neighbors are chilling. None dude. of them niggas nah, work. You, I'm saying he <laughs> knows my neighbors better than I do because we were walking <laughs> past my neighbors, and I would usually just ignore them. He was like, hey, what's your dog's name? What's up? Blah blah. And I was just like. <laughs> I would have never. I would have been You're like a uh, rude dude, piece of shit. He's a bad neighbor. You're a rude <laughs> piece of shit. Bro. He tortures his neighbors by having these long ass yeah. streams of like fucking pots and pans going off at four a.m. <laughs> just to like not even speak to them. Be like, fuck off. I'm yeah, not talking like, to you. They like, yeah, the puto over there is weird. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, that's racist. Why, that's why I'm throwing eggs. That's why they're throwing eggs yeah, at you. That house. was kind of racist. I'm sorry. I did have two <laughs> eggs thrown at my house, but. Not nonsense. But actually, recently, ask how many of your other neighbors got eggs thrown at their house. They're like, "What?" There's zero eggs being thrown in that. They're gonna be like, bro. "What?" <laughs> actually, recently, I, since I gone to like the video game streams, like I've been kind of like at certain moments, just fucking moments, like just getting freaked out, getting pissed off, and I'll scream. And, I, and the neighbors have been screaming back at me, like, "Shut up, idiot!" Like, "Shut up, <laughs> dumbass!" Like all this stuff. Oh and I'm like, "Oh God. crap, I gotta close my window." Now. On the other hand, I think you will be an entertaining neighbor, at least in the Wait. daytime. Like, I can make fun of you from across, like the. Uh, the fucking building and shit. That's dope. Wait, rage. I mean, rage. Uh, Russ got you raging like that. Uh, fall guys. Fall guys. Yeah, that's that a rage. Shit, that's a rage. Fucked up, bro. I almost broke my controller to fall guys. Fall crazy. guys be literally having me like screech out. That's out. what I'm saying, bro. It's the most <laughs> annoying fucking game. So What's annoying. fall? I keep, I keep hearing about fall guys like memes and shit. What is that? It's like a new game. It's it's, it's semi. No, it's like it's like two years couple, old. Uh, but it's basically, game. like you can uh you can like start like a you know you can play like just randomly with whoever or whatever. But you can make your own party. And like you can have up to sixty people join your game, and it's super simple. It's kind of like you're just like this little character trying to finish this race, yeah. but it's annoying when uh, there's so many people and everyone's pushing each other, grabbing onto yeah. each other, and it's especially annoying when people know who you are and mm -hmm. everyone's trying to grab you and push you. It's like make, it makes it unplayable to be honest. <laughs> it's it's like a hard. race. It, yeah, it's yeah. Kind of basically a bro, race. I almost time. finished it's it. It's like a kids game. I almost kinda. finished it one time, bro, and it's one nigga in my chat. I forgot who it was. One nigga in my chat, bro, like held me at the end. Dude, I hate that That's shit. That's so bro, annoying. Bro, I literally almost broke the controller, bro. I'm like, bro, this I'm is like, the... I'm about to, bro, I was so mad. You know I've what's... never finished a game yet. The weakest I've Fall never Guys finish line ever uh, once. I suck. A fucking level is like when you got to like pace yourself and see which block is like going to fucking fall through. Oh, it's because you, you have got... bad memory. <sighs> Come on, Yuri. They show you. Memory shaming. Are you, are you kidding I... me? No, I am because it's, I've passed that level every single time. They show you watermelon cherries. And then, no. and then 30 seconds later, they show you, choose the watermelon. And you have to remember, you could, that which, one is which hard. tiles you the could watermelon? You easily cheat on that one because you could just get consensus of all people going to their station. No, no, no. no. I've, I've, doing that? I've seen a, a, a bunch of people get confused, all go to one block, and then they all fall because they yeah. all chose the wrong one. I'd be cheating like a bitch right there. You that one is hard, bro. No, but the one where you had to like, it's like a whole like 20 uh, cubes in front of you. You have to decide which one's gonna be it. That's where I be throwing motherfuckers. Like, all right, you test. You it. actually be grabbing people? Yeah, I'm, I'm petty. This is the You're only. An okay, that might sound weird, but uh, Fall Guys needs needs to initiate. Like, don't touch me without consent, because I'm tired of the grabbing shit. It is a little weird, yeah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> this nigga really be raging now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes it unplayable, bro. But I stopped playing it, bro, because I got just so mad one time. I was like, screeching bro. in his boxers and shit. Like I'm not that. playing my boxers. I only let my I let my daughter play like when she wants to, but. Uh, she loves that game, but other than that, I don't play that shit. She's no like, more. I'm, she's I'm won like five times already. You, you be on stray? No, I haven't got into it. Allie wants to play that game because she loves cats. So. It's fun. It's uh, pretty fun. It's actually like I bought that bitch. Realistically, it's really? like an easy game, but you're into it because of the story. You know what I mean? Like they have a, it's a kind of like watching a movie. There's literally a button for you to meow. Oh yes, and it doesn't do anything but that. Yeah, you, you, you just you don't get, even work like that. You do that all day, huh? <laughs> yeah, I fucking stick it up my ear. You could like scratch <laughs> walls and just like cuddle next to some random person. But yo, random topic. Who here watched uh, Game of Thrones? Not me. Not me. No? I don't get the hype. 
I don't watch TV or movies. I don't get it. Hype, I don't understand. If you're, I, no, I've I'm never sure. felt hype more if you're white, white in my <laughs> life, bro. White hype. Is it white to like watch? Yeah, Game bro. Of I mean, black people. There's some niggas that watch this shit, but not me. I don't I'm think like, any of like my BIPOC homies. This uh, I can't talk about House shit. of Dragons. I'm not with you friends guys. with people that watch Game of Thrones. House of Dragons. Yeah. Is like, I'm not watching no shit like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a secret homie of mine, like maybe like something like Yuri that like low key <laughs> watching in the closet. In the closet, watch that. Oh, I'm not watching that. I'm watching. What is all right? Room. What is Game of Thrones about? I never thought I would be into like, mm, like Renaissance era type shit. Like very same, his, same. Like early medieval, medieval yeah. times. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. What's but, the main character? But name? when Yuri and I first got together, and it like that was like the start of y'all the, bonded over that. No, y'all was, are nerds. We kind of did low key. We low key did yeah. because y'all are geeks. The, it was the start of COVID, so like yeah, we, we were home together for a lot of like a lot of the time, and everybody yeah. told us like. Game of Thrones is like the best series to watch. So yeah. we started to watch it. And it was and awesome. And it was an am- it's a really good story. Even if you don't like medieval shit, because no. I don't like that. I hate it. What's the, what's the main, main character's name? Ashton. Jon Snow, I would say. Jon Snow. Jon yeah. Snow? There's no one in also, medieval no. time. No, the, I, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Ice, ice King. Wait, also, you know Daenerys what's funny? Daenerys Targaryen. Daener- exactly. That's more appropriate. Yeah. Jon Snow. I, I was like looking for like a Sir Lancelot yeah. or yeah. some shit. Wait, you know, you know, That's a DJ name. Yeah. <laughs> Jon Snow? What the fuck? But you know what speak a lot to, a lot to the series is uh, when I, Riley and I first got into it, I was like talking to Adam and I told Adam, I was like, yo, uh, I just started watching Game of Thrones. And Adam was like, I'm so jealous that you're just experiencing it because it's such a good series that like after you watch it once, you already know everything that happened. But when you go through the ups and downs and see all the drama, it's like it's, Private it's white so combos. interesting. Oh my god, get crazy. Out of the here, drama dude. in what? Like what are they still in? Honestly, Larry, you like, have is, to watch it. We're it's killing like a, people, it, all types of shit. Listen, dude. Toke and uh, his girl found love by like bonding and going into like campings, you know, let's rent an RV, babe. Yuri decide let's watch Game of Thrones, bro. That shit sounds fucking. I brought fucking, it up, man. Trust me, did. I hate Renaissance era. Like I never liked Lord of the Rings. Like I, I hate I, that kind of shit. Bruh. Honestly, what, same. And same. it took me a long. Like I've tried to watch it like twice before I met Yuri, and then when Yuri and Hopefully I hopefully with not other men. No, not with other men. <laughs> Let you tell it, card. Let you- Let you- oh, not, no. with, not with other men. <laughs> by myself. Yeah. But when Yuri and I got together, I was like, okay, this is like probably somebody I could actually like kind of talk to with it, like mm. about it, you know. Bro, Yuri, it's, on it's, the other hand, were you watching Game of Thrones with some girls before Riley? Let no. you no. tell it card. Let you tell no. it. No. Let, you, let, you, let you tell a card. I was not, but I was watching Narcos by myself. And you know what's interesting is Narcos. If you guys <laughs> have watched it, card. it has a lot of crazy crazy scenes bro and when i was watching narcos i still lived with my parents right and there was at least two three times where my mom or my dad walked into my room while there was like some sort of crazy rape scene going on in narcos and i'm just like i just look crazy for a moment there i'm just st- like it, sitting just there watching eating, rape eating videos pop, like eating popcorn all interested in, like watching rape and i'm like my parents walk in like they don't know the context of what i'm watching they're just like what the fuck is this like, <laughs> oh my bro. god so I, I, that's yeah. actually funny but it's a good series too narcos but uh it doesn't that's been some weird situations. I, I was gonna say you gotta have your shit on last but, but. oh god <laughs> yeah, turn that bitch <laughs> yeah, off at that was on netflix though oh, like, yeah, you just gotta cut the tv go on. to veggie tales have you shit on last yeah, oh, see, oh, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, don't, he know. don't even know, bro. What is yeah. that? You guys are some AD shit. Hide nah. and you don't even no, know. I'm kidding, nah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So right. check it out. <laughs> when, 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 back fast, yeah, like fast. When I was oh, a kid, okay. uh, Dish Network for Latinos, <laughs> four ninety seven, four ninety eight were Playboy. After nine p.m., they're showing pussy. Freaky ass Paramount niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen bro. though, I had the yeah. good SpongeBob, you know, like at, you know, channel one seventy three. On on like revert, you know, on, on yeah. the last. So like, if I'm watching like some like crazy lesbian kissing with like no vagina, I'm going extreme. And I was sleeping in the living room at the time. I'm sorry, my mom's watching. I know I better watch this shit. <laughs> Is this a direct TV like, thing? It's it's Dish Network to be specific. And you could press last. Yeah, yeah it says last. So you or go like, to the last channel you was on, or yeah. like retract. They- I was on like cable or bro. I didn't have no last. Wait, no, 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 no. So you was on a lesbian scene. <laughs> And you click last to SpongeBob. Yeah. So you watching SpongeBob a hard right dick. That's you know why what? you got that SpongeBob chain. Not necessarily. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Not necessarily. No, no, nah, nah, I, I, nah, I feel fucked up now because now I'm thinking about it. I used to click last. I used to click last in some sports. So I'm watching like straight dudes. Break <laughs> yeah. up to jellyfish. I'm like, fuck, dude. Yeah, I'm watching, I know. Uh, I'm watching, watching that jellyfish. I'm watching Sandy, Sandy Cheeks from the back, like, <laughs> 
Yo, I thought she squirrels and get oh. hyped to this day still, guys. Breaked up to I don't want to go home. Oh no, my Sandy God. Cheeks in the scene where she's hibernating, she's all buff. She got some cleavage in that. Yeah, Yo, you know what's crazy? Uh, uh, That's I was talk- crazy. I was talking to Chibu yesterday, and he had no idea that if you go to like Pornhub and you search like some sort of show, like you know, Yuri, I did like, not like, know that either. Like, no, shut <laughs> the fuck up, shut the fuck. If you go to Pornhub, watch Spon- uh, search SpongeBob SquarePants, you're gonna find some crazy. How shit, did you bro. discover that, bro? Hey, what's your jack off schedule like? This is I don't have more, no more out of pocket. schedule, actually. I don't have to I'm do a night guy. No I'm going to keep it 100. Oh, you're a nighttime, daytime I'm a freeway. night dweller. Bro, night dweller? Shout out to swamp dweller, actually. Mm. Do you like... No, keep it a stack, Blasi, because I know you're a bath a nigga. I'm a single man, so bachelor. You, do you whack it before the bath or after? Um, you after. Keep it a stack. Do you after? F- because you you're get, already... You get all clean and just like... I'm such a I mean, I'm not boy. fucking jerk- <laughs> I'm not jerking off in mud after, bro. I'm in some, you know, I'm I'm in, I'm on my bed and I'm really tired. I just took an Epsom salt bath. You know, what will really seal the deal on a nap right now? No, I could see Blazy being in a tub, also being bricked up enough to be just be like, fuck it, whatever. Let you're me, imagining let, let me let it rear crazy. And the next thing you know, you're floating, you're sitting in the tub with floating children next to you. Bro. <laughs> Yo, next yo, time. So what's crazy. so this brain dude. dead dickies collab? There's no hey, speaking of child, kids. Do you ever like you ever do the thing where after you finish, you like oh, wipe shit. it on the side of the bed or something? Because oh, you're like no, too no, lazy no, to get up. No, no, no don't cap. Don't no, cap. I don't. I don't. No, because please, like no. I have black sheets okay. and that, that fit that bitch is finna like glow in the dark down here. <laughs> you you gotta sock method it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like w- w- when you leave when, when, after a long ass day after a long ass day of fucking working, hanging out. You take one sock with you to the bed. Uh-huh. You have that shit crumbled around you, and you clean yourself up. You throw that That's bitch. That's Kobe. Crazy. <laughs> you Kobe that bitch I, in the laundry basket at night. I thought I was. You crazy. wash it. You don't throw it away. No. Why am I throw away socks, bro? I ain't rich. The fuck. So those could have been a victim <laughs> of a crime. <laughs> These for show sure have yeah. found their. <laughs> no. These socks have spent some late nights with me for sure. Hell no, bro. Hell we, Bro. We need to Hell we need to email no. we need to email Josh right now and, and beg him to sterilize this table afterwards. <laughs> what the Bruh. fuck? Adam nah. literally we roll up got, on that stage. My you, cup my cup is right next Adam, to your you. You gotta make you gotta make like like socks for like jack off socks and come with me blazzy or some shit. Fuck no. <laughs> Let you tell you fucking Adam literally got a blumpkin on that fucking couch you're sitting on so i do not want to hear about like being wait, sterile. wait 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 he got a what here? no he films, in here? he films all his section on they that promised one. me on that, that couch they, pro- uh, they promised me it was like a white couch thing dude what is this no <laughs> i i walked into fucking adam just jizzing on the fucking couch the other day well but T-Rail honestly too. look all, all I- <laughs> with the champagne bottle <laughs> yeah he deep throated that Bro, I've, I've shared enough blunts with s- enough suspect people to feel like i'm safe mm, sitting good on this punch. couch Whoa, even deeper pun. <laughs> nah, all right. I brain was not taking it like collab. that, bro. Brain what dead diggies collab. Okay, who's yeah. brain dead, dude? I have no idea. Wait, brain dead's a cool little clothing yeah, brand. You know what I'm crazy. saying? We, Outside we, the LA area. We reviewed them plenty of times on this show. Shout out Brain Dead. This okay. is a uh, uh, this is one of the shirts right here. I recognize it. Uh, I kind of like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I think this is like one of those. It looks like the back of a trailer on a truck on a, on a 16 wheeler truck. And y'all already know how I feel about 16 wheel trucks. I know you. How got, do you, feel? you got exposed? That's what happened. I got exposed. Because I came on here and said, guys, I think I made a a, a, a big rig shirt. And no, like, no, no, you, you no, you said, it, no, you said, I'm the first guy to make a big rig shirt. Well, guess what? I'm the first guy to wear FTP on the chat. <laughs> Give y'all something to talk about. Y'all happy about that? This, oh, I'm so, who made this? I'm getting, brain dead. I don't, I don't want to sheep a, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, I don't know. my little lamb on my fucking no, I, I actually, on my dick. I feel like it's kind of cool, but I feel like this would have been cooler if it was like a Silence of the Lambs collab. No, this would be, it would be even more of a missed opportunity. The end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. I could have told you that. This is what something you would say, like high off three points. Yeah. I'm glad you're actually taking the sober break because we're gonna get way less shitty puns from you or like metaphors. Or Quotes. what if what if we expose that like me being sober is actually worse? And like you know what, Blas, you might need to hit the joint before you start. All your clients are disappointed for all of the rest of the month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Hey, this shirt cold though. I fuck with it. No, this I like this cool, one. Yeah. Thanks. I'm definitely stepping out in that one, man, for sure. These pants, man. man back to these pants. pants Why like would anyone them. buy these? You count your sheep before you go to sleep. I don't you know, know about these pants, bro. Damn, bro. I thought this was going to be good. I don't know about these pants. No. 
I, I, I ain't fucking with those, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, next. Let's keep what the you got sheep? against lambs? I got a lot against animals after this podcast. I'm not fucking wait, with Wait, wait. Go to the one with the flowers on it. Silk wants there to be dogs on those pants, yeah. not, not lambs. That's the issue. You want to be donkeys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, th- those are cool. I like that. Bzzz, look at the little That bee. seems a little... Le- <laughs> that <was> a- <laughs> that seems like an H3. Nah, song. that's like straight... Like, that's literally like some yeah. Tyler shit right no, here. Good pollination. This is... What's it called? This is a Teddy Fresh strip right here. Bro, this is literally... That's not Cap. This is Tyler the Creator. Oh, no. This is Tyler the Creator. Facts. This right, is right, Substitute right, right, Teacher... Right. First grader, this is the guy taking baths with kids. Bro, the, <laughs> those little things are gonna get so dirty and worn out after ten wears of those pants that like you gotta be rich yeah, enough to I wear know, like those man. once. Brain dead, it. come on, y'all could have did. Come on, man. I, I like them. I don't mean to talk shit about brain dead. I'm sorry, but like I'm I'm be like completely. You're brain you dead see yourself promo in back. These? You you wear these? Yes. I mean, no, no, I wouldn't. But I pre you know, if I see someone wear it, it's a conversation star. I'm like, oh, those are cool pants. It definitely what? is a conversation star. Like, how could you leave your house in those pants? I'm definitely gonna wanna <laughs> like may- maybe tap the knee once or something like that. You, you know? wanna wanna tap some random person's knee. Well, hopefully it's the homie, so it's not weird. But if it if it comes across random, then bro, it's what it is. wanna tap never mind. You know what would have been some good so a good promo for this company is like if they got some bees trying to collect nectar from those flowers. I'm trying to collect neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go Good to the next one. Good photosynthesis drip. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. God. I like that one. Yeah, bro, this is crazy. Shout to yeah. save the bees, guys. All right, we the got Yuri. Right, Yuri you want to sound it off? Yeah, Yuri. I feel like this is this is your okay, moment. Okay, so I'm giving my my personal opinion on this. Well, you want to read it off? First? Everyone <clears throat> is collabing with Pokemon. It started off with a couple companies before Levi's, but Levi's, you know, like did a big one. But it's like ever since the Logan Paul Pokemon <sighs> card drip. Everyone's just like, let's get on this Pokemon wave because it has all this nostalgic value to it. But honestly, whenever I see Pokemon on any clothing, you have to be 12 or under to be wearing it. If I see anyone 30 years or older fucking wearing that Pokemon fucking drip right there, I'm, I will be like, dude, that's kind of crazy. You finna get fired by Adam. Adam yeah. is not taking lightly to Adam is never gonna wear a Pokemon ball. Man, I've seen shirt. Adam, I've seen Adam head to toe. Shut the fuck up. Thirty as a man in his thirties, yeah. wear Pokemon. He's still drip. playing Pokemon Go. What do you mean? No, yeah. he's not actually. He quit. Uh, but also, I no, can see Adam. Really I can see Adam being gifted that <laughs> nerd. Over yeah. Oh no, no, no! Come on. No. He, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him online yeah. in years. <laughs> if you look at his vlog from 2019. <laughs> Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> would you, would you, as the as the drip lord over here? I'm not. Listen, y'all. I've never called myself the drip lord. You know, what do you mean you're playing Rick right now? I know. Look at no, but that doesn't mean oh, I got drip. We actually have a logo right here on the pocket. There's a little square. That's what you That's paid seven hundred dollars for. That's literally a portrait of him too. Was that worth seven hundred dollars right there? Bro, I'm gonna find out. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> Rick. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's go into the pictures. Why is it illegal to buy clothes all of a sudden? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel was, like so, either, guys, just for the record, this is the Ball Main Pokemon collection, and it's wait, we go back to the release date. I'm sorry. Wait, actually, dude, those pants are extremely sus. Can you go back to the release? They date? are so weak, bro. Wow, they could not have done uh, a worse. The job. release date is tomorrow. Available. Yeah, tomorrow, September second. No one's going to that website. Would y'all rather have me on disconnected in the Ball Main Pokemon asshole shirt? With his foot, where he's twerking, or just a simple jacket. Wait, Look, is that a sleeveless shirt? It's a wife beater. That shit is, if that's a sleeveless shirt, that shit is ass, boy. That, that's like when you're a millionaire, but you still beat your wife. Let me copy Mas- <laughs> Matthew <laughs> Williams, what the <laughs> fuck you got at Givenchy? <laughs> this is this. Hopefully, this Matthew Williams is already out the picture or something like that. I mean, not hopefully, he's a really talented designer, but like, this is so disappointing. Wait, can we zoom in, in on those this. pants? Because those pants are the most sussest thing I've ever seen in my this life. Is fucking trash. Yo, you guys are making me never. I'm throwing my Game Boy against the wall, bro. I kind of like them. You're not going to do that. You're I'm never going to do that, actually. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're right. Fucking cry. I'm not wearing those pants ever in my life. If I get buried in those pants, I'm coming back as a ghost and haunting every single person that ain't that. That shit is weak, bro. That's crazy. They got po- this shirt. Oh, uh, yeah, this is listen. Weird. They could have brought the ball main design team. They probably have motherfuckers in there who have been studying their life. Wait, wait, hold four on. or five years to design, bro. And this is the best they could fucking muster up, bro. I think better shirts at Walmart, bro. It's Pikachu's yeah. ass. This is it's a thirst trap. It is. Listen, it's a thirst trap. Then you got to have some deviant art level thirst traps and have like Pokemon fucking ash or something. They're like that. sexualizing my crazy. fucking my favorite cartoon characters as a child. That's fucked up. Why are we seeing Pikachu twerk on, on a t-shirt? 
I don't like anything this shirt represents wild, bro. and what it stands for. And also, Pikachu's thicker than that. Come on, let you tell it. All right, next thing. <laughs> yeah, Yuri. What? I, I'm disappointed <laughs> with you on this collab. I said I wouldn't You're get per- it. You perpetuated this shit. I said I wouldn't get it. I said everything's terrible. Is this the only three items? They're not. Hopefully, selling, hope. They're... Let's cross our. Oh my god. Oh my. No, they wait, did wait, it. wait. No, stop, 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 stop. No, these, they... these are fire. No, I saw this shit on my explore page like two years ago. Bro, Fuck this shit. If Riley denies that purse when I purchase it for her, I will be so upset because that's the best purse. Riley, Yuri's a Christmas present. Ooh, uh, I'm, come, dude, Christmas no, is coming. No, 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 dude, Christmas is coming. I'll sleep Bro, in the closet if, if Ali if Ali got me this for Christmas. I beat the shit out of Riley. Gary wants the fanny. Let's be real. I do. I do. Ali, if you watch this, I will fuck you up. You try to get me this shit. Bro, it's over. No, if I get your fanny, he'll like love me forever. I will. Bro, guess what? Portable charger goes in there, connected to my iPhone. And it's a joke. I'm not gonna be my wife, of course. With Pikachu on it. You guys don't take that and run. Unless you cop that last piece of item we saw that that wife. Yuri. Shut you, up, you, <laughs> the Yelly, the Ye, Yuri, the teller. You, you, you're telling me that you would buy this before you buy a fucking jacket for like sustainability and for you to wear it. You're gonna Yuri step show, out. Yuri showed me the first, like when we and Yuri started talking. Oh my god, he showed me why engagement rings are a fraud in the yes. U.S. But this isn't a fraud. But this isn't a fraud. This looks. This is like. Look at the strap. Look at the strap on no, the no, back. No, no, no. Engagement rings. You're a fraud. trying to talk yourself out of an no, engagement. No, 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 no. Look at the strap. It's an electroshock <laughs> like Pikachu. It has. Cool. Value. Granted. You trying <laughs> to talk yourself out of an engagement no, no, ring? No, 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 no. Okay. You want to hear the full explanation? Sure, Let me give you sure. a, a one minute rundown, Blasi. You would be keen to listen to this actually, because you know, look at your neck. But, um, anyways. The diamond company, right? America has been a, a you know country for like three hundred years. The diamond people, the companies that have been the companies that have been opening, you know, owning diamonds. They've been opening, uh, I mean, owning them forever. There's only like like three or four companies that own diamond mines. Sure, sure, or whatever, right? Yeah. Diamonds for the longest time had no value. People only use them for construction purposes, for cutting rock purposes, all these different purposes. The diamond company, t- like two hundred years ago, one hundred fifty years ago, released an ad campaign saying. You really love your girl? Buy her a diamond ring because diamonds last forever. And yes. that ad campaign has bled into our fucking into our existence. Where like now you can't get married to a, a woman does not think you're worthy until you can get her a diamond ring. What's what wrong with that? Up? That's fucked up, bro. So, Pe- people used to get married because they loved each other. Have you researched Damn. how much a diamond is actually costs? Like yeah. you could have like the craziest Donald Trump wedding engagement ring, but diamonds are pretty uh, cheap. Yeah, but Yuri you know did I mean? tell me the value. Taught, he, Yuri taught me the value of gold. Looks like you touched it. Looks like you touched the value of a dollar. No, <laughs> shit, the fuck? It really did. But. Bro, I, I was just telling Riley. I'm just like, I'm at the, like at the end of the conversation, person. Riley's like, I'm not getting married to you unless we get a diamond ring. No, so it's, it's, like, it's a dropped conversation. I have to I get a diamond ring. No, that. no, Riley, we gotta stand ten I'm toes steal down. It from your team. To get a fucking engage. You, you go to Walmart. You go to Ben Baller. Anywhere in between. Look how many diamonds you have on your neck. You could spare one for Bro. a ring for me. Each of these probably Yuri. cost like five dollars. No way, bro. There's like three hundred yeah, diamonds in give here. Me like, bro, if, <laughs> give if, me one, bro. They said if 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 you could if you could make if you give everybody diamonds in the world, apparently like everyone will have a whole handful. Because diamonds are worthless. Bro. That's what I'm saying. So like Yuri. they're not they're not. I'm an, an Gary, You act like I never see your streams, bro. You get like a donation every two minutes, bro. Okay, should I discount this right now because? I've had people I've been talking to recently, like friends of mine, and they'll <clears throat> say things like, all right, rich guy. I'm like, rich guy? You I'm get like, a donation every two minutes, bro. bro Sometimes I got to mute your stream because no. you keep going, bring, hell, bring. Hell no. So bro. you project. Mute this nigga, man. You project no, 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 this shit no, no. onto me. No, okay. Also, I also I want to denounce you. I want to denounce this as well. I'm not projecting onto you, but I want to denounce this as well because people think that I also push this this like image that like I'm super poor and all this stuff or whatever. No, I... Like I know my place in 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 the world or whatever with where how I where how I am financially right yeah and I am a hundred percent not fucking wealthy and by any means at all and it's I, crazy if, when I say I, I could not afford a diamond chain I could not live in a Bro. house I could not buy a car right now if I want it's like I, there's many things that I'm limited by it's like I'm not rich you know what I mean but also I'm not poor either I'm happy where I am this is the best position I've ever been in my life hundred percent you know what I mean but like I'm also not 
rich by any means. So, you know are you spending your stream money on like pig races or some shit? Yeah. Like, no, what no. the fuck, dude? Like, I, I'm oranges. confused. No, no, no. We got to we about to break okay. this down. I okay. know they want to know. Okay, we've been. A, I'll, I'll I'll break this down. Uh, you know, you get paid from YouTube once a month, right? Okay. I immediately take thirty percent, like a little bit more sometimes, and I immediately just put that away for taxes because as a YouTuber. You don't have a, a boss who takes away your tax money and pays the government. All Actually, I have somebody you, that can do your you taxes, have to, so you, you don't have to do that. I already have one. Shout out to Blasi. Okay. Um, but you, you have to do that yourself, is, uh, put your tax money away. So I immediately take away 30% or whatever. And it, the more you make, the more it is. You know what I mean? It's yeah. fucking scary how much it is can be sometimes. Yeah. And then anyways, after that, got to pay mods. I got to pay uh, people that ask for help with th uh, for thumbnails, uh, videos, all this stuff. It's like I'm spending more and more money on creating my content on top of like uh, just being able to do my ideas, you know, what I mean? like you the, the IRL streams. Every single time I do IRL stream, I spend like a hundred dollars or more, yeah. and I'm, it's like I'm making like five dollars, you know, what I mean? like five ten dollars in like donation money. It's like not that crazy. It's like I do the content that like I want to do, you know, what I mean, like I, and that's why every day, whenever I can, I want to thank every single person who supports my channel because Thanks. all the content I create would not even be possible without your guys' support. The fact that I'm able to stream damn near every day right now is because of you guys. So I want to thank the Harmonious Gang. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to the Harmonious, Harmonious Gang. Chat, man. We're my, we're my tent talkers. Shout out to Harmonious Gang. We're my homeless people at. Bro, <laughs> shout out. All right, all right. Okay. That was good, Yuri. I want to well, say shout out to, this, shout out to all the small stuff. That was a great all monologue. <laughs> Tell me all the split moto Gs and shit, man. Because I, I, how did it go? You're really good at dodge. You're literally just dodged like an engagement yeah. question. Yeah. No, I'm, not, like, I'm, not master I'm not done with guys, it. I'm not done with it. I'm not done with him. Yeah. Okay. What do you have? Mm, the <laughs> Tokestigator. I like I that. I know. For real. I'm on his ass. because I'm on like, community you, too much. I know, huh? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you know, Spliff actually. Spliff clips. Actually, I'm off it. All right, so there, you're, uh, you got it, guys. Oh, okay, you, you I got, got off guy. easy this time. No, you let, got... let you tell a card. Cut, you really want me to? You really want me to grill you? I'm, I'm, doxing, grill I'm ass, doxing man. myself. Never mind, I take yeah. it back. <laughs> like, you want me to grill you, bro? I'm, no. I'm too drunk. Never grill mind. Grill that shit, bro. Hey, you too drunk. Let's go. Let's, hey, let's run, take a run, grill right that shit. No, I just, I have no more chaser, so I got to take a break. Stop being a pussy, bro. What do we have next on the topics? I know it's my first day back. Yuri, if you don't Oh, no, but this is what I wanted to say, though. Shout out to all. Everybody and also the split uh support split mode uh TV as well because you guys are doing I don't spend none of my YouTube money, I give it all to my daughter. So you guys are doing nothing mm, but that's supporting fire, my daughter, man. bro. So shout out to all you guys, man. I Thank love to hear that. Yeah, that's amazing. And shout out to uh I don't people who like I guess fuck with me. <laughs> I don't really had that say stream or anything like bro, that. Bro, you know but. what's funny? Uh Half Evil posted that thing on Instagram where they were like, We just made a million dollars. And was that within twenty four hours? Yeah, people thought like, Oh, I remember my first mm -hmm. minute. Nah, motherfucker. Half evil made a million dollars in two days, man. I had Dude, George crazy. calling me. Yo. George called me at like shout at out 3 George. p.m. He's like, bro, it's been an hour. And he told me the amount I haven't even seen that that I haven't seen that amount this Probably year. More I was than a like, now, yeah, yeah, no, they've their brand makes a million a drop. You know what I'm Bro, saying? That's like, crazy. But uh, anyways, I was talking about shout that out on to George stream. and Sam, that's the hardest that's... workers I've known for the last five years. Man. George is and, going crazy. and George is like such a nice, humble guy. You know what I mean? Like like when you come when I met him, I I don't get that like vibe they get from other successful people sometimes where well, they're like oh i'm the shit or that's whatever. that's yeah, yeah. when you start identifying like fake success amongst real success like like the the real people who succeeding they're not like popping and making you feel exactly. bad yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i mean that's but true, like george is someone who like bro he, he he totally lives within his means and he's somebody who he had he identifies like my company might have made some money but that doesn't make me like oh i just made sixty thousand yeah. a million dollars for me to buy a fucking house yeah, yeah that, that's yeah, not yeah, a million probably. profit but also, Never. I, I was uh, the reason why I brought that up is because I was talking about that on stream. I was like, "Dude, this is crazy! Like a million dollars within twenty four hours." Hell of people in the chat were like, "I'm a part of that million." Yeah. Like they were like purchases of the fucking and items. That's the hard Shout thing. To them. Like especially Shout for like chat, someone in the streetwear community, like. You never want to like overtly flex, you know. Like that's why I really didn't want to talk about my sweater. It's like because at the end of the day, it's not like yeah, I gained this. You know, of course I'm hustling, I'm working, and you I'm providing it, a though, great product. At the end of the day, but you know, I never want my uh, you know, we were having a conversation with this on Sh with Sharp yet yeah, last episode on like Blasi. They really want to know what you be doing. It's like, bro. I'm not trying to make that my personality trait. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I never want to be like, guys, I spent this and that and that. Like, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, you did like, spend seven fifty no, no, on a blank. But you, you made me like you put you pitted me at a corner. I yeah, didn't want to yeah. say it at first. But you know I feel what I'm like saying? the difference like, is like you're not you're not working. You're working to be successful, yes, but you're not working to be like I'm flexing on you guys. No. You're working to to like kind of like you know fulfill some sort of like void in your head where you're like I need to do this work to make myself feel good no. and that comes with money and you like reward yourself but like you're not really doing it just to be like 
fuck you guys. I got a Rick Owens. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the difference. I mean, or some people are like that. you got. I, I just went through a whole like I'm past the whole honeymoon phase of money. Like when when I get a check, mm. I'm not looking at it like, oops, time to fucking do this and that. Bro, like for real, I don't I own that. any watches or anything like that. You know, like all the money that hits my account, I just see that as my business and shit. You broke a and, watch, you said. Huh? You said you broke a watch. Yeah, shout out to her. She gifted me an alabaster. That shit lasted a week on me. I, oh, yeah, I need to get that bitch repaired, man. But shout out to her. Alabaster too, man. But uh, all that to say, I digress, guys. And uh, you know, I don't think that like your earnings should ever be a personality trait, unless facts, you're like Floyd facts. Mayweather, and it's like undisputed that yeah. you're. But you know he gets a saying? lot of hate for that, for the fact that he's just like so flexible. But you do, see, you did, you did see like a trend go happen in around 2017, 2018 with these YouTubers, like. You know Ten thousand I mean? dollar Louis oh, Vuitton yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, shop. Yeah, that yeah. was a real. It, it was a That's real toxic. Bro. It was a oh, shallow yeah. moment in YouTube history where yeah. it's like, bro, what are we really looking at? You know what yeah. I mean? But, oh, but also, the, the Casey, Mr. Beast was able to do it humbly. Humbly. That's true. But Casey Nice that never. Or also, I don't think any of the YouTubers who ever did those like twenty thousand dollar flight, ten thousand dollar flight videos, they never really got any shit for that. Well, they they proved themselves as like becoming like. Uh, like, like someone that's just gonna be part of this like timestamp, and Casey they're gonna Nick. leave it at that because most of those uh creators didn't really find longevity after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, you look at I mean, I'll bring a rice gum. You know, he was one of those individuals where like rice he did like start the pioneer. Yeah, of he yeah. started like, off strong one. with content. You that's know what I'm true. saying? But like. You know, that was around the time when like Louis Louis and Supreme were collabing, where it's like, guys, this fucking jacket's five thousand. No one can get it. This box logo's that, you know, and it's like it becomes toxic and it becomes very unrelatable to your to your viewers. And that's when you start losing your disconnect and no pun intended, but you know, most importantly, your your biggest connection with your audience member should be like whatever common ground y'all could find. And not all of them are going to be able to take these private jets and these mm-hmm. suites. No so fact. like the, the more you, you come off as unrelatable, we've been t- we talked about H3 earlier. Yeah. It's like the, the more people are going to find it troubling to like relate to you. Wait, Bro, that's that's okay. a, that's another Sorry. thing I want to say, too, as well, because like <clears throat> I feel like that's the same thing, like in like in terms of my stream, too, as well, like. People like, okay, you know, some people probably can't relate to me in like others and other aspects or whatever, yeah. but like, and people that are like, you know, that watch my stream consistently and like they're always in the chat doing whatever, we all are always drinking. Always having a good time, bro. What? Yeah, fuck that. That's niggas like I, the niggas like I'm getting, I'm drinking Ronas. Especially everybody in the chat always sending me, always sending me you pictures like I'm drinking interrupt. Coronas. You wanted so, to interrupt? Shout out my motherfucking niggas, man. Let's go. You're, you're hey. enabling your alcoholism. You just through your interrupted Blazzy to to give a shout out to Corona. Yeah, I'm no, you. I didn't give. A shout. I didn't even say Corona once. You said we we all drink Coronas. Uh, well, they, I said they send me pictures of them drinking oh, okay. You drink Coronas. I actually only drink Tito's now because of this nigga. I can't even drink Let tequila. you tell. You got Let's two go. Coronas in front of you. No, that, I said Tito's. True. I said when I'm at home, like, drinking Tito's, I only drink it because of this nigga because, like, I used, to only drink to, to, uh, I used to only drink tequila. Oh. But, like, now just, I don't even really want tequila. Before I, I met Riley, tequila. I was only drinking um, uh, Hennessy. Really? What's the yeah. fuck? You're ratchet. What kind of shit? Yeah. I didn't realize it was on? like the more expensive. You're a freak. Let me find out. <laughs> a flagrant? Hennessy? You're, you're, a free, you're a freak. Let bro, I out. cannot see you drinking Hennessy, city girl. bro. That's that was crazy. Oh, tune in, city girl. T- tune in to my, Bro, I used to do $5 shots on of my Hennessy? streams of Hennessy. You're a little thought. Shut the fuck. It was also <laughs> Jaeger too. It was Jaeger and Hennessy. These guys are going to try to get me into alcoholism because I don't smoke. And honestly, don't I don't want to sound like a fiend, but like I definitely want to hit a blunt right now. It sucks. I'm rolling this joint right now. You don't know how like... Riley, I I know you've been on pole duty all day. She's not in here. Oh shit! Or uh, who, who's on there? Oh shit, Bossa, Bossa. Can we can we throw a poll real quick? Is Blasi allowed to hit the joint? Wait, wait. Uh, who won that poll? Of the most delusional. <laughs> nigga, day I mean, one already fucking. <laughs> <laughs> not delusional. I mean, I think, uh, I think, I think, I think it's fucking sixteen hours. <laughs> <laughs> Down bad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I I haven't took a tolerance break for over Bruh. a month since I was like twenty one and twenty seven today. Wait, so. be honest. When was the last time you smoked? Like the last time I smoked was around one a.m. with Money Sign Suede. So you already smoked today. You might as well smoke again. You kick it with Suede a lot, huh? Yeah, Suede. We kick it like every other day, man. We talk every day. That's dope. Wait, what what was the uh, who won that poll for? Who has the highest IQ? I did. Don't. Bro. But beyond that, uh, <laughs> that was the strangest sound I've heard in my life. All right, let's get back to the clothing news. <laughs> okay, so uh, what do we have next uh, other than the Pikachu? Yeah, enough with this Pikachu. Eat this Pikachu part is fire of the collab. I like this part. This is, Yuri, if, if you literally bring, uh, I'll house on your ass and just throw that shit across the room. 
Fuck that wow, shit. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Oh what? my god, that is literally your drip. Yuri. That is weak. I'm literally wedging you and fucking tucking that uh, ball main backpack. Hey, wait. Your who owns who owns like uh, Pokemon? Like um, fucking Pokemon? Nintendo. Nintendo? Yeah, no so. way. What are you talking about? What have you ever seen? Poke? Oh shit. No, what, bro? There's no Super Nintendo Pokemon game. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. They're I not even. Are they in Smash Bros? At least I don't know. But what, uh, what, yeah, what, this I is wanna, a girl's backpack. I could see Riley wearing this. Hundred percent. This Riley, is like I'm not wearing that bullshit. Yeah, she just wants an engagement ring, Yuri. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I would rather spend five thousand on this bag than five. Riley, you do want an engagement ring, don't for you? That, for yeah. you, not for the. I, I'm not saying I would want to get married. I'm saying I, the bag is worth more than the ring. You don't no. think you want to get married to Riley? I do want to get married. Then to Riley. get on. One then what are you waiting week? for? Can we I'm, put a poll in the I, chat? I, what the hell are you engaged. waiting for? I cannot afford a five thousand, ten thousand dollar diamond. Bro, ring. you don't play in an NBA. Why are you getting a ten thousand dollar ring? How much is a ring? Bro, when bro. I married Allison, I was broke as hell, bro. Six hundred bucks. If I get Riley a three hundred dollar. Oh, thank bro, you, when me, oh, like, yes, bro, when that, me and Ali got married, bro, we spent like all of our money collectively to go to Disneyland. And then I still think we went home yeah. and fucking ate like Ry- noodles or something. Riley, shit, bro. I you, swear to God. Yuri's trying to paint you as like, like we some broke, kind of like. Man. No, like, I'm not like trying to pay Like a money, oh. money chasing girl. Like, like you have a computer. I, okay, have a computer? you guys. What's the bottom I dollar? I feel like Blasi and Tok know me like out of the most. Of yeah, she's not bougie. Friends. Yeah. Do you guys think I am a bougie type of girl? No, I don't think you're bougie. No, you at live all. within your means and you're happy. Look at me. Yeah. I'm not saying no. Riley's bougie, but I'm saying if I told you guys, hey, Riley and I just got engaged. How much was the ring? Three hundred bucks. I would never Loser. ask you. I would Loser. never ask you how much the ring is. I've seen you. Who? 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 Like, oh, how much? I would never ask you that. I've seen you spend more. On the ounce than on a three, <laughs> talking about three hundred dollars on a it's ring. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bro. You're we're right. in no rush. We are. In I'm no not rush. saying that. Riley, but keep I it a stack. Spend. Keep it a stack. Would you appreciate a three hundred dollar ring? I would love anything. No. I love that, anything. Is that is cow. Oh. That is cow. I talked to you. I, I talked to you. I think the I ring. You, I think the ring. I only got Allison was like. Eleven hundred dollars, bro. So Hold on, let Riley Wait, speak right here. I you said what? Do sh- I not appreciate anything you give me? No, that Larry. is true. Riley's very appreciative and she's very humble. She's not uh, I am a materialistic not that person. Type of person. But I so, did. are you painting the home girl like no, no, some kind I, of like I, money I hungry? I wasn't thief. painting the home girl, and that's my girlfriend. <laughs> I wasn't painting my girlfriend as anything type of thing. But we did have a conversation after I showed you the video about diamonds being a scam. How she said five thousand. <laughs> what a, type of nigga? You show your girlfriend, hey, hey, babe, take a as look at this. As soon as we met each other, like <laughs> it was like it was like aluminum is aluminum this. is up and coming. We got to get an aluminum. <laughs> Let me show you this marriage is a scam <laughs> video. That's, that's the equivalent of, of like you. I was like, okay, I'm like we got, got food at home, bro. Yeah, bro, bro you are the bro. cheapest nigga of all time. Literally, this nigga said, "Got the message." Let me show you a, a video of why. I should not ever get this. Yeah. <laughs> we will never get married. That's smart. That's bro. Wow, no, Yuri. I'm just kidding. They're going to get married with a handshake like this. I'm giving him a hard more time. Affordable. I saw that video. I, saw, I first saw that video like a month or two before we met each other. We were talking about we were talking about diamonds, and I was like, "Riley changed your life." Acknowledge that. Yes, she did. Because I was only <laughs> eating Jack in the Box. That's a T-shirt. Before I met her, I was depressed, lonely, sad. I wasn't as happy. I wasn't as productive. I taking wasn't, can of butter dabs at my house. I was like sleeping at <laughs> Toke's house every night. You know what I mean? It was Yo, bad, bro. For other reasons. <laughs> for <laughs> definitely for other reasons. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> It's no. okay. I let you guys have your little thing. Dude, sometimes I feel like Toke wants to assault Riley with some of the jokes I know. He's, he's like, I'm going to fuck you up, Riley. Me. Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember? I t- I remember uh, no, wait, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, oh, sure. Hey, remember? <laughs> Riley got so mad at me one time because we were at your like, surprise party. <laughs> we had your surprise party, right? Uh-huh. You and, told uh, me to get the fuck out of the yeah, picture. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, she was like, so we all took that group photo, right? <laughs> And then like one more, I was like, "All right, Riley, you get out of here for this one." And she's, was like, like, oh. she's like, "Fuck you, yeah. tough." <laughs> Why would you tell Riley to get Hell out of a no. group photo? Boy, bye. That's crazy. Hell no. Toke's like only oh, guys crazy. in this one. Okay, Toke is like 
definitely like my closest friend to Yuri, I feel like. So I could definitely say fuck wow, you. Wow, Blasi just yeah. shed a tear right now. That's Blasi too. That's fucked Blasi up. Blasi and wow. Toe. Yeah. What Blasi about House Tuck Phone? Are... Uh, what about Vel? Riley, Riley picks and choose say, her favorites. No, I would say Toke and Blasi are probably like the mo- like the people that I talk to the most out of Yuri's friends. But Riley has definitely given me though. a funky look when she's seen me downstairs with my toes out eating all the hot shit <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, for right reason, right? For really, reason. I'm so no, no, no. You, why I no. you hot Cheetos all the time? Like, I cook <laughs> for you guys. Fact. No, no Riley you meals. and Yuri are like a one host guys. If I can leave a Yelp review, it'd be five stars. Thank and you. no tip. Wait, it would you be a whole some chicken shit one time. I don't even know what the fuck it was. No, that was not me. Riley, you're bullshit. The only thing that? in the fridge is cold fishes to slap Yuri with. <laughs> That's when you were there, but also. I have no, to say one that, time I wh- did order like uh, Buffalo Wild Wings for everybody at the house, and they came back and they were plain. Yeah, oh, they were yeah. just plain wings. That was that. that was crazy because we ordered like 40, it was during the gulag. We yeah. ordered like forty or fifty wings with like three or four. No, different that was seventy two hour stream. Yeah, seventy two with hella yeah. different flavors, and every single box came it was back plain. plain. And we were yeah. like, I was like, that's fuck. crazy. But Everything. people were so hungry that they were enjoying anything. Yeah, no, yeah. nothing. No, and she was like, and Rod was like, yo, did anyone? Oh, we were all talking in the room together. Like, did anyone notice? And like, I don't think no one. Because <laughs> hey, was like, fuck it. Hey, to keep it a hundred though, if I'm ever hungry, I go to Yuri's crib. Hey, the, it's gonna be some pizza there. It's gonna yeah. be a, a a fresh burger, maybe to some de- oranges to defend Blasi <laughs> and also everyone else who helped with the gulag. Some stream. ice cream. If you guys are coming to help torture me, like fucking all throughout the night and whatever. You're you make yourself at home, bro. Do whatever yeah. the fuck you want, except going to our bedroom. Probably I don't know. Like, but there's some hmm. certain rules that you can't break. But I don't know. Like, most rule, the most rules is like you can do whatever you want. I've gone to Yuri's house and left with a Sunday, bro. As soon as Yuri, as soon as Horizon with goes, a root beer float. Every time Horizon goes to Yuri's house, she goes straight upstairs in his room, jumps on his bed with his cat. I I know. <laughs> Same. Riley, Same. Yuri. Yeah. Yeah. I love Riley. I love Yuri. You know what's funny is uh, I love Blasi. Uh, Riley told me when Lovely I was beans. when I, I think she said like, your name is the only one she doesn't say. She Blazy. says but everyone's name house phone even. Oh <laughs> really? Yeah. House phone's way harder than Blasi. Blasi is so it doesn't roll off the tongue. Blasi for sure rolls <laughs> off the tongue. Blasi. Blasi. <laughs> Blasi. <laughs> I just licked this mic. That's disgusting. <laughs> It's like plug talk germs on this shit. You Yo. said, bro, with what you said happened to this couch, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some backsplash on that mic. He's for sure stuck this. Never mind. Yo, okay. We've actually, I think people have put that whole mic in their mouth. I'm not going to lie. This backpack is last king vibe. Let oh. you tell it. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. What do you mean? Soon. It is. Too soon. It, it, okay, I have to too agree. Too soon, bro. I'm sorry, it's been but one I, day. I have to agree. Is it not? I could see that at last king. It hasn't even been 24 hours, bro. About what? What are you talking about? Oh, she was going to kick my ass. Too soon. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, shout out to at the end of the day. Listen, t Rail hit me up for a t-shirt design this weekend. And I was a little reluctant. I'm not going to lie. He hits me up all Saturday. Hey, bro, can you design some shirt? I didn't respond. He's like, oh, so you're not fucking with me? I'm like, all right, let me do the shirt now. And this motherfucker tries the bro. I hit him with like the decent homie price. Like, yo, can you look out for me, bro? I know you finna make some money off of this. He gives me he, he he gives me a setback and then I give him like the stone like the price I would charge my cousin my biological cousin for a graphic <laughs> okay and then they come on here the uh, on Wednesday just to say oh Blasi Blasi charged you you know like what the fuck am I bro I my, Edison charges me for the lights you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah. I can't get a I can't get a, a you know a couple little dollars to grab a, a meal on the way home. Bro, that's crazy. That. You, they, they tweaked out. That's why I put "Designed by Blasi" secretly in the shirt. Oh, that, to no who, way. I swear to God, to everyone who purchased the uh, shirt, y'all have. Wait, wait. Pull, can you pull a shirt up right now? Wow. Hold on. We you gotta. We gotta guess. Yes, wait, see wait. Hold on. Number one, those pants are crazy. Do crash. I text it to you or something like that? Uh, do you know what the? Wait, babe. Can we show these? Are these pants showing right now? Yeah. What wait, the? Wait, f- I did that. I'm gonna go pee. Who what? the hey, fuck? Bro, these pants are like this is something when you're playing Pokemon and you're running into like some sort of character you got to battle. This is what they're wearing. Who the fuck, Blazzy? Be honest. You know why me? You know a lot of drippy wearers. Nah, no one's wearing no one's wearing that bullshit around me. That's for like rich losers. Bro, this is crazy bad. This is Balmain, right? Balmain. Balmain. Are they designing this with their fucking eyes closed? What is going on? You know right the now? craziest part too is like. One of their creative directors, Matthew Williams, is like a super talented designer, man. 
Um, and this is like, hopefully th this was like his exit and he just wanted to shit on everybody. This was like his version of at the end of the day shirt. But like I don't know this, it it, it kind of gives me like a, a Snoop Camp Snoopy vibes. What the fuck? It does you know what actually. I'm saying? You're like, right. You're right. But uh, it, it, I don't know. Like the whole Pokemon shit. I, I'm that's uh, yeah. Can, can we zoom out and look at the other pieces? Yeah, I, I was just gonna say. I think they added another wife beater. There we go. What's up with them and the wife beaters? They're just like exercise folk. They're just like, bro, we love working out. Oh, okay, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The first T-shirt on the top left. Yeah, I, like with, I feel like. I could see myself yeah. wearing that. The top right, no. I could see like you know some dude at the club wearing that, and he's too rich to question. And you're just like, okay, whatever. You're successful as fuck. You got diamond necklaces. Uh, you know, the the bottom left is like that dude's working out at Equinox, and he's made no progress in eight months, and he's wearing that shirt working out probably. The bottom right is this dude has. Like one of those Yu-Gi-Oh fucking card dueling things attached to his arm. Yeah. Along with you know the Pokemon Pokédex. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I got you. Riley at no jumper? No. Uh, okay. Guys, send all your music submissions to uh, Josh Lexington Bro. at uh, uh, nojumper.com. Josh Lexington. I was just thinking this the other day. Poor Josh. He gets so many... Uh, Things where people are like in during the podcast, they're like, email Josh, email Josh, email Josh. He his his he there's no way he gets through his email. Stop it, bro. I, it I takes one second to like. click your email. His email is probably insane. They it's dude. a 20 75 percent that they want me to hit the joint. Only Yo, Max said Ricky run off the set. Mac. <sighs> what does that mean? Why is, yeah. it, why is he wanting me to run off? Yeah, the set? Mac, why do you want R Ricky to run off Fuck's the set? Fuck's about to go on. What job you doing? This is the guy who does um, uh, our topics off like Molly in Vegas. And shit like oh, that. oh, he's high right now. Yeah, he's high. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's straight. He's straight. 75% of people want to see me do bad. That's what I'm reading right now. And how the fuck does that math Should make Blasi sense? hit the joint? 75%, 24% no. Was 1% undecided? The fuck? <laughs> That's actually true. That's a good point. I'm rocking with the 1%. I don't know if I should hit the joint. 1.1k votes though i don't know bro, maybe you, next week i'll come and i'm very intellectual and i'm proper and you know i speak like bro, this first and, day you trying to hit the joint already is you yeah. you went for a that's long crazy ride. bro day one is crazy bro day one is crazy i don't know what i'm gonna do when i'm alone at home with, don't with this mountain of wax and fucking <laughs> not even day free, one give it to hour me give it to me all this that's off a lot of gelato just chilling at my crib let me hold on to it for the whole month this big chief pack give me all your Shout out big chief. Oh my god! Well, I honestly don't listen to Toke because when I was doing this month of alcohol, mm. Toke was like, "You're not gonna make it. You drink a shot every day, blah blah blah. You're not gonna Yo. make it, blah blah." Guess what? Thir uh, Thirty-one days sober, and now I'm drunk. Wow! You came along. You deserve you. this drink, Yuri. Thank you. But do you think that the first week of October, I really want to tell it? Can I? Can I piss on live? And just give y'all a drug test. You can go to the bathroom. What the fuck is wrong this with you, bro? This isn't a Patreon. I could be in the <laughs> like, cut. What? No, like really, bro? Like, no. What? <laughs> it would work out. I just want to show the chat that I'm committed. This and seventy five percent of y'all can suck dick my dick out on live and piss. Yeah, I mean, they also want to see me smoke weed. What's wor what's worse for this platform, bro? This is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, honestly, speaking of piss, this might be like a jump into su subject, but I didn't watch the video yet. But I saw Ricky posted a video where he said selling my kids to pawn shops <laughs> oh, yeah. that is an amazing hey video. man fuck these topics we talking <laughs> oh god fuck all this pokemon fuck this, fuck pikachu topics, man. shit man i, right, man, fuck your topics I, I didn't week. i didn't watch the video but what was the reaction when you try to sell your quote-unquote kids to a pawn shop yeah it's not so it's not my kids so i went i got this little valve or whatever this glass valve i went to walmart what's a valve it's like the test tube thingy. Oh, okay. I just said evolve because it sounds right, right? That's I don't not know cold. if that's the right word. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, and I put some soap in it or whatever. And I went to the pawn shop. I told him, I was like, I'm in trouble with the cartel. I need Jesus a lot of money. Jesus Christ. Money. And I don't have any way, you know what I mean? So here's my kids. And yeah, they were, they, how do you respond to that? They Did were you get any so buyers? <laughs> no. Has that, so no. you, so you, your YouTube videos, are you just like fucking with people or trolling them and shit? I mean, it's just, yeah, it's like fucking with people, bro. But it's kind of like shit that I would do in high school. Like, that, like, yeah, with a camera on, honestly. I'm yeah, gonna, it, right, is, so, it, yeah, yeah. is it mainly being filmed in Indiana or you brought it to LA? Oh, no, I'm trying. It's everywhere Indiana, Florida, California. So that's has dope, everybody. When, ever was, when, when you guys are talking about somebody that like doesn't have like any drip, they, they spend their money to just go travel and shit. That's literally what me and Victor do for videos. That's fire. Like, I, I, I've never owned designer. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. 
Yeah, but if it came down to it, you, you'd rather spend your money on a memory and like something that you actually gonna experience, right? A hundred percent. But for I sure. I think it's cool to every not like every once in a while buy something that you yeah. worked hard for. You can look at it like, damn, I really put on for that. You know what I mean? For mm-hmm. sure. So every every once in a while, but like, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I don't think I'll ever be like the splurge type of, type of yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah, I'm too simple. It's too. It's too much of a toxic. Let you tell it, bro. What are you, bro? Uh, I Mr. literally agreeing with the. Oh, I don't like to splurge. It yeah, took, yeah, I mean, it either. took me a whole clothing collection to buy one sweater. <laughs> I, this is the first sweater I ever bought in and the last year. You bought a year. plain sweater for seven hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> bro. Would it? It made you feel better if it had fucking. Bro, Pokemon somebody can. On somebody can start their whole streaming life with that. <laughs> and you're you spending on a plain hoodie. <laughs> They could got somebody can buy a mic, a, a PC, a, a couple monitors, bro, and they could get cracking, bro. You could have bought a Yuri Dab donation with the amount you spent on that Corona. Facts. What do you so, mean this cur- nigga? You're what wrong are you talking for about that. Two dollars, four dollars. This shit adding up, man. You're, you're wrong for that, Toke. You spending all this money on alcohol. That's you need crazy. to spend this money on uh, crypto. You know it's crazy. I worked hard to do it, so I'm gonna keep fucking doing it. I'm oh, but sure. I can't wear a, a fucking non Pikachu designer sweater. A seven fit, hundred and fifty dollars. I is regret crazy. Telling, a blank hoodie too. I regret telling y'all how much. I'm like, never doing the electric telecard Wait, again. Also, bro, I, no, for, I, no, 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 no. For seven hundred and fifty dollars, okay. nigga, I better be able to press a button on my shit and I call Rick <laughs> Omens himself, bro. Nigga, and he answers tell, I can't even every fi- fucking bro, time. I can't even figure out how to use your faucet, bro, because you live in too futuristic of a mansion. Number one, I want to say. <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm it's just, a motion. First of all, you're, I, I've told this thing a million times. It's a motion detected. It doesn't turn. All off. you gotta do is you just put your hands under it, bro. It doesn't make sense to turn a motion dis- sensor thing off with your hands. You put your hands bro. under it and then you just wave it again. Boom! It's off. This whole podcast has been us defending that we are broke. Bro, no, no, no. Crazy. no, 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 no. <laughs> Two of us because I'm a motion just... detective faucet, bro. Okay. Blasi, I feel like I don't want it's my, I don't want my trolling and Toke's trolling to make you prevent yourself from spending your your money on drip. I don't spend money on clothes well, like that, bro. Well, like I, I made these pants. I, I appreciate was a gift. Seven hundred fifty dollar Manila folder. Are you crazy? <laughs> and that's the only sweater I own. That's bro, cat. you're crazy. That's cat. You ever see me wear a sweater on disconnected? I'm Pull sorry, up the thumbnails. Bro. That's actually true. Pull up you, the thumbnails. You do usually wear shirts, but yeah, you chose to buy a sweater when LA is experiencing 100 degree weather every single day for the next week. For I have 700. If you if that was a 75 dollar hoodie, granted, 750 dollars. <laughs> For a hoodie in the summer? I'm returning this stupid ass sweater, bro. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Bro, you better pick up that rent. Oh <laughs> it's just $750, nigga. What the fuck? Rick Owen is like laughing at the sky nigga, right now. I'm bring, He's like, Bob, No, I'm bringing bro, a pro a club short, a, a pro club shirt, some and one shorts, and like some fucking bro, dusty ass thong $750. Slides when I get home, all I got to say is off. And this motherfucker better <laughs> unzip, put itself <laughs> on the hanger. All type of shit, bro. Hell no. Yo, Watch no. yourself. Yeah, yeah like, oh, hell wait, 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 wait. no. Wait a the, second. Who the fuck is who this? Who is this? <laughs> wait, zoom in. Can we zoom in? No, we probably can't. This is a crazy ass caption. They say if I lick it, you... They say I, if I lick it, you, your minds. But if I bite you, then your minds forever. Wait, I'm is this a filter or is this a condition? I'm, so, I'm confused. Bro, this one has to suck blood to survive, it looks like. Nah, bro. I'm not going to make fun of him until I figure out what this is. Can we go on this page real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah, this is crazy. Ala Kurt Phoenix, that just sounds vamp- vampiric. That animated photo. Oh my God. This man is like. Yeah, 38K with five likes. It's cat. Yeah. This is what happens when you listen to it's too cap. much. Uh, <laughs> uh, too much of the whole lot of red out. 210 views, 38K. This is, a, <laughs> this is a bunch of helmet. <laughs> Where my vamps at in the chat? ASAP Rocky tripping. Oh, oh no. Yeah. ASAP come, come on, up here. Bro. Fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Yo. Talking about purple swag, bro. All right, next. Fuck that. The fuck? Oh, no, no. We got to get off his page. Oh, Whoa. yeah. I'm scared. Give me out. 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 Oh, my I'm God. I'm scared, bro. Can we, me too. To be yeah, let's block. Wait, hold on. Can we let's click on the monster? Oh, never mind. Right. The monster one was crazy. Click I kind of want to block his ass. <laughs> bro. <laughs> we can't do that, let's, dude. Let's fucking... Let's be the vampire. Hey, uh, I thought... Hey, from here, I thought he had like a condition with his face. It looked kind of crazy. Yo, but my man... <laughs> nah, he got plastic surgery. Down. He got plastic surgery to make his, like, his teeth... Uh, one inch longer. Yeah, man. That's just, oh, that's cool. the only thing different. The teeth. 
S and my nigga S He got like some shit going on. The chin's a little bit longer. There's many things happening. Good ass swag. Well, I just had habit last night. Delicious. I designed this shirt like three years ago, actually. That's good ass swag too. Half evil underground. Wow. This was ten out of ten, man. This paid for that Rick in the good uh Rosecrans nut pants. Shout out to uh, my boy. Hey, let, he be dripped. Let's just sell it. Yeah. You, he were wearing, you were wearing paint pants for a week straight. <laughs> Put that tongue away, This is bro. 10 out of 10 drip. I fuck with this shirt. I don't even know what brand that is, but that shirt is this dope. Is, what the fuck is this photo? How do you crop the person you're next to and yourself? No face, no and case. And these pants are dope, too. These pants are hard. There, so there, there might be shit. a picture of the next one. <laughs> he said those a, are weak? His Hell face. yeah. Wait. You got some weak-ass pollination, fake-ass uh, brain-dead pants from Blasi right probably knows his brand. What is bro, this? Bro, I know you're not talking again. Hell, oh, hell nah. nah bro. I'm talking everywhere with against those. Fuck that. Nigga, you look like you finna buy a loadout in them pants. I mean, hell you're talking... nah. Fuck all that shit, bro. Uh, those are hard, bro. No, the only, the, the only hard... Never mind. I don't even <laughs> want to be disrespectful, bro. Run your brand up. Wait, wait, hold on. Keep going hard. Wait. In the last... Shows... Those are, that's his brand? Wait, hold on. Can, can brand. we go this back to hard. the last photo? Oh, La- last photo. That's ten out of ten. He blocks inside. his face out. Okay, you and know he maybe gets- maybe he's trying to be discreet. Next photo, you can see his face clearly. Why'd you spend the extra time blocking your face out? This was counterintuitive. The build hype. Maybe These build pants the hype, are hard. That shirt is hard with the like H on the side. That shit's dope, bro. I'm sorry. Very <laughs> underwhelming uh, ending of the of that. Whoa, um, RPD event. This gotta be photoshopped. I don't know what it is. I can't point it, but this is photoshopped. Something looks glowy. Oh no, man. Well, okay. All, All right. right. What we on, bro? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. What we on, bro? Oh, yeah. Welcome to crazy. Disconnected, where this we review crazy, bro. This is crazy. Next slide, please. Nice lump. <laughs> that was the homie uh, uh, <laughs> after what, after going on his For You page yesterday <laughs> right there. Nigga kicked out of a bar. <laughs> <laughs> bro. A lump with knobs. Oh, fuck all that. Yeah, we need to get out of here. No more new obscene. We know you're fucking promoting your brand, bro. <laughs> obscene? I would not cop. I'm sorry. It's obscene you look at us for promo like that, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Um, I'm linking up with this guy on OfferUp to buy a PS5, and he's keeping, <laughs> he's keeping my money and the PS5, bro. Oh, yeah, my God. Show keeping your shit. This walking is, right in the house. You're going to see what house he walking into. Oh he God. Be shit about and we it. linked up at the police station parking lot. <laughs> That's the crazy part. You're dope. Uh, what the what fuck? is this? Oh, hell Yo. no. He's taking his shit. This is Yuri Art. No, wait. This is not real. This is NFT. This is like some digital art shit. There's no way they put this up here. They did? No wow. Way. Amazing. That's beautiful. That shit's getting fucked up. I would rip off an arm and take it home. <laughs> oh, it's real. Why would someone make that? You could have done board. something else with like 16 hours of your time. It looks like Tuna Canyon. This but... is Yuri and Riley if they're from like San Diego or something. <laughs> yeah, oh and if my Yuri's... God. Never mind, never mind. Riley actually did live in San Diego, FYI. Well, this is Yuri if... He's from fucking Vallejo. <laughs> All right, we go to the next one. That looks like me if I was like non-binary. If that was, uh, bro, I, I yo, yeah, yo, I was like, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like, I'm, bro, you're nope, nope. I don't know what's going on. No uh, yeah, Yuri's gonna be missing the next episode. Watch. I know for real. I love like, you guys. guys. I well, uh, thank apologize you for, for me my on, comments. Dude. Bro, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Whenever that the, is. Yeah, she don't Honestly, get at, she don't get, well, I mean, who? I, I, never mind. This, this is a cool. <laughs> never mind. This, this is a cool fit, man. Shout out to uh, Jackson. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I like I like the rainy vibes because I haven't seen rain in years. It feels like. Yeah, I, I like yeah. it, man. Uh, solid fit, man. I'm wearing this shit on the first day of school. Mm, okay. Good first show. day of school drip. Whose phone is this? Hey, when's, wait, speaking oh, of the first day of school. Phone. Yo, can we pull up that uh that shit I emailed, y'all? Hey, speaking of school, like, when people start going back to school in August? I thought, like, school was always going the back in fuck? September, right? No, I've always went to school in, like, August 15th, 20th. Bro, Paramount was different. Don't act no, like you're... No, stop it. That's <laughs> one week away. Don't act nah. like you're not hype. You're like, fuck yeah, Horizon goes to school. I get to drink some bro, more Coronas. Horizon, <laughs> Horizon, only, Horizon <laughs> only two, bro. No school yet? No. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you're, come on. What time? Yeah, you, Hollywood High, right? Yeah. When do you start school? Bro? Right, at That's least fucking four. Five, six, four? Four? Five. So until four, you're clueless. Yes. Sent to his, or at least I did. I tried to. Wait, so until four, you don't know shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Bro, Horizon, yeah. bro, Horizon Both? knows more dinosaurs than I know. Oh, my By God. name. Damn. Be, cause oh, my God. She loves dinosaurs so much. That's crazy. Yeah, she. I don't know. I don't even know how she knows all this stuff, but it's crazy. It's crazy. She's teaching me stuff sometimes. I really want to show y'all this little, like, 
this little uh, uh, Easter egg in this design. Let's see if I can airdrop it to someone in here. Right, yo, okay. just give her the phone, bro, so she can do yeah, it. Yeah, like, make sure she just don't don't throw it. Actually, grab that Dr Pepper when you're over there, please. Dr Pip? The Dr P, <laughs> the DP, please. Hit me with the DP. Um, it's all, right over there, boss. Oh, okay, so awesome. Um, yeah. anyways, what up? How are you guys doing? Oh shit! What the fuck, bro? Yeah. This was that was perfect. That was a good throw. But I've lost all carbonation at this point. It's flat. That. Oh that was a God. really good throw. Blazzy's like, I'm gonna make this drink like I am myself. Yeah, bro. Hey, uh, flat. So, did you did you end up playing <laughs> GTA fuck? roleplay? No, I couldn't figure it out, bro. Okay, honestly, I have to I have to ask this honest question. How are so many people playing GTA roleplay when number one, all the lobbies, you gotta wait an hour, you gotta join the Discord, you gotta do an interview, you gotta ask all these questions, you gotta uh, you, don't have to uh, do you, all you that. gotta get on your knees and beg and fucking gog gog three thousand for fucking to just get in a role and to, to get in a server. Because, I'm like, okay, how many people are because, joining these servers? Because, this shit's ridiculous. How hard it is to get in a fucking all right, server because it's so popular now. But bro, you don't have. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna set you. I know I know this dude, but you're gonna. I only know him like the he only has like access to like the YBN server in his backyard. YBN server. Oh, okay, okay. But like then that means you gotta like gang bang. Mac is calling me right now. Should I answer? I have to gang bang. Yeah, call. Yeah, answer. I've never gang. Tell him we're on air life. though. Don't you're on the mic. Don't redact me. Yeah, we're on we're on stream. What up? Hey, I have a GTA lobby for us, so just tap in with me after the stream. Okay, perfect. Hey, um, he's watching this bitch live. Damn, <laughs> I know. Shout out to hey, Mac. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Mac. Wait, what are you doing right now? I'm doing the timestamps. Okay. Oh, oh let's go. Hey, bro, hey, can you do us all a favor? Can you raise your right hand? And smack the shit out of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Are uh, you hung up? Yeah. Oh, why? For the Balmain uh, Pokemon thing? Yeah. <laughs> I sent that to him. I also DM'd that shit to him in the morning. I actually seen that in the group chat. And I'm like, no way they're going to talk, so we gotta talk about it. this. Oh, my okay. God. Um, Were we right. able to find that pick? I don't think so. But yeah, bro, no, I got, yeah, I know, bro, you, GTA role play is fun, but I don't want to play in like the game bang servers anymore. Bro, that shit's kind of crazy because you were in personal. game banging services. I used to play in the YBN server, there's right? No game banging. There's no game bangers on GTA role play. Yeah, I know that, but like, yeah, there I used is. to play in the YBN server, right? Yeah, and basically, like, it was this shit called like Lost Scandalous, and like, nigga, they was like, you know, different like real LA hoods in the game, and they were dissing. Real LA hoods in the game, and also dissing dead oh, niggas from God. real LA hoods in the game, and I'm like, oh, I can't be a part of this. This is crazy. They're going oh too God. deep into I, the role playing. Because I, I was streaming it at first on Twitch, and I was like, I was living in Switzerland at the time, so I'm like, all right, this is not that bad. Then I start, then they start dissing people that I actually like knew. Oh, then I was like, God. oh shit, this, this is this is what you're send, trying to send me? No, no yeah, that's only that's only you, you want to you want to get Yuri like wrapped up in like LA gang politics? Is I, that what trying to I do? think he will probably be a cop or something in there. I probably, but honestly, it's It'll be funny, dude. If I want to play For Rust, stream, be funny. Yeah. dude. If I want to play Rust, I hop on Rust, I search a server or I click on a server, I'm in. If I want to do GTA roleplay, you gotta buy a GTA. You gotta get this program or uh, or three other programs. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. You gotta log into this other third party. You're making web. up steps, bro, bro. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're I'm, doing way no, too much. No, I'm literally not. It's literally, you, you gotta, gotta buy the game. You gotta turn on your computer. You what? gotta. You no, literally no, have, no, have no, to no, get no. the the game, the the server program, obviously Discord, it ain't and then that easy. and then the fucking uh, the voice chat thing. I forgot what it's called. And I can't you and you also got to do an interview and be like, hey, please you don't have to in. do that. I know some. You don't have to. Well, Bro, only for that server. But I am not ever gonna. Play I don't know about for other servers. I didn't know you have to do interviews and shit. That's crazy. I'm not. I wouldn't play. The one That's I was trying to play. Somebody hooked interview. me up with the shit and got me in. That's the only reason why I started playing. But other than that, if I had to do an interview to play a game, I'm but not playing. Uh, they shit. do take that shit very serious. They do. So like, isn't it like if you die, like you're low key dead for five minutes? Like no, you're, you're like out? you're like dead for like the whole day. Oh you're yeah, out. you like like murder is like a serious. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're like there for like the whole day. Sometimes. Dude, and on yeah. top of that, I heard that there's like rules where if you enter a server, you have to play the role yeah. that you are. And if yeah. you break it at any point, you're out and you can't get back into the server. Yeah, and they I'm will like, kick you. They can't kick you out yet. Bro, this is a cult. What kind of fucking cult <laughs> video game is this? I don't want to join this shit. It's dude. cool though, bro. bro. That's why, I, bro. Stop that's why somebody be a cop. Like, that's bro. why I backed out, bro, because it was just like. Bro, I, bro, literally, I was from uh, Eleven Deuce Hoover in the game, bro. I swear oh to God, God. Oh God. swear to God, in the in the game, guys, Tyrell, in the game, Tyrell would be proud in the game, in the game, right? Okay, and bro, Too soon. niggas is just like 
going crazy. This and this. I just, I just, I have to stop playing. I'm like, I cannot play this, bro. This bro. is crazy. Wait, Ricky, you play? And it's, it's role play. And yeah. I'm talking about this is niggas from like, you feel me? It's niggas from Kentucky. like Kentucky. Yeah, from all over, bro. That's never been to California in their life. Talking crazy. Like they, you know, like there. And, and I'm like, bro, this is wild. And you're in Switzerland, like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I was in Switzerland playing that shit. And I was just me. like, bro, I just stopped playing that shit. I was like, you this were is crazy. for sure using like those disses. Like, man, no, fuck I, yo. I did not. I did man, not. fuck Ashley. I was playing on Twitch, so I did not use those disses. No, bro. No, you're, a, you're for sure like, man, fuck Coronas. Nah, bro. I didn't. I just played the game, bro. I didn't. I tried to not do. I tried to do as least talking as possible. I used to just mute my mic from the sh like from you the game. You should have just hopped like, on regular GTA and like I nah, role play is fun. Around. They, you bro, they used to make role play look so fun. You wanted to play it, but then like when it started getting to that point, I was like, bro, this is crazy. Wait, bro. wait, hold on, hold on, Ricky. How did you enter a server? Was it easy? Well, I mean, I'm not really like a tech dude or anything, so it's okay. like, and I was in a uh, a call, like a, a Discord call or whatever, and okay. it's just like, dude, say, oh, press this, go here, stay away here. And then you do something wrong and you just you're talking to a character that's dressed up as a cop nigga telling you why you can't do what you just did. He got to keep, he got to do his job to make sure the service fun for everybody. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. And I get it. it. It's like, what the fuck? It's a video game, right? But it, it, it's kind of cool, bro. But it's does like, that guy, like does the, the guy who plays the cop, does he get play as like a, a like like a street driver or some shit the next day? Or is he I just, no I don't know. Is bro. his personality, I don't know what is they he get just from a the, cop all day the long? The dudes that play the cops, they be taking pride in the game, yeah. bro. Wow. You be like, is that like a, a lot of people take pride, even in, no matter what character it is, but like these niggas be taking pride Is that in like a game. higher tier of like a role where you like, you start off as a bum, you go off to gangster and then you go off to businessman, then you go off to, to cop. That, or like that, that I don't know because I started off playing a game with a group of niggas that I just knew from like the internet. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, they already had a group of niggas they was with, so I just joined they shit. So I don't know how you actually start okay, off if you okay. just join by yourself. Damn. You know what I think really happened is you join the server. It's a gang server, as you described. They ask you to pull a mission. It's not a gang you, server. It's a YBN server. You failed the mission. They just you got, gangs kicked, in you it. got kicked out. <laughs> That's what happened. Let's no, I just didn't. I just was like, I was kind of over it, bro. You got to think. And like, this is a time like my, my wife was pregnant too, so this, I didn't have shit to do. She was always asleep. Or just like watching TV and so shit. You, like, you could have helped you know, your wife, you know, with her contractions, but instead you're getting drunk watching playing a no, cop on no, GTA no, online. No, no, oh, no, here no, we no. go. Here, here we you go. go. Let you tell it. I know. Let no, you, let tell, you it. tell it. This is the early stage of her pregnancy. First of all, bitch. Hell oh, no. Second, oh. it's weeks before the so, baby's coming. Out. Hell no, I was no. not playing that shit. She's man. screaming was, in the other room. Hell no. Then like, yeah, nah. But help. She was just like <laughs> always just, just like sleeping a lot. Or just like chilling, watching TV. So like, nigga, I had nothing to do. I can't, I can't even speak any any language. Talk, in talks on stream like, yo, thank you guys so much for subscribing. You just hear help, yeah, help in the background, Ali. Yeah, you know, Ali would come up here and fuck both of y'all. Oh up. my god, that's true. Okay, yeah. that's I'm joking around. <laughs> oh, um, shit. Uh, what do we have for music actually? Uh, on the, uh, on the so we got list. the Pior, Pierre Pior. Wow. Oh my God. I'm, this, this I'm gonna let you tell. Go for it. This sobriety month ain't hitting you too well. Um <laughs> uh Pierre Bourne good movie album. I haven't heard a, a single person in my subjective circle talk about listening to Pierre Bourne. So I don't know who I you know it's crazy. I got a little this. I got a lot of like well not a lot. I got like four Pierre Bourne songs on my set list that I usually DJ with. Like those like my to go songs too, just to like fill in parties or whatever. So I, I fuck with Pierre Bourne, but am I checking for this album? Not really. I keep it a sec. Personally, I'm not, but I see a lot of people uh, tuning in. Pierre Bourne really got his own cult uh, fan base. Yeah, in fact, he does. That's true. That's like true. He, he's somebody where he's not looking for like a, a offset feature necessarily. Like he knows what he could bring to the table, and I feel like he's been really grooming his audience to like Bro, accepting uh, his sound. Well, he has a, he has an interesting story where like what the fuck is this nigga wrote a fucking that's mosquito for me, leg that's yeah, he for wrote, me personally he pass that over here by the way actually this the, bro this oh, bro. is a mosquito penitentiary joint bro I Mr Mansion of uh, turn on turn off faucet with the emotions and all this stuff all yeah right. you know this is what us regular people smoke over bro, here bro I watch big y'all could afford yeah, they, weed no, I don't even so, like no let me let me just call bullshit guys because I watched I watched Big Chief. Just hand this nigga probably like a half ounce of weed. Oh god! And this nigga's rolling that, bro. He Yuri is full of shit. This is a personal rich man. Personal what? Bro. Some people don't even have weed, bro. Half look at this. Gone in a day easily. That's not true. Come on, man. Come Yuri on. Uh, easily. Listen, no, you want to no, do the no. ten talks? You want to do the this harmonious nigga man a challenge? You want to check out the harmonious man challenge? 
randomly throughout your day, go on his live stream. He's rolling. A, he's rolling a spliff. Shut the fuck up, bro. Take oh, a shot man. every time he rolls a spliff. All right, that's it. I will be hey, drunk for the <laughs> next for the next forever. I will have j- joints rolled pre rolled. Bro, you're never like, gonna catch me rolling joints. I'm always gonna be dancing around or doing some crazy shit. Bro, literally, no. you roll more paper than weed right now. Bro, sh- yeah. okay, man. Bro, okay. <laughs> bro, you are. You know. You know what you're doing right now. You're poor shaming me. I'm mm. not poor shaming you because I watch Big Chief just I hand have, you an. Ounce, I have multiple a real half estate ounce properties. of weed, bro. I bro, literally bro, just no, watch no, no, no. my daughter's going to school. Yeah, exactly. All my money goes to my daughter. I have multiple real estate properties. You mad because I'm a good truck. parent? Oh, oh, my. oh, you asshole! You're rolling a one little po- little portion Wait, of weed. Wait, y'all talking about? I'm just saying you full of shit. Y'all talking about United States or Switzerland? I'm confused. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Huh? Talk. Are you, bro? Are you having an anxiety attack? Right I'm now? saying you full yeah. of shit. Cause you, I lit, bro. Okay, okay. You want me to be honest right now? What? I put up, I I grinded up a bit of weed, right? And I like to roll a specific size joint. I rolled one of them that we smoked together, and this is the weed I had left over, and I rolled it into a joint because I was like, I'm gonna smoke this by myself. Is it selfish? I don't know. Shit, it's gonna smoke itself because that's. Oh shit. my fucking god, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna smoke it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, well, you should. It's, it's all paper. It it's all paper, so it's not oh, really. It doesn't count as smoking weed at Shut all, the bro. Fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, uh, you're, we gotta. We gotta head to a function for, uh, real quick. Oh, okay, bro. Yeah, we gotta dip. Yo, huge. But no, thanks for having me, bro. This is dude, just a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Dude, a huge shout, shout out to Ricky. Thank shout you so much Ricky, for pulling man. up, man. Thank nice you so much. You, Even if you fuck donkeys, bro. Or Come on, bro. Don't fuck donkeys, bro. You know what, bro? Yeah, guys, your your fellow donkey advocator. We appreciate you pulling up. You know what I mean? Speaking the good word of the donkey. He fucks dogs. He fucks oranges. And I'm <laughs> oh getting my, you guys are, I don't have any sex. <laughs> Thank you to Ricky for uh, coming on the very first episode of Harmonious oh, yeah, Hour. Bro, Thank you so much, man. Yeah, Shout out to Chibu. Shout, Shout out to Victor. Oh, yeah, Shout out Victor. Thank you guys so much, man. Hey, watch that chub out there, bro. Yo, what? Um, wait, yo. It sounds like a reoccurring problem. I don't know. You're gonna have to rewind the clip. I don't know, man. Yo, he said, watch out for that chub out there. No, watch, watch the chub. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Oh I my think god. The freak. The I'm gonna let your for you t- page tell it. I no 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 I'm not I'm not I'm at a freak. table full of freaks. <laughs> shout I'm out the to Freaky, shout out to Chibu, shout out to Victor, man. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Hey, they called you classy yesterday on Reddit. That was pretty oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> classy. <laughs> I didn't later. even think about that. Wait, hold on. You guys want to hear a random fact about Chibu? Is uh, he, he has a very head. horny no, for you page no, on TikTok. And he put his ass in your face. Other than those two things, Pink something eye. I did not even know at all until we were on stream together. But Aiden Ross has hosted these like speed dating streams before, where like uh you know uh no multiple, yeah I've seen them yeah you've seen them whatever right Chibu was a part of one for Re- Ruby Rose and he was the winner. No way. Yeah, he was, and P- and he still apparently to this day gets shit. Let's people go. people call him a scammer. People call him a cheater, a hacker. Why they say? They say there's no way you won that. There's no way she chose you out of everyone else. People are mad at him for winning. She did. No way. That's I'm crazy. so jealous. Wait, that nigga knows Aiden Ross? I'm so jealous. He was on the stream with him. Well, that's dope. Me and the homie be sending like Ruby Rose photos to each other. Like, bro, Shut look how bad up. she is. I swear to God. Oh, you, I thought she said really you, you and she Ruby is Rose. so fine. Yeah, she really is. Me, Shout out to Ruby Rose, man. Uh, avid disconnected watcher, presumably. Really? really? I don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting how in in that one video, Big Mouth, she's like very, very promoting gang banging and a certain part of gang banging, you know, a certain sector. And she, then she and was then, up in the section. And, oh, then, God. and then afterwards, I had a homie who pulled up to that shit too to the video shoot. They're like, "We need bloods." So I was like, Damn. "Bro!" And then after, Wait, and then afterwards, she did an interview where she said, "I only did it because I thought it was cool. I'm not actually a gang banger. I'm a rich girl." I could respect that. That I, I mean, you're being honest. Angry. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe in the later part of the... Uh, Bro, what is with people like that like grow up good that want a gang bang? That's what I'm saying, yeah. bro. It's like, dude, uh, Ruby Rose during her... I think she did an interview with uh, Adam a long time ago. And I, uh, during that interview, she said like, my dad's rich. I grew up rich. Bro, like it's... Bro, guys, it's so cool not to gang bang, bro. It's so cool. It's people, the coolest shit. People, people will gang bang their whole like early childhood... Get to a point in life where they don't have to gangbang anymore and say, thank God I don't got to do that anymore. Bro. You know? So even, bro, you do, bro, I, I cannot stress the fact that, to, to you guys enough that it's so cool not to do it. Exactly. Literally, you, you're going to be able to to uh, to, to no, reach any- heights in your life. Not that gangbanging restricts you on that, but it, I mean, it definitely for the majority of gangbangers, it definitely restricts them from like 
reaching their full potential. Of course, there's exceptions to the rule where they become even more successful. But yeah. like, I don't know, man. Just those like, uh, like say no to drug culture, like like those McGruff videos and shit that we had in middle school, bro. They were literally passing coloring books of like cholos doing heroin. Really? At my high, at my no middle school. No way. And that really like some it really like. Like, put a fucking uh, a note in my head. Like, don't be fucking around with that shit, you know? Are you serious? Bro, well, yeah. You know, it's crazy, too, as well. Like, and I know everyone's like, all right, I'm, you know, next up, whatever. Like, there are some people that have really good music, bro. Like, and shit. Like, and people, like, look up to, like, all these, like, gangster rappers. Like, oh, yeah, I'm really, you know, in the streets doing this shit, doing that, woo -woo, whatever. Bro, there's, think of, just, if you just think about how many gangbangers there are. Right, there's millions, right? How many of those? How many <laughs> of those millions are famous? Very, 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 very few. Very, very, very great few. question, but I'm gonna let you tell it. GTA uh, gangbanger. What do you mean? It's a. You game. just said you're you're gangbanging on GTA. It's a game. I, that's the role I had. That's what you, I had you to could, play. Could, uh, I'm not sure if this is a good reference point, but I stopped. Uh, I, I, I saw ass. I saw st statistics saying that there's 10 million, 10 million skateboarders. In California, or in the, I mean, in the United States, how many of them are making money off skateboarding? Very little. One percent? If less, not, less, less, way less than one percent. Point one. Way less than one percent. I'm bro. technically a skater. And how many people you think like grew up in the culture where like you know, uh, you know, due to some certain circumstances, they grew up around gang banging and all that stuff, and they thought like, this is like my uh, call to fame. Like I can use this to progress. You know what I mean? Like or whatever. Or like you know, use this as like my my. My like entry point into like I don't think the most hemisphere. gangbangers go into it thinking like oh I'm gonna get famous off this shit you know it's like you're, you're you're part of the area you know you start figuring out who you don't like your cousins from there you know you start being adjacently free you know frequently frequenting with them you feel me you talk about what you went through like or have gone through or something like that rather than like what you think is interesting sure right. I, I don't think anyone's like going into gangbanging getting jumped in and watching their friends die thinking like. Oh, I'm for sure getting famous off this. Maybe yeah. there's a couple like perverted motherfuckers who think that way, but like I think generally speaking, it's like it's family oriented. You feel me? It's like you grew up on a certain street. You know, you hang out with certain people at your high school. You finna just like yeah. register yourself into that shit. Yeah. You know, I definitely realized that in high school. Um, Skateboarding is the catalyst though of gang banging or like other really? subcultures because I feel like all my gang banging homies, at least the Hispanic <laughs> ones. They were all skaters at first. Really? Yeah, and you either decide to take skating serious yeah, or you're or just you kicking and pushing and tagging all because, day. Because, like, yeah, most of the times, like, especially growing up in LA, most of the times, skate parks were at a gang's park. Oh, God. And nigga, like... Oh, that's actually true. You either you either fucking start skating more or you start going to the tables. Oh, that's God, the tables. Wait, what do you guys think about this? Because I noticed this when I was a kid going to different areas and my parents would be like, you went to this area, like, oh, why would you go there, blah, blah, all this stuff. And I would tell them, like, dude, like... It's a weird thing that I've noticed, but if you're just a dude walking down the street and like, you know, some gangbangers or whatever walking down past you, they might ask you some questions or whatever it is happens. But if you're a skateboarder doing your own thing, skating some spot and some gangbangers come up to you, most likely, nine, in my subjective experience, 99% of the time, they're like, Bust a kickflip. Yo, sick. Yeah. Let me see. You know what I mean? Like, it's like they're always Game interested. makers love skaters. They, yeah. Half of them skate. I noticed they that. could all kickflip. Don't, don't you think? But they all hang up at the same park all the time. Don't you think that like skateboarding kind of could save you in certain situations? For well, sure. Yeah. I For mean, sure. Hell yeah. It, you know, I have two homies, bro, growing up in, in, in middle school. One's a jailbird because of gangbanging. The other one's homeless from drugs. Because I steered away from hanging out with them too much because I decided to skateboard more Bro, often in ninth uh, grade. Okay, okay. And that shit's some real life shit, you I know, where, where they decided skate. to, you know, kick it at the tables. You know what I mean? Hang out a little bit more. They start doing meth. They start becoming fucking, you know, yeah. uh, fucking kleptomaniacs. Bro, you know? a lot of right. niggas... A lot of niggas, bro, I've known for like a lot, a long time, bro, are like homeless on the boardwalk and shit. And just like. That shit breaks my or heart, Or just bro. like on the outskirts of Venice, just homeless throughout the city. And I'll, you know, sometimes I'll see them or like, and they'll be like, oh, yo, what up? How you doing, bro? And I, you feel me? I'm like, you know, like, I'm like Dude, bro, what the I, fuck? I'm in the same shoes too, because I remember when I worked on uh, Hollywood Boulevard uh, selling tours for Starline Tour. Yeah. I. I then realized, like, I was only, like, 21, 22 when I got that job. <clears throat> but then I, I then realized, like, when I would have to be opening up my kiosk, like, at 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. I would see some of my homies that I, would, I, used, I used to kick it with or I still sometimes kick, kick, kick it with homeless on Hollywood Boulevard. And I was just, like, 
You know, it's like no one wants to talk about that shit. No one wants to be like promoting that they're homeless. But then you realize certain things like, damn, this fool like sleeps on the street. You know that's what I mean? like, that's yeah, the but- shit that has me feel like tremendously guilty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because like survivor's be, guilt or something. Yeah, because I be I be I have 99 percent of the people I grew up with still are in the same place. You I know what I'm you. saying? And that that shit yeah. breaks my heart when I have home. What's That's the facts. Jack Black effect? Uh, I don't know. Did you write that, babe? The Jack Black effect? Yeah, just like. What does that mean? The fact that he tries to. Oh shit. Damn, we called He's Riley out on I her know, bluff. What is, it? It is. what is the Black Jack effect? Like he... Give us an example. Like he promotes... Metal? Not or rock? No, not rock. Not rock. Why is Etsy on the like recent? <laughs> oh, what are you using? You've been on the computer I way know, you too were much. On the, you were on this computer. You nigga trying to fuck up the IP. Hell no. Nah. Blasi's like, yo, Josh, is it cool if I stay here a couple extra hours? Well, yeah. We're doing <laughs> some research. Were oh we able God. ever able to find that artwork? Did that ever pop up? Oh yeah, so about yeah. that uh, artwork. Uh, I'm so we didn't even talk about this as a pre-topic for Black Jack. Uh, Jack Black, sorry. God damn it, bro. I'm drunk. God damn it. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait. Bro. Let's wait. You said black, Jack? <laughs> wait, let's bring up wait, Come let's on. bring up the, the shit first before we forget. Cause I yeah. actually want to see this. We got a few minutes on this whole I just want to show it to the chat. Or, you know, if, if we can't pull it up, then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let the shirt tell it. Y'all gonna have to uh take screenshots and try to find the design by Blazy uh wait, what Easter. Is, oh do a kickflip. What is the black jack effect? What are you talking about? I'm confused. So, I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like Jack Black has like this effect on people where he has always been himself and like has always been a cool ass person. Like wherever he wherever he goes, like he just spreads like a positive message. And no, that's true. He, he he's good vibes. Yeah, yeah. show vibes. exactly. Yeah. I I have friends like that too. Where like I know Anywhere that where you see Jack Black, like you know, yeah, you're gonna like. You're exactly. Gonna see, like school of rock. Like you're gonna see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mr. Schneebly. Yeah. Know? Honestly, yeah. Jack Black is one of those people. I don't want to even speak on this too much, but like Jack Black is one of those people where like there's certain people that live on this planet where you're like, I will be genuinely bummed when they're not here anymore. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like really? Yeah. And Jack Black, I feel like he has that I don't, vibe. I don't have that with him. Really, dude. Tell bro. Certain people in our life have that vibe where they, they can. My light, mom, they, my they, dad, house. Carol. For example, house phone, bro. House phone can light up any room, bro. Like it's like house phone can like just light up any room. <sighs> yeah, we can't into. lose house phone. Knock on I'm, I'm not, wood. I'm not, no, I wasn't even bringing that, that up as a reference, but I'm just saying like in the in the in the uh, you know reference point of like there's people in your life that you've met where they're like they just have this vibe that they they link with anyone and they can vibe with anyone. You know what I mean? And I I did actually watch this video do a kickflip and I realized like. This fool is getting bored, and this fool is getting kind of tired and stressed, but he's making the whole time Yeah, I think uh, he's watching Jack Black content. That's oh, crazy. my God. Okay. Jack Black was the outside topic. looking in. You didn't like, love School of Rock? I did, but I'm out of exactly. like, searching I never Jack saw Black that on shit. YouTube. Are you, you never watched School of Rock? I've seen like 10 movies. Wow. Wait, so do you have the photo? Of what? Of the t-shirt? The, the graphic I sent y'all? It didn't come through. Oh, oh damn. shit. Your shit's damn. fucking bugged. Well, guys, dude, I just burned so much hair off my face. Yeah, guys, say no to smoking in September. I smell it so bad. All right. right. Um, Listen, y'all, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Disconnected. If you want to see the t-shirt, you're going to have to buy that shit. Go to attheendoftheday.com and buy the latest shirt. I made that hoe, and you got to find the fucking Easter egg for me to... uh, Retweet your story, I guess. Speak, I don't know. speak on it on Twitch, maybe. I don't know. Mm, on Twitch Wednesday. stream on Wednesday. Who Facts. knows? But thank you guys so much for watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe. and throw yeah. some tongues emojis. And also in the chat. some show some love to House One too. Yeah, comment a uh, purple heart on his photo, man. Come on. Facts. Yeah, shout out House One, man. Love you, yes, sir. All Catch right. y'all later, man. Disconnect Peace. episode thirty eight, man. Love you. All right. Peace. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. That was amazing. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like these shows are getting a little more easier and easier to do. Yeah. Oh yeah. That-